Good morning to everybody. My name is Cameron. I'm playing Minecraft today. How are you? I'm rather well. <clears throat> A little tired, so I've got my coffee. A little hungry, so I've got my melons. A little thirsty, so I've got water. And a little bored. So again, I've got Minecraft. Just felt like playing it today. Figured we'd do something. Figured we'd do something, something, something. Gotta connect to my server. That's what we gotta do. I hope it's working. It's probably working. My day has just begun. I already talked about that. My week has been rather okay so far. I had a presentation that I gave in class yesterday in my, of the two classes that I'm taking, the, uh, the metagenomics class, the one that's on biology and whatnot. Sequencing of genomes and stuff of the sorts. I gave a presentation about a tutorial that we went through in regards to a language called, a programming language called R, and how you can kind of extract as much information as you can out of a bunch of genome sequences for, uh, bacterium and whatnot, attempted to distinguish between the the microbiome of your gut, that's all the bacteria inside of your uh, tummy and intestines and whatnot, and trying to determine, oh, if there's a certain type of bacterium there that's in greater supply than the others, does that mean you have, you suffer from specifically chronic fatigue? or anything else for that matter. That was the particular subset. It was taken from patients who did have chronic fatigue and the control group who did not have chronic fatigue. And thank goodness the game loaded up. I can never be too sure. It always scares me. Always gives me the spooks. Last time I was recovering from my Thomcraftness, I lost pretty much all of my Thomcraft data because I changed my username to something a little more proper. Now, I'm Cameron with an X, as opposed to CJ Awesomest as I was before. That was my previous iteration of username. It still pops up on the internet every once in a while, but I've been trying to switch over because I like a, I like Cameron with an X better. It's cool. And at its at its core, you can just say Cameron, because the X is silent, and I like that. But anyway, I had recovered from most of this stuff, so now I need to build a little wizard castle for myself. And uh yeah, that's basically the goal. That's the goal of the day. That and to go around. Find some more nudes, get some more uh, base research materials. I am alone. I am alone, but I am happy. The lady is still sleeping in the other room, so I can't be too, too loud. I don't want to wake her up. She's already woken up, I'm sure. I'm a rather loud individual. It just so happens to be that way. So now, I already have a place where I want to put this thing. Where I want to place this magical tower of mine. Just testing my microphone to see if it's still on. I always hear stomping up, up and down the stairs. There's no stairs in my apartment, but I always hear stomping. And I know it's coming from above me. But I can never tell. It's a little hard to distinguish whether it's coming from above me or if it's coming from below me. Or... Well, naturally it wouldn't come from below me. More like on the same level, like if somebody's walking around my apartment, which the only other person who would be doing is my lady, my Anna, Disney queen. So, let's see. I've got my wizarding area over here. This is my little runic matrix that I can do different infusions on and whatnot. And it's got plenty of stuff around here. There's like... The way that it works in this mod is like it has to be balanced on all sides so that your infusions are like they're stable stable infusions and so you can use these crystals on the side for them they're even on either side any sort of mismatch and evenness will cause instability and then you can't see it right now but below you know what we can we can take a look at that below we have an entire little uh, area of doom and gloom um how do I get in there? I actually haven't been there in a very long time. Is it right here? It's right here. Hi there, everybody. This is my doom and gloom chamber. It's my doom and gloom chamber. There's just a bunch of heads down here. The heads are in stab uh, infusion stabilizers, oddly enough. It's spooky, spooky, scary. It's all lit up, though, so that no monsters spawn. And there's heads. Heads, heads everywhere. You wanted head? You came to the right place. No, if you can't. Heads, you came to the right place. That's nasty. 
At least try to keep it PG within the first half, Cam. Come on. Let's see. Um, oh, and it seems that I still have my game audio muted, so let me fix that. Boop. Whoa. Now I hear music. There we go. I was like, wait a minute. I don't hear myself oofing when I hit the ground. <laughs> That's different. And I think I want to put my wizard tower over here. It's not going to be, like, I don't know. So I've always liked the idea of the wizard tower, like it goes high up in the air. And I had a wizard tower in my previous location, but I kind of like big sprawl, like big sprawl like area, kind of like how my lab is. My lab's got all these different corridors and hallways and stuff like that. And I like that because I can just run around and get where I need to go. I don't need to go up and downstairs. There's no real convenient way to go up and down. You've got the like levitator elevator thing, but like, it's not super consistent. What? We could make it consistent. We can make it work. What I have over here? I have more cross clusters. And granite. I have all my granite over here? Huh. Should bring that back. I don't think I. Or do I not want that granite? Is this what I determined I would make my, um. my thing out of? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder, I wonder. Either which, you know what? Oh! My screen went black for a moment. Hold on one moment. I'm just turning down the music a little bit. That's a little much. It feels a little much. Let's get back into it. There we go. That should be better now. Readjust yourself. Thank you, OBS. Thank you for readjusting yourself. Is that lower? Excuse me, the music just a little bit. I like blasted my ears when it came out. So, uh, I'm gonna fix that. And uh, now we begin building the tower. I don't know, tower or... You know what I could do? It could be like an underwater installation. An underwater magical installation. That could be really cool. That could be really, really cool. You know what? I like that. I like that. Underwater magical installation. What forms does granite have? Eh, that's alright. That's alright. That's alright. Because that's kind of... I mean, it's not quite underwater. My laboratory. But, like, you can kind of... I gotta go back over here anyway for more build materials, like glass and whatnot. As I make my way back over here, we shall see. That's the installation over here really isn't visible from above. It's underground. It's not underwater, naturally, but it's underground. It doesn't really have, uh, most things. It's just, a, this is just a little entrance up here. You come inside this way, there's other ways to get inside. So I kind of like the, I kind of like the fact that this little island over here is mostly natural. It's got all of its trees and stuff like that. Everything is the way that it was. So uh, I think I'll do it the same way. I think I'll do it very similarly. What else do I need over there? I also am going to require, um, I need this table. This table is where the magic happens. It's where the magic happens, baby. This is where the magic happens. And uh, this little slime, because it's cute, and I like it. And I like cute things. Why not like cute things? They're cute. They bring joy. If it does not spark joy, send it into the fire. If it do spark joy, keep it around. Keep it very much around. We're cool with that. We're cool with that. Where'd my music go? I keep wondering about my music. I know not. I move around, it's okay? Yeah. Oh, okay, it's just one of the somber ones. I always get worried. I always get worried. If I'm not, like, if if I'm feeling that I am not absolutely entertained right now, then I don't expect anybody else to be. I need that music. Gotta have that music in the background. And it's Minecraft. It's Minecraft music, so, uh, no, cop no copyright strikes. It's great. Use this. It's from the game. I'd rely on the in-game music, but it doesn't show up enough. Glass panes? We need some glass panes. What else would we need over there? Like an underwater installation needs. Needs glass. Speaking of which, I better have some sand in here, right? Yeah, I got plenty of sand in here. So let's take that sand and turn it all into glass. Turn it all into glass. All the different types of glass. There are not really many different types of glass. There's plenty of different colors. I can just throw them all in here. Throw all that sand in there and it all gets smelted into glass. Love that system. Love my um little little multi furnace system. I just noticed that bothers me. There's one block over there of space. There's two blocks over there. Mm. 
Oh well. Alas, we deal. I don't need this dirt. Maybe I do need that. Do I need that dirt? I don't think I need that dirt. What other building materials do I have? That could be cool for a magical area. Um, let's see. Block. What comes after block? Um, oh, you know what? I can use these um, bricks for a path so that I can actually run over there easily. I don't think that's going to be enough, but I can always make more concrete. Uh, abyssal. Ooh. Abyssal block. That's pretty cool. I could also go mining for some better materials and stuff like that. Like, black granite would probably look pretty cool. Maybe. Basalt cobblestone. Well, let's take a look. Basalt cobblestone versus abyssal stone. What other forms do they have? Oh, I got granite in there. Cool. It's dark. Basalt doesn't have anything. So, uh, let's... Let's not worry about basalt. I don't like basalt. Basalt could be better. Stone's cool, but it could be better. Basalt's cool, but it could be better. Do I have barley in here? I don't even know. Stone. Different types of stone. What other types of stone do we have? Got my compressed cobblestone. Working on that bedrockium. You know, it's, different types of stone have really nice variants as well. I'll take those. But I think this will be a good starting point. It'll be a fine, fine starting point. And then I'll have, like, little paths down there. It's a dark time. Dark time, dark time, dark time. Sleeping. Sleeping on the ground, because the scary monster's outside. Do not like the scary monsters outside. Scary. You're scary. You're a pretty scary monster. Are you a scary monster? Oh, you explode. And you bite. Scary monster. Now, how do I want to do this? Technically, it's way over there. It's way this way. I want to have it as straight a path as possible for convenience purposes. It looks like this. It seems to be the line. It seems to be the line. If I follow this line, I will create a path to the magical installation. Using this. There we go. There we go. I'm just, uh, I don't know. Just make a path. My little gnomes over here. Gnomes? No. My little golems over here. My little golems over here are my friends. They're not here right now. Just kidding. They are here right now. Hello, Lance, Bobble, and Sean. How you doing, Lance, Bobble, and Sean? Missed you. Really haven't touched you in a while. They used to be the way I got fuel for my, um, for my wood farm. And honestly, I do plan on using them again because currently the wood farm functions off of fertilizer. The fertilizer has to be created using a certain um, combination. It has to use a certain machine to create the fertilizer to run. It also needs power. Power is not an issue. We get power from the sun. Power from the sun is good. But those golems, if they're programmed properly, will just do it automatically. They'll plant the seed, they'll cut down the tree, they'll plant another seed, they'll cut down the tree, and so on and so forth, ad infinitum. Um, they currently don't do that because apparently you need some high-tech tech stuff that I, even I don't have access to yet. It uses the Pneumaticraft mod, which I really haven't played with very much. And because I haven't played with it, well, I don't get the golems that I want. No golems. No golems that I want. Yeah, let's get out of there. Hopefully this laser doesn't set the whole field on fire. It's not really the intent. It happens sometimes. But let's um let's go forward here. Oh, you know what? I want to keep it on the same level. So let's hover mode. Hover mode so that I will stay on the same Y level if I move forward. There we go. I love that for building purposes. Come on, hover mode off. There we go. I just kind of cut through this. Kind of cut on through here. Be a nice little side to this mountain. Might be a little cave too. Might be a little tunnel. <laughs> secret tunnel. Well, it's not very secret. It's, it's very, it'll be very obvious. Potentially. You know, at this point I can switch to uh, not long range, not horizontal. Mining mode. Give me a mining mode. Mining mode. Boop. 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 There we go. Sweet. 
I'm gonna do the same thing over here. Oh, that works. Make it a two by three path, or three by three? Three wide path. Three wide path for uh, ease of access. And then they need to be at a, I need a certain height level too, so that if I'm on top of a mount, or if I or Chris are on top of mounts, then we will both be able to get through. There we go. Um, yeah, you know what? I'll just carve the whole thing out. Designer's choice. Carve it all out. We don't need it. It's mostly natural. The Lyland is mostly kept natural. But it is a uh, change to suit our needs. Aesthetically, I think it'll look great. When things, once things are uh, properly formatted. Once I actually have a path that goes through here. You know, let me lay down some of these uh, concretes. Even a one long path, or even a one wide uh, path right now, is at least preferable to no path at all. Because it just looks looks so weird. I don't want it to look weird. I want it to look good. Very good. So this way. This way. Reserve. Uh, actually, give me my, give me my pickaxe. I'm gonna reserve that for some stairs. I'd use the laser, but the laser sometimes destroys the object, so don't want to take that. Let's see. That'll be a staircase to get down to that level. That'll be a staircase to get down to that level. Yeah, all right. Go back to the laser. Back to laser. The focus mode specifically. Two, three. And we'll just keep on moving this way. Do, 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 do. Paths along. Staircase. Paths along, paths along, making the paths along, staircase moving on. Little Geisel Greens from the Chocobo mod. Love that. Love that Chocobo mod. I gotta, I gotta change the recipes up for that a little bit and add the uh, Thalmcraft aspects to it. Because I realized that you could actually do that. When I was um, adding everything in, I noticed that there were more files for that. I was like, wow, that's cool. I like that. I'll reserve this for a staircase. Put that there little staircase to pop itself back up again this will be reserved for staircase as well here moving right along moving right along put a little whoops whoops there we go put a little bridge here which will take the it'll look nicer later but for now it will just look like this yes yes indeed Come along, come along now, dark concrete bricks, as we make a path to victory. So it actually did, I think it will actually reach over to the tower. Oh, maybe, hmm, no, we still got quite a ways to go. Oops, need my thingamack. Go pick a, go little pick a, give a little dink, give a little dink there. <laughs> what else we got? So if I just keep on going this way, I could go down and then up again. I could go down and then up again. I think that'll work. Yeah, we'll go down and up again. We'll go, we'll go down and up again. <sighs> tasty. Tasty, tasty water. Good morning, my lovely. My lovely has awoken. Um, let's see. That'll be staircase. Staircase down to this level, then staircase down to that level. Staircase down to that level. Which level do I want to keep that on? Honestly, this this whole this whole little bump over here can probably just be taken out, or or perhaps not. Nah, I kind of like that. I'll use this to create another little staircase up that way. Oh, hello there. Hello, the turtle. What are you called again, Ika? What are you called again? You and your friends, Ikas. Ikas. Called Ikas. I always forget. Excuse me. I'm not, the, I'm not the animal husbandry player. I'm a tech and magic player, for the most part. Um, you know what? I should just go grab... I can run along this now because I have a path. I should just go grab some carpenter stairs so I can put the stairs down. So I do not run into any... So that way I don't have to worry about it later. I've got plenty of carpenter's blocks. It's just wood. It's just wood. It's just wood, it's just wood, it's just wood, it's just wood. It's just wood. That's all it is. Just wood. Just, uh, what else can I throw in here for now? 
Uh, I think allium can be extracted for dye. Extractor? Extractor? Extractor. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I don't know why I would need wood, but let's throw it in there anyways. Carpenters. Stairs. 30 of them. That should be fine. If I need more, make more. No problem. Go this way. Let's put those stairs down. One, two, three. One, two, three. And I'll conserve my concrete for now. Conserve my concrete just for now. I like to have the staircases up, especially over there, because it's kind of hard to visualize like what what it will need to be like upon the land without the stairs to uh, kind of lay it out there for me, like this. And then I will need this digger backpack. Give me that. Let's put the granite in there. Then I got some dirt and the two miners backpacks. Oh, I must have been using that for something. Then naturally, I put another thing of stairs there. It's just building. It's just building. Building, building, building. Ah, uh, yes. Scalene triangle. And... Do I want it to cut through this land here, too? Might as well let it cut through the land. It's okay, that's okay. Oh, where'd my laser go? I mean, my laser. I'm not sleeping on the job. I don't need that. Use my laser instead. Get that out of the way. More stairs. And then this will be... This will lay the course more. But that will need to be on the ground as well. So, boop. Boop. Kind of carve that out. Ooh, stone. And then we'll do another level down for... More of this stuff. Whoops, that's the wrong direction. Ha! Boo boo time. And do another one. On the ground. Path work. Path work. Oh, path work. Gonna have some path work. Stair. 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 Jet black stair. Big black boots. Long brown hair. Something about the Jet Black Stair. That's a song. I like songs. Songs are good. But I can never seem to like... I think I mentioned this before, but like... There's a certain level of familiarity that you have with like music and songs that you listen to like on the radio. I'm not at the point with most, most of the music that I listen to that I can like even recall the song. Like the name of the song. Or all the lyrics. Just can't do that. Now it's time to sleep. Time to get to sleep. Time to get your sleeps on. It's time to get your sleeps on. I need a melon. Melon boy strikes again. Hmm. Melon lad strikes again. I am melon lad. The lad who consumes melons. This is actually the second to last piece. The penultimate melon piece that I have in my refrigerator. There is one more that I can cut up for snackaroos. I could if I wanted to. Hey, look, big tree. Nice. Big tree friend. Big, big tree friend. You doing, big tree friend? Oh, you're gone. Well, big tree friend did not want to stick around. That's a big old int. I give the big tree, tree people. Are they really people? Well, yeah. They're sentient. I consider them people. What is the line drawn between people and not people? People and animal. Are you people? Okay, I swear I just saw something up here. Must just be despawned. Unfortunate. There's something. Are you people? Big ol' fish eye strider. Are you people? Can you talk to me? Talk to me. Tell me about your life. Tell me about your kids. You have kids? Do you, uh, do you procreate like that? Huh. Well, you dropped the fish. Give me your squid, too. Dead squid. To the surface. Well, no need to talk to me about your children anymore. You're dead. If you had children. I don't think you can breed striders in this. I do not believe there's a form of farming for them. 
Well, let's uh, get this bridge across. Tiny little bridge. Tiny bridge. But a bridge nonetheless. As I work upon building the magic area. The new magic area. There is a magic area. It's not the same as it was before. Oh, am I going to make it? Am I going to make it? <gasps> Ooh. That was almost perfect. That was almost perfect. This little thing over here. I like this level. I like this altitude. Why level 67? I like that. It's nice. It's sleek. It's sheen. The time to level this area over here. I level it all out. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use the fact that it's level. Plus, like, I get a bunch of dirt. I need dirt for my tree farm. That's another thing that I need for my tree farm. Dirt. Because if I don't replenish it on dirt, it turns into sand. So it's very high maintenance. Those golems? Those golems ain't high maintenance. They're magical. They're magical golems. They, they just live to serve. They're like, Master, what do you want me to do? And I say, young ones, plant me trees. You will be the one who cuts them down. You will be the one who picks up the wood and the saplings. You will be the one who plants the saplings again. And they're like, okay, we'll do that for you. But first we have to be creative. And they are creative. Lance, Bobble, and Sean. They are created. And they do their jobs. But they don't do their jobs very well. Currently, there's one more core that I need to create for the golems. And that's the use core. The use core actually allows them to place objects down or left and right click as a player character would be able to do. They can't do that right now. So technically, they can't plant saplings back down. They can pick things up. They can deposit them into inventories. But they can't replant things. They can't plant saplings. They can't do that yet. And uh, that requires a certain level of material that I do not have access yet to. I don't have the right materials. It involves creating a new type of plastic. It's just called plastic, but it's pneumaticraft plastic. And it requires pneumaticraft machines, which are just annoying to use. Keeping pressure up and all that stuff, like, I get it. I get it. But it's a spooky song. We don't need spooky song. I should take spooky song off this playlist. There's no need for that. It's spooky. I am a spooky boy. Experience my spook. I have a TikTok, by the way. I have two videos on there. One is just that random thing. It's the most popular one. A hundred something views. You know what? That's an achievement to me. It feels good. Feels good. It's mostly the random thoughts that you have like in the middle of the day or in the middle of the night. And you're like, you know what? This is creativity. I can't stifle this creativity. I shouldn't stifle this creativity. And before this creativity, like this little blip of inspiration goes away, you have to act on it. I thought to myself, I am the spooky boy. And I had to let the world know. And there was a filter waiting for me upon the TikTok app to compensate for that. It was the, the I don't know, scary stories filter or whatever. I wouldn't say I use TikTok a lot. Although, it's very easy to pass the time by. Previously, it was like in the very beginning, I passed all my time on iFunny because it was funny. And I had an iPod Touch. Or not an iPod Touch. I had the, um, no, I did have an iPod Touch. I did. It was like the fourth generation or something. So it kind of looked like an iPhone, but it wasn't a phone. It was just technically an iPod Touch with the touchscreen and all that stuff. I had that for a while and used iFunny on it. I did. Then I evolved. I evolved. I stepped away from iFunny, and then I found Reddit, and then I started using Reddit, which I found was just, it, it was nicer. Like, on iFunny, I'd be like, there's this particular type of humor that I want to find today, but I don't know how to filter for that on the iFunny. It just, whatever mass of stuff just comes along. Subreddits have fixed that for me. If I want dank funnies, r slash dank memes. Do I want insensitive funnies? There's probably a subreddit for that somewhere. Do I want dark humor? Probably r slash dark humor. Probably. I don't know. Oh, there's a little island over there. Do I know about that island? Yeah, I do know about that island. <laughs> it's the dragon on top. And then, I don't know, there's two eggs. Dragon egg one. Dragon egg two. Actually, this one kind of looks like a dragon. It's got some little something. There's its little eye. There's its mouth going like... <laughs> It doesn't have a tail or anything. It's got a, maybe that's an arm. No. R slash, uh, Paridola. Paridola? 
It's like seeing faces and things. Paridola or whatever. Paridoila? I don't know. It's like when you look at your the back of a car and you see the two headlights and you're like, those are eyes. And then the bumper kind of looks like a mouth. Paridoila. Or whatever you call it. P Paridola. Paridola? Paridola. I'm going Paridola. There we go. Those will be floating for a little bit until I have time to move them. The land has been leveled. Wonderful. Got all these geysel greens over here. Geysel seeds. Some other roots and stuff like that. Let me throw some... Throw some goo in here. Building material, building material, building material, building material. Building material. That magic, that magic. <clears throat> Excuse me. And pick up this stuff. They can be used for things. I think the greens can be, um... The uh, actual seeds can be... Can they be... Can they be extracted for seed oil? They can be extracted for seed oil. Lovely. We'd love to see it happen. we love to see seed oil. I don't know. I'll bring the path only as far as I can make it. I got two more. Two more. There we go. I'm out of concrete. Need to make more concrete. Concrete from Fleet. Uh, and here's a little dirt. So now... I want to have a little entrance into this place. Into this little magical area. Is my backpack full? It's kind of full. What's in there? What else was in there? Granite. I use that for building, apparently. I'm going with the granite style over here. Past me has determined it will be granite style. No ifs, ands, or buts. That's how it will be. I'm going to move back over here. I'll deposit some of my stuff. Great. I will get my stuff. Oh, there's a little deviating lily here. Take those seeds. They're good for dyes. Supposedly. I haven't found them particularly useful for dyes. Deviating lilies are, are incredibly difficult to farm. You just kind of leave them there, and they grow on their own, and then you harvest them, and they can drop anywhere from like zero to three seeds. But it's never, it's never very high. Apparently I don't have a lot of red deviating lilies. So I'll come back and up and take care of those. And replant some more. Got plenty of lilies. Look at all my lilies. Look at all my lilies. Many different colored lilies. Many different colored lilies. But they don't like to grow. They don't like to grow. They don't like to grow very much. Seed oil. Uh, this will go over here. Carrot seeds. Carrotten. Uh, regular seeds. Go for it. I think these can be... Uh, these little things here can be... Nope, that's an herb garden. That can't be extracted. Oh. Hmm. I don't think I need those, though. Potato seeds. I don't think I need herb gardens, then. Or, uh, ginger. I can eat that. Eat the ginger. Yum, 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 yum. Spicy. Spicy, spicy ginger. Ginger's rather spicy. I, uh, I consume ginger. Every once in a while. Mm, let's put some more tea leaves in there. Oh, no, no, no. Not tea leaves. Guys, little greens. Guys, little seeds. Edible root, which is edible. So I will consume it. Tea leaf. And then um, there's really no need for anything else. I don't need these. Don't need that. Don't need that. Eh, I don't need that. I'll just throw them in the corner. And they'll despawn eventually. This digger's backpack is full of dirt. Let's first deposit all the dirt I can into the little thing over here. This little control system over here is supposed to work like when this runs out of dirt, um, this thing comes up and replenishes the dirt. But this sensor here that determines when there's no farmland doesn't really work that well. Like currently, I wonder if we can see right now. All right, it's full of, it's full of farmland, but when the farmland is diminished, it will leave behind sand. And when there's sand left behind, only if every single block up there is sand does it replenish it the way that you'd think it would. So it doesn't really work that well. So I just manually replenish it. See, very high maintenance. Not as high maintenance as golems. Golems not very high maintenance. Not very high maintenance. Golem is. Golem, golem, golem. I can do that. I'm not proud of it, but I can do that. Oh, and the deviating lilies. Let's take care of the deviants. The deviant lilies. Dude. See, that's one. That one was two. 
See, when you have a lot of the lilies, that one didn't drop any. If you have a lot of the lilies, it's really no problem. Like, I have a ton of the, the purple ones. That's fine. These red ones aren't dropping like anything. It's no good. Uh, I got a lot of purples. And I got a plenty of blues. Blue's my favorite color. It only it only seems appropriate. Those ones, three of them did not drop any in a row. So the odds are like... Odds are not very good. I don't think. But uh, it works okay. Got a lot of blue ones. Got a lot of blue ones. I like the blue ones. Plant the blue ones. Blue, 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 blue. Eventually, I'll have enough of these there. I can, like, just take the seeds. Because I believe I believe it's the seed that actually produces the dye, right? Yeah, the, the seed itself is the dye. You can make it into... Uh, water makes blue dye or chemical dye. Just makes more of it. Alright, that. Some cyan. We can start our own printing business with all these. Magenta, cyan, and yellow. Oh, hi there. Hey, pal. Hey, you're uh, you're messing up my goo. Don't mess up my goo. Stop gooing. Don't like that. Back in your cage. You're not my steward. You're not my the veloci the ventiraptor. You're not my ventiraptor. You're not steward. Steward's my guy. You pale in comparison to Stuart. Is there an Enderman out there? Hey there, pal. Give me your pearls. Give me your pearls. Where'd you go? Oh, hi there. Give me your pearls. Come give it to me your pearls. Oh, two pearls? That's mildly disturbing. <laughs> Head back over to the magic area. But first, I guess I'll do a little... Oh, I have some more seeds. Drop that in the seed extractor. The Fluid Extractor, which has been collecting seed oil for a while now. I don't exactly know why I'm collecting seed oil. I forget. Oh, I remember now. Seed oil plus talc creates lubricant. Lubricant is good for certain things like the cutting saw, which I currently use water for, but you use less energy if you use lubricant and it works faster. I don't have a lot of lubricant. Not a lot of lube. We don't use a lot of lube here in this laboratory. But we could. We could use lube in this lab, if we wanted to. Could use lube in this laboratory. Now let's continue on the journey of that magics. Magics and lasers and boxes and cubes, oh my. So let's head on over. Oh, I need to sleep first. I really don't need to sleep first. Enemies want to come and try to mess up my steez? I'll allow it. Oh, open door please, thank you. What is the shtees that people speak of? Friends of mine back in high school would talk about their shtees, and I don't exactly know what the shtees is. It's just been one of those words that has just kind of snuck its way into my vernacular, and I'm like, I don't know what it means, I don't understand, but I believe I know how to use it in a sentence. I know not what the shtees is. Perhaps it's like it's like your, your mojo, like your, uh, whatever you've got going for you, a little hobgoblin. Hello, Bob Goblin. Oh, hi there. Zomble. Got some armor on you. You gotta drop that armor. Oh, you're gonna... Ooh. Oh, hi there. More enemies to fight. Flaming purples. Flaming purples and zombies. Flaming purples and zombies. I'm glad you didn't drop that leather of yours. Because I don't really appreciate when you do. Lurker. Oh, hi there. You, you shot me with your goo. I don't like it when you shit me with the goo. Hello. Hello. Hi there. I really don't think you can hurt me very much. Hey there. Hey there. I can't see, so if I go up here and hover for a bit, well, you can't find me. Soon I will be able to see. Where are you down there? There you are! I know I killed one of you. Come here, you. Come here, you. Oh, don't go down there. Don't go down there. This is my nether portal. Ooh, I'm low on health. It's the poison. And another one spawned? Alright, well, I don't really feel like dying right now, so. I'll hang up here. Eat some peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and uh, let myself heal. Or I could just. I could just. Let's see. Super heat sets them up, but I could just shoot them with my gun. Shoot them with my laser. There we go. Oh, did the lurker go away? Oh, lurker gun go away. I can take care of zombies. Oh, okay, you're back again. And then they went up. 
Wait. Oh, they can turn invisible? I've never noticed that. Can I shoot you? Yeah, now you're on fire. How do you feel about that? Now you're on fire. Oh, and I'm um, also tearing, tearing up the ground. If I just... Boop. Oh, you got me. Hmm. 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 I don't like you. Making me sad. I could just use my potions. I could use potions. I don't have potions. Not on me right now. Ender dude! See, I'd mess with you, but... <laughs> Currently. Not in the state for letting me go mess. Usually my armor would be able to take most of the damage, but it seems like it's not doing very much. Oh, you know what? I never put, um... Protection. Like, a uh, um... It's protection 3. I never put any protection, protection enchantments on these guys. I, I should do that. If I put protection on them, then I will take less damage, naturally. Not from the poison, of course. But, uh... Taking a lot of damage otherwise. Anyway, I'm here now. Hello, tree people! Tree people! Oh, I'm sorry. These are the Ents. The tiny ones are the Ents. The big ones are the Trents. Because they're, they're bigger. Skelly boy! Are there two Skelly boys? Just one Skelly boy. Oh, and a uh, Raiko. You're not fun. You annoyed the hell out of me, you stupid bird. Where'd you go, bird? 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 There's another bird. Oh, there you are! Bird, where'd you- Oh, you're up in the air. Stupid bird! Squawk! Okay, well now we're here, and I don't feel threatened anymore. Not- no, well, I don't feel as threatened as I did before. Hi, Andy dude. Andy dude? Andy dude wanna get smacked? Come over here. You wanna get smacked? Get smacked. Smack you with the Andy peoples. Come hither! Ah, yeah, scream at me! We have fun around here. We have fun around here. We have fun. Me have fun. You have fun. I have fun. Fun? Fun, fun. You know what they say. F is for friends. Who wind up doing things together. What kind of things, though? Ooh, well, we'll just leave that to the friends to decide. So now what I want to determine is what Y level the bottom of the water is. So I can... Make my elevator go all the way down there so I can have like the like it'd be cool to have like a little network of pathways going throughout the water. Like that'd be so cool. So let's see how um there might be monsters in the water. Any monsters in the water? Uh just a little sky silas or whatever. So what level is these guys at? What level do we have down here? What Y level are we at? This, I feel, would be the proper level. It is 38. It's one of my favorite numbers, 38. Just has special meaning to me. But is that lower than? Is that, like, the lowest point in the water? What's, like, the medium point in the water? That's what I want to de determine. Like, around here, perhaps. Where, like, if I wanted to walk into one of these big old underwater bubble, black bubble things, I'd be able to. This one is also... This is... 34. Three. Okay, so yeah, 38 is a good 38 is a good level. I feel that 38 is a proper level. So we'll, we'll dig down to 38 and then figure things out from there. Was oh, that clay over there? Mm, I, we need more clay. Now I know where to find more clay. Oh, hey guys. You seem to be having a pretty rough time. Let me help. I've got a bucket. I've got a bucket and a helpful mindset. So I will help. Previously, Infinite Water was not on on this server because it was a part of, like, the hard mode aspect of Greg Tech and stuff like that. But I realized how stupid it is. Like, I don't think it makes much sense, to be perfectly honest. I suppose it kind of nerfs the fact that, like, if you have a pump and you're pumping water from the thing, it actually sucks up the source block, which if you have it set up correctly, you suck up the source block, it replenishes, suck up the source block, it replenishes. And the idea is you instead use a reservoir which is something that will provide you that infinite water source with two buckets on its own but you have to build it first and i get that i understand but it's just annoying it's too annoying then again a lot of things in this mod pack are annoying but uh some of them i can deal with that one maybe not oh hi there all right then all right, we're looking for level 38 floor 52 38 40 and two more Two more, and then one more for the floor, which I will just place hold with a piece of oak wood. 
This is how far down I need to go. I need arcane levitators, which are basically how I get into my, um, that's how I get into my little base over there, which is convenient because if a mob ever came onto the arcane levitator, in order to go down the arcane levitator, you have to shift and sneak, but I don't think mobs can sneak. I've never had one of them come down into my lab. Not once because they can't sneak. And that's the entrance. Also, the other doors that come in are, you, know, you have to right click on them and they, I don't think, um, Doors can break in this one. Carpenter, I mean, doors can break, but I don't think carpenter doors can break. And I believe the carpenter's doors are the ones that I have, and I don't think they could, they're not mobs can knock them down. And even if they could, the carpenter's doors can act like regular doors or iron doors, and I don't think mobs can ever, could ever knock down iron doors unless it's a creeper and they explode it, but that's suicide. And, well, I don't think creepers opt for that, at least on the first bout. Suicide bombers. Creepers. Yikes. So I don't know how many arcane levitators I need. Actually, what I can do is I can take a look at my um, Thelmanomicon. Uh, have I researched the arcane levitator? Levitator? I have not researched the arcane levitator. Have I? I mean, I guess I have. It's not... I thought if you researched it, it comes up white. Let me try to find it, actually. Just to, just to be sure. Is that on Thaumaturgy? Thaumaturgy? Hmm. Out of the people. Node stabilizer. Wand recharge. Pedestal. I have one of those. It's it's on the other area before I lost all of my magical knowledge. My power to do great, great things. Is it alchemy? Where are you? I think it's uh is it an artifice? There we go, the arcane levitator. So I did unlock it. And it requires a little bit of nitor, air shard, this, that, and the other thing. Great wood planks. I don't actually have a lot of great wood. I don't have a lot of great wood. That really doesn't take a lot either. And then you just put it in the workbench. So actually. What I should do is, before I actually build that area over there, the next thing I have to do is I need to make the levitator. So I should make the levitator. So I will make the levitator. Um, let's throw... Take this out here, put the scribing tools down. My little magic area will be this little place over here. This little... For now, until I build the rest of it. There we go. Um, I don't... I don't want wood. I do not want the wood. Take it over there. There we go. Do that there. That's all my building materials. I'm going to head back over here. And then I'm going to head back to the other island. The other side. Origin Island. To find all of the magical tools that I left behind. I left them over there because I had... I was not ready to move over yet. I was not ready to move on. I didn't want to... I didn't want to leave it behind me. But now I do. Now I do. Now I got I to gotta leave it all behind me. Do I have a tree tap in my inventory? I do not. I should go and get a tree tap too, because there's always rubber around all these trees, and I should suck up that rubber when I can. Eventually, I will make a rubber farm. Rubber farm is good. Rubber farm, very good. Because I need more rubber. There's always a need for rubber. And not even, actually, not even rubber. I said rubber so many times, it just became the thing I was doing. Tap, tap. Why can't I click the letter T? Tap, tap. Tree tap. There we go. Um... What was I saying? I'm always in need of resin. Sticky resin. Sticky resin can be can create glue, which create can create circuit boards, and it can also create rubber, which is what its other like well-known purposes. Rubber and glue. Rubber and glue. Technically, there's another material in this game that you can create to make glue, and it would be a very easily automatable thing to make, except it doesn't have a crafting recipe. It's called bisphenol A, and there is no there's no recipe for it. Like, it's used to make glue, but it, it, I, I cannot, I have no conceivable way of crafting it. So that might be something I wind up going into the files for and adding a crafting recipe for, because it'd be nice to not have to just get all this sticky resin up for glue. And glue has many different purposes. Glue can be used for sails. It can be used for circuit board, uh, sails, no, uh, saddles, saddles, stuff of that sort. It's actually funny. In the early days of this particular mod pack in this server, uh, my buddy Christina and I were just, all we wanted to do, because she was really into the uh, animal husbandry aspect of things, and we were like, we just want saddles so we can ride and fly around on these epic monsters that are spawning in the middle of the night. And like, I was like, we, we can either go out and try to find saddles, and we never found a saddle. Like, we, we could not find a saddle. Eventually we did. Months, months later, we eventually adventured and found a saddle. I think we had to go to the Nether Fortress for that. The Nether Fortress, I think, was rampant with saddles. 
But aside from that, you would also need an assembling machine. At the time, we didn't have an assembling machine. And then I built the assembling machine. And then I found out that you needed a medium voltage assembling machine, which was on a whole voltage tier away from us. We are currently on the high voltage tier. Um, technically, we're on the extreme voltage tier. I have one extreme voltage machine. But like when I was in the medium voltage tier, I had like a single extreme uh, high voltage machine. When I was in the low voltage tier, I had like one medium voltage machine, one or two, because certain recipes are locked out by the voltage level. And so you need more. Uh, thing, crafting recipes have gotten pretty, uh, pretty excessive. Oh, do I? I don't have a lot of dirt to fill this in. Oh, I'm gonna fill that in later. Not now. Do I see any more rubber on the trees? I see no more rubber on the trees. So... I think I'll move on and retrieve my magic stuff. 22 pieces of sticky resin? Perfect. The stickier the better. The stickier that resin is, the better it is for glue. I guess. I mean, okay. Not necessarily, right? I guess what makes a good glue... Oh, these are those monsters that we can ride now. Venoraptor. I guess what makes a good glue is how good it is at keeping things together and then once it dries it has to dry i suppose like what good is a glue if it doesn't dry um because if it's liquid then eventually like if you if you glue something to a wall and it remains liquid then it's just it's gonna fall eventually because you know gravity um but how good is the glue if it can't uh dry up i mean i suppose i think the most quote-unquote primitive glues were like tree sap and stuff like that I found that saliva makes a pretty good glue. Not very strong, but saliva works. Don't ask me how I know that. I was a young child and I was exploratory. But, you know, I think there's probably a bit of water inside the glue, inside the sap, inside the saliva, even. And as that, you know, dries up, so does the rest of the thing. There we go, I got the other wand. This is, this is beyond my comprehension. This wand recharge pedestal? I don't understand how this works yet. I just know it's built. I can use it, but some magical wizard before me came about and made this for me to use. And that wizard's name was CJ. Excuse me. And then also, when I eventually research it, these nodes here can actually be moved. I moved these originally to be around this area so that the wand recharge pedestal could suck up from all of them. Can't do that right now. Not right now. I work for it, though. I work for it. Had to check behind me. I heard voices from behind me. I think Anna's watching anime. Anime, watch anime. Hmm. She may, she may, she may, she may, she may, she may. If you noticed previously, in my other infusion altar, there were a lot of heads underground and shards above ground. It's also like this too, but it's only the heads that apparently like stabilize infusions. So there's a ton of these things. There's none underground. And the, my infusions over here are rather unstable. So uh, I learned my lesson. And if they're unstable, they can cause things like lightning strikes, they can destroy your ingredients, this, that, and the other thing. Oh, I have more, um, I have more crystals over here that I meant to move over. Cool. Cool. Um, eager chest will take things from me. I don't like it when it do so. And the greedy chest will, I think the greedy chest will pick things up, right? Pick it up. Oh. No, it's fine. It's fine. Don't don't bother with it. Don't eat my stuff. <laughs> These are all my aspects over here. I keep them in crystallized form. Just easier to manage. And uh, eventually, if that's all connected up to the virtual storage system, it'll be very, very easy to manage. I was preparing for it. Anyway, what do I need from over here? I require some cauldrons. Give me cauldron. Give me cauldron. Give me that. Uh, might as well take these pieces of netherrack. Because, ooh, ooh, set myself on fire. Uh, I will need these reservoirs for my water source. It'll just be easier that way. Yo, I got, got lazarite under here? Shit's everywhere. Oh, if I break this, then here comes the water. Here comes the water. Da, 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 da. There's a piece of redstone down here. This used to be, this area over here was where my first laboratory was. I have had three laboratories. This is where my first one was. There's still some remnants of it underground. It was cool. I like this laboratory, but eventually I grew too big for my britches. I realized being surrounded by water is a terrible, terrible way to prepare for expansion. 
Now it seems that I'm learning, I'm about to repeat history again, right? Like I'm building my magic area underwater, which is, as we've discovered, a very terrible way to prepare for expansion. But if I want to, like, there's not, I, I survived well with magic down here. I don't think I'll need that many corridors, but I may, but I may. Um, let's see, I want, give me the spinning wheel, which I need to break with an ax. I'll use my chainsaw. It's overkill, but it works. Oh, uh, this is also ax. Overkill, but it works. The cutting table. Um, I don't need another research table. Might as well keep that back here. The arcane work table, which currently has another wand on top of it. Oh, is there stuff in there? All right, there was stuff in there. Arcane work table. Very good. This deconstruction table is not super necessary. For a while, actually, this is very funny. For a while, I couldn't find where my thalmometer was. I placed it on top of here and totally forgot about it. So uh, that's one way to lose it. Guppy, 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 guppy. I've got this Infernal Furnace, but it actually doesn't... I I've never been able to get it to work. You're supposed to throw things into the top, and then it smelts it eventually, and pit spits things back out. I've never been able to make it work. Um, it'd be nice to have... I'm not ready for this yet. This is my alchemical furnace. This is how I create all those little, like, uh, little thingamabobs. But that doesn't work very fast, but that's because I need more of these crystallizers. And they require, um, I think medium voltage autoclaves. Which takes a bit. I have a brewing stand over here. I don't need that just yet. I think this will be a good place to start with, the uh, anything I wind up taking back. Butterflies! What's great, too, is there are butterflies over here. Butterflies? Uh, for a while, there were no butterflies. But you have to have specially pollinated trees first for butterflies. And as you can tell, like, you can tell on some of these trees, like, there have been bees over here. These little dots on here means that they've been pollinated. And when there's pollinated leaves, butterflies will spawn. And the butterflies will hang around. And you can collect butterflies and stuff like that. And, um, currently, because there is a direct path connecting butterfly place forward... Some of these islands over here have actually gained butterflies, even though they're really nowhere near those pollinated trees, which is really cool. It's cute. I like that. And um, it seems that some of these leaves have actually been pollinated. Like, this one got pollinated by a butterfly. Um, this one also got pollinated by a butterfly. Um, and there are butterflies around here. Look, butterfly. Cute little butterfly. Butterflies on top of the trees and stuff like that. And if I planted more trees along the way, um, they would eventually... Um, They'd eventually find their way over to Draconia, which I plan to do at some point. But, um, host some spam caller. Let's see if they can match up with the Google. I love the fact that my Google phone can respond to a call for me and be like, Hi there, you know, the person you're trying to contact is using a screening service. Please state your name and your business. And they'll half the time not say anything because they're not, they're, they're like, they don't really care. Oh, the call has ended. Well, would you look at that? Looks like they didn't want to talk anyway. Well, boohoo for you. I'd like to consider myself a wonderful person to talk to. I like having conversations with people. Every so often, like, we'll get somebody on the other line and they'll say while they're here. Honestly, the only, the only corporation that has managed to slither their way into my phone past the screening service has been my internet company because they call and they're just like, Hi there, this is Sandra from Xfinity. We're talking to you. We want to call to you about your service. And I'm like, what about my service? I care about my internet. Tell me about my service. And I'm like... Oh, well, it's not really about your service. Actually, we were wondering what your mobile phone plan is and if you'd be willing to upgrade. And I'm just like, please take me off your list. I, I don't want... I, My parents pay for my cell phone. Well, they really don't pay for my cell phone. I pay for my cell phone. But like, I'm on their plan. And I'm okay with that for now. I pay my bills. I don't need to switch. There's no need to switch. Are you dead yet? You're green, and I want you dead. Not because you're green, but because you try to kill people. That's no good. Hi there. Hi there. Oh, you're also... Hi there. Hi there. Um, cool. That worked. Now you're all dead. Ha! <laughs> now you're all dead. I've saved the universe once again from the blood leechers. Because of those bat things, they they drop they drop blood leech charges, so they leech the blood. Oh, they're, they're vampiric. I think I think we get the point. I think we I think we understand that. Hi, creeper. Creeper. Oh man. Oh, hi there, Veneraptors. If I don't take care of you now, you'll take care of me over here. So, all oh, tiny little wargs. Uh, let's go with that so they can't touch me. There you go. Hey, yo, hey, yo, hey, yo. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, you stabby skeleton. More warg things and... 
Oh, is there a Raikou too? Yeah. Come on down here and say that to my face. What? Because we respect people who fight their battles head on. Are you dead yet? Where are you? Where are you? There you are. If I go up higher, I will find you. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Yes, you're dead. Oh, come on, Zomble. You gonna open a window? Sweet! The smells of the outdoors. The outdoor air of Philly, Philadelphia. It smells exactly how you'd think it would. It's a city. What do you expect? Smells like gasoline? Ah! Oh. Ethanol! Very Actually, ethanol is like alcohol. What, what, ga what is gasoline? Gasoline is methanol? Methanol? Methanol. Ah! Oh. Methanol! And then I pass out. Some say that methanol is actually incredibly sweet. I don't know about that. I wouldn't test it myself. Oh my god! Hi there, hole in the ground. It's time to play hole in the ground! When you fall into a hole in the ground of varying depths and see when you break your ankles. I don't think that's a good game. It's not a good game? I don't no. think that's a good game. Well, I mean, I thought it was... I think the, I think the heart was there. So until I actually get my levitators, let's put a little nether rack here. Let's light it up here. Light it up. Put a little cauldron on top of it. I only need one. Let's get my reservoir. Put that in the ground. Using my laser. Excuse me. That's a very interesting taste in my mouth. For breakfast, I had a little peanut butter and chocolate bar. Peanut butter and chocolate. Classic combination. I then drank some coffee. I then started eating melons. Speaking of which, melon time. Hmm. Melons. And so that's just a very interesting flavor combination. Peanut butter chocolate coffee melon. I feel that. Feel it in my mouth. The taste. The melon. The coffee. Really complimenting each other. Nah, it's just, it's just weird. I... I don't think it's particularly uh, astounding a combination. I wouldn't I, I wouldn't think that there isn't some like melon chocolate combination out there or melon coffee. Somebody's thought of it. Probably. <gasps> the microwave. Ooh, we can hear the we can hear the beats of the people outside now that the windows are open. But I think Minecraft is better. Nah, Minecraft Minecraft music doesn't have that beat to it. No offense to you, C418, but you don't have the same beat as whoever's music that is out there. Oh my god, it's foggy today. It's rainy. It's rainy and foggy. My Google told me that I should expect rain today. I believe it. Um, okay, so now I have this cauldron. Why do I need this? I need a wand. I need a wand with capacity to be able to create the thingamabobs. All right, well, I need my arcane work table. In my arcane work table, I need... More work table. Great wood planks, shards, uh, iron ingot, nitor. Uh, to create nitor, that's why I have my thingamabob there. So let me go grab iron, air shard, earth shard, great wood planks. Great wood planks are elsewhere. I need great wood logs, and I don't currently have any of those around here. But if I go and mine down a great wood tree, I will then be able to grow one over here, which is advisable. It's good to have. Eventually, what I hope to as well is to have the virtual storage system over on this side of the island connected over to the other side of the island so that I can access all of my things from one place no matter where I am. But the issue with Applied Energistics, the mod that facilitates the virtual storage, is the fact that it uses more power depending on how long your network is. I don't currently have a reliable way to power things. Technically, I have like a certain system that allows me to only turn it on when I need it, but that relies upon redstone conduits, which I don't believe will activate unless it's in a loaded chunk. And these chunks over here are not loaded when I'm over there, I don't think. So that's a bit of a disadvantage. 
Let's see. Um, what do I have in here? Do I have earth shards in here? No. Uh, I do have the air shards. I need air shards and earth shards, right? Air shards and earth shards. So let's go into this backpack. Let's take out, like, stack of those. Let's throw this in there. Let's throw this in there. Is there anything in there? If there's one in there, what's what is in there? What was that? Oh, obsidian. Oh, from the reapers or the the wraiths. The wraiths dropped those. What else can I throw in here? Um, spectral bolts, sticky resin. Can throw those in there. Uh, the carpenter stairs. I don't really need those right now. And let's find iron. 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 Run on the one iron. Wow, look at that. And I need earth shards. I got plenty of those. I got a lot of gas tears. Did I go hunting for gas recently? No, you know who else drops gas tears? Beholders. Which, uh, I don't think Lycanite's mobs has the rights to use, Beholder. But, uh, I ain't no narc. Why would I? Why would I snitch on them? <laughs> I like fighting Beholders. Earth shards. And I need great wood planks. Do I actually have any great wood planks over here? Great wood. I have a great wood sapling. Hey, look at that. Awesome. So uh, if I get myself some bone meal. Can I get that bone meal boneless? No, sir, you cannot. It's literally meal of bone. You cannot get that boneless. No, you cannot. Can I get that bone soup, soup boneless? That bone broth boneless? Yes, you can. Because the bone broth is merely the bones in the broth for a while. And then, usually, we remove the broth. So, yes, you can have that boneless. That's your question. Let's... Let's make a great wood. Yeah. That doesn't sound weird or anything. Let's create the greatest of woods ever created. Great wood. The wood of the greatest wood. Can I... Oh, does that have to grow on its own? Oh, I can't bone meal that up here. Get that out of the way. Get those out of the way. All right, I gotta chop down a great wood. Um, I know where one great wood is. So let's go kill it. Bring my Venoraptor over here. It's great. I can just turn off my Venoraptor and turn him back on again. Stuart will just come to my location. He'll warp. He'll be sent to the pocket dimension and then brought right back. Thank you, Stuart. I appreciate you. I'm sure it's absolutely... It's physical turmoil for you being... Sucked back into a dimension and then promptly and swiftly ripped back out of it. But you know what, Stuart? I appreciate you. We appreciate you. We all appreciate you. I like Stuart. I forgot what his name was for a while. But I know in my heart it's Stuart. And if I had a name tag... Do I have a name tag? Hold for a moment. I have to see if I have a name tag so I can properly label Stuart. Name tag? Name tag. Name tag. Open. Open for me. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, chests aren't opening. Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> there we go. Scared me for a second there, server. Uh... Name tag, name tag, name tag. Name tag! I will name thee Stuart. Can I? I I can name you Stuart. It might not work with these mobs. Where'd you get... Stuart! Stuart, where'd you go? Stuart. Stuart? Where did... Stuart, where the hell did you go? Stuart! 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 Stuart, where the hell did you go? I leave you outside for... What was that? Less than a minute? Did you fall into the, the cliff again? Did you fall in? Stuart! Stuart! Did you fall in again? No, he did not fall in. Stuart! Did you go swimming? Usually he goes swimming. Stuart, are you under the water? Are you under the bridge, Stuart? You under the bridge? No. Stuart's not under the bridge. Did you go into the almost burnt down house, Stuart? Did you miss home? Did you miss home, Stuart? No. Bunch of heads in there too. Did you, Stuart? You didn't go to another dimension, did you, Stuart? Well, guess I'll have to bring you back. I have no freaking clue where Stuart went. Did he go in here? He didn't go in here, did he? Also another eviscerated location. What the? Wow. I don't think I've ever lost him like this. He's just gone. What the hell, Stuart? Okay. Welcome back, Stu. Can I... Can I please... 
No, I want to. I want to label you. I want to label you. I can't do that. It's so annoying. Oh well. Now we know. Knowing is half the battle. GI Joe. Yeah, whatever. Anywho, is it? All right. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a quick break because there's something I need to take care of. So I will take care of that first. Shouldn't be too long. And then I will be back and we'll cut down a great wood tree. Great wood trees in a moment. Enjoy these parrots while I am gone.
I've returned everyone. It's okay. The scene is safe. Oh, it does smell Your like children are safe now. Because the window is open, it smells like marijuana now. Dank Philly. But your children are safe. Not safe from bad decisions or the wrong paths in life. But they're physically safe from harm now. I have saved the day. There is no need to worry. Your children are safe. For Why am I using my controller? I don't know why I did that. I was like, it's all good. Time to use my controller to play Minecraft. No? That's not how that works. Time to kill a great wood tree. Time to chop down tree. Time, uh, time to chop down tree. Time to chop down tree. Where's Stuart? Stuart! Stuart! You been there? Stuart! I don't know. I don't know where Stuart went. Stuart, is that you? No, that's not Stuart. You're not blue like Stuart is. Stuart's more blue than you are. That's fine. Don't worry about Stuart. There's the great wood tree. And uh, I'm gonna chop it down. But before I chop down said great wood, I'm going to sleep. Because it's dark. And I like sleeping on branches. Ah, nothing like sleeping on tree branches. Nothing quite like sleeping on a tree branch. Nothing quite like sitting on a tree branch. Gotta love it. Gotta, gotta love it. Good afternoon. It's probably afternoon over there. It's probably good afternoon for you, Harry. It's a very still good morning for me. How was school today? Was it school? I bet it was school. Was school cool? Of course it doesn't. Why is school cool? <laughs> Don't do drugs. Staying cool. <laughs> Just got home from fucking shit. I know, right? That's how school still feels. If you ever thought that maybe the glory of college would change that, <laughs> I'm sorry to disappoint. Really, really doesn't. It really, really doesn't. It just kind of get. You know what? If I'm being honest, it gets worse. It gets worse. But but like you know, in exchange, you know, you're also attempting to guarantee like a career after your college and university and stuff like that. Oh, everything's on fire! Wow. Whoops. I thought those were just gonna go away on their own. Because, like, their leaves and leaves go away and, well, it's, it's on fire now. I'm on fire. Time to put myself out. Stuart, is that you? That's not Stuart. Oh, I'm out now. Hi, Creeper. <laughs> creeper? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Does the UK have actual full days of school? Oh, that'd be crazy. Well, I believe it's just the just the early afternoon over there, but then again, I don't really know. Curious. Full days? My goodness. Y'all are dedicated over there to your education. That's good. In one way, that's good. But, um, I'm sure from that perspective, you know, the, you, you're young. You're young. I was there too. And at the time, I'm like, school's annoying. I don't like school. And now I'm like, you know what? High school is fine. School is all right. Sco school could have been worse, honestly. Could have been much worse. I'll admit, I know that there are a lot of people out there who have had terrible, like, terrible, like, public or high school experiences and whatnot. I, I, it was, my high school experience wasn't really that bad. It really wasn't that bad. So uh, I can't pretend to understand what you're going through. Or I, I can't pretend to know exactly what you're thinking of. But I feel like I understand. I'm still going to school. I'm, I'm still going to college. I'm very, very close to finishing, though. I have a couple weeks left, actually, before I am graduated. Graduated. Anna's still in school for a while. She's doing her graduate stuff. Technically, I'm doing my graduate stuff as well. But um, I got my, I did my undergrad. I'm doing my undergrad and grad stuff at the same time. Because uh, they, they, they call me this mini boy. I'm almost done with it. Almost done with it. And then, and then uh, one, of my, um, one of my capstone project partners asked me the other day. He's like, hey, totally impromptu question, but you want a PhD? Uh, so one of the professors is asking for recommendations. And I'm like, nah, not right now. I just don't know what I'd do with it. I don't know what I'd do with a PhD right now. Like, uh, if a, if a company, uh, this is what, this was my plan. My plan was, when I first entered college, my freshman year, I told myself, I am going to try to, I, I'm going to complete my degree. I'm going to do it. I'm going to complete my degree and get the hell out of here. And then, one of my, uh, elder fraternity brothers, one of the older guys, was just like, you know, like, I think you could probably do, do you know about the BSMS program? Like, you can do a master's and the bachelor's at the same time? I was like, no. I didn't know I could do that. And, uh, oh, shit, enemies. They come by when, uh, shit's on fire. Hey there, pal. This is the problems of cutting down forests. This is the problems of forest fires. Um, but so he's like, you should totally do this. I really think you can do this. And I was like, all right. 
So uh, I was bored at my first co-op job and thought, if I can squeeze a master's degree and a bachelor's de degree together on my schedule, then I'll do it. So I did that. And it was actually a very, very sparse schedule. So then I thought, you know what? Can I put another degree in there too? My mentality was, I want to milk this school. This school is expensive. They are extorting me for all the cash uh, a not so educated young aspiring scholar can be. And so I was like, I'm gonna milk this place for all it's got. The money that I'm spending is gonna be spent well. And so I packed a second major in there too. And uh, long story short, that was difficult. That was not fun. It was educational. And in that, rec in that regard, I had a lot of fun learning a ton of new things that I would have never been exposed to otherwise. And I think it, it really well prepared me for a lot of things that I want to do as hobbies and could potentially prepare me for the jobs that I might have in the future and whatnot. And it worked out. So after building that schedule, getting that approved and beginning my journey, I was a young, aspiring student as I, I'm still young and aspiring. Aspiring, not inspiring, aspiring. Inspiring is something that only somebody else can tell me. I, I can't tell myself that I'm inspiring. What, do I inspire myself every day? I guess. That sounds so full of it. So then I did that, and... Oh, I lost my train of thought. Where was my train of thought? Oh. I lost my train of thought. Anyway, school stuff. I'm almost done. Milk this school. Milk this school. And I, I'm doing that. I'm doing that. Yeah. Yeah, long story short, it was it was hard. It's hard, it still is. Oh, is that a blaze rod? Oh, those cinders drop blaze rods. That's awesome. Didn't know about that. Forest fires have some benefit. Look at that. Oh, I can put these in my miner's backpack. Put them in there, put them in there, put them in there, put them in there. Remember, don't do forest fires unless you're trying to harvest materials from uh, beings who spawn from the flames. In which case, um, I don't know. It's all you, man. These trees don't drop uh, saplings very often, by the way. And certainly they won't drop saplings if it's on fire. But, um, you know. As my high school physics teacher used to say, there are many ways to skin a cat. There are many ways to get to Walmart. And this is merely one way to get to Walmart or skin the cat. Burning down the tree. Shooting it with lasers. Setting it on fire. Mm. See, I'd care about the environment over here. But I don't like this island. This island's not my favorite island. I care about Draconia Island. I don't care about Origin Isle. The Origin Isle. Yes, they're lame names. I don't know they're lame names. They're not incredibly creative. Uh, I used to be more. I used to be more creative with my names. Back when I was younger, when I used to play a lot of vanilla Minecraft with uh, with my buddies, we'd play on like multiplayer servers and whatnot. Oddly enough, almost every multiplayer server that I've ever been on... Oh, time to do some exercise. Hopscotch. I don't remember how to do hopscotch. How do I hopscotch again? Oh, how do I hopscotch? Wait a minute, I think hopscotch is... I'm gonna go to the side. Like that. Yeah, that's it. That's my hopscotch. And then we get a little beat going there. And I bounce on the floor. And Debbie's like, what the hell is he doing up there? And I do my hopscotch and not hit my feet against my chair. I feel like dancing with this one. I haven't been up today, so I'm not gonna... I'll let the game go while I just dance my way through my exercise today. Yeah, that's not, that's not too bad, but honestly, this feels like a dance move. I can make that into a dance move. Oh, I'm being shot at. That looks so weird on camera. Of course it does. Okay, that, that seemed enough. Perfect timing, too, because the, the hell spawn are coming back to me. Perfect timing, though. See what I need? What I need is a complete other angle for um, all of the um, all of that stuff. Is there another one? Oh shit, there's another one. Hi there. What I need is another angle for like exercise stuff. I need like a standing angle. I don't have that though. If I had another camera set up for it, what I could actually do is with my little bot that controls uh, the chat, um, I can actually transition my scenes in OBS to like turn on or up a particular camera view. So if I had another camera, if I had another camera, when that happens, it'll actually, I can actually switch the scene or switch the cameras and toggle them for like five minutes or something like that. That could work. That could really work. Uh, honestly, that that's probably what I'm gonna do. Just need another camera. Just need more cameras. More and more cameras. I already have two cameras, but apparently I need a third for a different purpose. Use my phone as a camera? I could do that. 
do that. That's a, that's a really good idea. I know that that's a thing that you can do. I just don't know how to set it up in OBS just yet. Because uh, I'm sure it's easy. I just have to look it up and see how to do it. Gotta put that over the local Wi-Fi. The local, the local network. That is a very good idea. I like that. But then, like, I'd have to set the phone. I, I gotta set up a stand for it, too. There's still some more prep I gotta do. It's not a problem. I just gotta... Just need more. Just need more prep. Need more prep work. Needs me more prep work. Oh, look. These trees are on fire. Nice. Stupid trees. Hate these trees. These trees drop one of my favorite fruits, though. Persimmons. Ivy cam or epoch cam? Ooh. I'm gonna write that down. I'm gonna write that down. Where's my Where's my uh, suggestion list? There's my suggestion list. Well, not suggestion list. This is the things to check out later. Ivy cam, Ivy cam, or epoch, epoch cam. Cam, 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 cams, 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 cams. There are many ways to cam. Oh, I'm still in hover mode. I don't need to be in hover mode. D -d 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 Kill tree. Kill tree with more fire. Fire! Set fire to the flames. And, uh, anyway. So, did I get any saplings from that? I did not. Oh! Th nope, that's the wrong sapling. Mm, I hate the origin trees. If you notice, these trees are also different. They're origin leaves, and they don't work like regular leaves, which is also annoying. I hate this biome. Biomes of Plenty is a wonderful mod, but I don't like this biome in particular. It's a bad biome. It's annoying. This grass can't be eaten by cows. Or sheep. It's bad for animal husbandry. Bad. Alright, well, I knocked down the great wood tree. It's dead. And I have no more saplings. So there was nothing gained from that. Terrible for the environment. But perfect for magic. Now I have all these great wood leaves and stuff. And what I should do as well, I should just switch out my wand. Wand. Not that wand. I don't want that wand. This wand should be switched out with this other wand. Because, uh, I need more stuff. Hmm. I can hear the sounds of the city. When the sounds come out in the city. That's it. There's nothing. Oh. Chunks? Chunk arrows? Oh, look at that. It's okay. If I just, if I just keep on running. There we go. Little chunk glitches. Ooh, nice. When I unload them and reload them back in. But the next time I come back to Origin Island, I'll be just fine. Oh, spatial tears in the world around me? No problem. No problem. Just walk away. Walk away. They'll fix themselves eventually. Just walk away. I like that about Minecraft, you know? one of those games where if you find a problem in it your best bet is just walk away come back later disconnect reconnect you'll be fine and then it's just like connection terminated io error no further information you're like damn it their errors are not very i know from experience minecraft errors are not always the easiest to debug holla at my colleagues Y'all know what I'm talking about. One error will be like, you have a problem with this plugin over here, and you're just like, oh, is it really that plugin? It'll actually just be like, I don't know, something completely different. Or your Java version is just wrong. Forge no likey. Forge no likey, this particular version of Java. I wonder if there's a... I wonder if there's a Java 11 modded client. Should investigate that should investigate. Now I got these amber charges. I don't usually find cinders a lot because I don't usually set forests on fire. That's a, that's a very once in a blue kind of thing for me. It's not very often. I don't want to throw those in there. Oh, let's throw those. Throw that in there. Whatever. Fabric? Does Fabric have a one, uh, Java 11? Never played around with Fabric before. I want to investigate Fabric. That's one of the things that are on my list. That's one of the things on my list of things to investigate for the betterment of my current occupation. Because uh, I like to think I'm the mod guy, but I'm not the mod guy. But I want to learn more so I can further dig my way into that niche. All it takes is time. But uh, all this school stuff and whatnot's kind of got me preoccupied. 
school, fit life. These are my three priorities in life. And pretty much anything I do falls under one of the three categories. And that is family, friends, and fun. It's either related to loosely or related to any of those three things directly. For example, my video games and stuff like that, that's fun. That's on the bottom. But if somebody said, yo, I'm coming over, friends, that's above that. And so I would not I would not opt for the hobby because I'd be I'd be taking the time and I'd take it away from my friends who I don't see very often anyway. So I like to want to make sure that they you know, get the time that they deserve. Um, and of course, family's up there as well. Family, top, top of the list. Love my fam. Love my fam. Love to go see them, though. I, I appreciate my distance from them eventually. I like my space. My bubble is nice. My bubble is very nice. Things like my education, Technically, that falls under all those categories. I have fun learning, so it's up there. I better my education so that I can help my friends out eventually. So that's the friends. And uh, also, if I better my education, I get myself a job. I make some money that I can throw some money back at my family members who uh, help me financially, mentally, in all the ways through my entire existence so far. So that's, that's top priority. So school. School hits all those three check marks. But um, that's been my philosophy for the last, like, two years, is, I think. Family, friends, and fun. And it's worked out for me in one way or another. And, uh, and I, I feel like a nice philosophy on life will set you up pretty well for things. All right, I need Greatwood Logs. So let's take, like, yeah, that many. Let's throw the rest in this chest that's floating above me somewhere. Yeah, throw some more Greatwoods in there. Uh, throw the cutting table in there, that, the extra crucible, arcane stone blocks. Don't need those. Let's see now... Okay, so great wood there and there. On the bright side too, it's great. These this table doesn't get rid of the stuff in it, so it just kind of sits there, kind of like the project tables from what mod pack is? What mod is that? I don't remember. I don't use it very often because I don't really have the need for that. I can just auto craft things if I wanted to. I think is it earth on top and the other one on the bottom? Let's see now. Earth on top, other one on the bottom, and then I need night war. Earth on top, other one on the bottom. If I make like eight levitators, that'll be fine, I guess. And then I need Nitor. To create Nitor, I think I just need to throw shit into there. Yeah, a little bit of glowstone dust. Ignis Luke's Potentia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some glowstone. Then I'm going to go back and grab some Ignis Luke's and Potentia from the other island. I'm running a lot back and forth. It's the transitional period. That's what we get. And uh, glowstone dust. So let me just grab like a stack of Ignis Potentia and Luke's from the other island and oh you're gold up there you're a golden bird well i don't like you anymore that you're gold you're still stupid and i don't like it you make me sad that's not fun that's not on the priority list you know it doesn't fall under the category of family friends or fun it's just annoying you're an enemy of mine that's quite the opposite of friend but sometimes you know maybe sometimes a little friendly quar quarrels can be a or rather not so friendly quarrels sometimes quarrels can be rather fun and entertaining when like you know like you're, you're in that situation where you're just kind of you you know you know things aren't gonna pan out well so you just kind of roll with it anyway you have a little fun with it um i'm that kind of person deep down there is a dark part of my heart i know it is there there is a bit of maliciousness in there it doesn't come out very often it comes out when it's necessary or when apparently it wants to have a good time yeah you know, we've all got dark sides we all got it's the yin and the yang it's the dark and the light Two sides of the coin. We've all got that. If there's anybody out there who, like, legitimately does not have that dark side, you're a saint. You were better off than me. You're better off than anybody else I know. Oh, that's uh, pretty much... It's all healed now. Nice. It's all completely healed now. Nice. What else did I need? Oh, I came back for the different aspects. Love that. Don't touch me. You're not Stuart. You don't have permission to touch me. You are also not Stuart. You do not have touching privileges. Stay away from me. Don't touch me unless you're Stuart. Wait, you missed the dark side thing? Oh, I was just saying, like, we've all got dark sides. I got dark side. I got a dark side. I got a dark side of my heart. I was just saying, we all have dark sides. And sometimes my dark side comes out of my soul sometimes. Not very often. But we all have dark sides. Yin and yang. Dark and light. Two sides of the coin. If there's somebody out there who doesn't have a dark side, and I can't see it, I mean, I I don't I don't have enough faith in myself to be able to determine like, oh yeah, you definitely have a dark side. Like, how would I know? But if you can hide it that well, like I don't think I can hide mine that well. And if you can, like, dude, you're a saint. That's wonderful. That's wonderful. You are better off 
than I am in this world. Are you saying I have a dark side? Yes, you have a dark side. I do not have a dark yes, side. Yes, you do definitely I have, have a, happy a dark side. side. and a sad side. You have a dark side. I've I seen not have dark I've side. seen your dark side. Oh, really? Explain to Anna, because Anna doesn't remember this. You, you know, you know when you when you leave your clothes on the floor? That's your dark side coming out. When you leave your clothes that's on the floor, me being that lazy. me having to pick up after your mess, that's that's the dark side. That's because I trust when, you. When when you're like when you're sitting there and you're just like, I don't wanna do work, I don't wanna eat. I don't want to watch TV. I just want to sit here and do nothing. That's I'm like, can I help you with anything? With life. Exactly, that's the dark side. My but dark it's okay. You should be proud sad. of your dark side. Okay, cool. So, uh, I'm proud of my dark side. Yeah, I don't have a dark, dark side. side. I have a sad side. We'll go with that one. Well, I've, the, the, the negative feelings, it's the dark side. Hey, we're not saying dark is evil. We're not saying dark is evil. We're saying dark is just not light. And light, I would say, is positive, And dark would be the negative. How do you Let's know? say a positive side and a dark what side. What if we contrast that? That's just my contrast. philosophy. Do you have a differing philosophy? No. Tell me. I have no idea. Tell me what your philosophy I'm is. Fried. I'm fried. Let us chat like learn. the old philosophers of the Renaissance era, and we can debate our philosophies together. I'll be the Socrates, and you could be the Aristotle. Aristotle. That just brings me back to that really shitty, like, love Love is something class what was it? I don't know, did you take a love class? It was a philosophy class. You took a philosophy love. class on love. Oh, ways of love. Ways of love. I remember you complaining about that one. Yeah. Oh. I tried to argue that uh, Socrates was wrong because like, you know, what <laughs> kind of information does he have on a oh woman? Oh my God, that's great. And then it was like, and then the professor was like, no, you're wrong. And I'm like, what? Don't you love it when people who are above you in a certain uh, uh. position who want to teach you that, that teacher position are just like, my opinion is just correct and you should be in line with my opinion for example socrates as being the best philosopher like bro that's your opinion and i respect your opinion but y'all need you don't need to like push it on me like we can agree to disagree that's fine but like as soon as you start saying things like oh because i do not agree that socrates is the best you're gonna affect my grade for it now now we gotta we, we're gonna have to get fisticuffy gonna have to get a little fisticuffy don't get me wrong i suppose if i was in the teacher position and you did not like explain your side of why you disagree like if you don't explain why you disagree you just say that you don't then uh yeah i mean i guess i'd dock you some points for that am i any good at shakespeare i can read shakespeare i suppose i did a lot of acting in the past some would say the acting still continues today perhaps that's the part of my dark side part of my negative side i mean if i had shakespeare in front of me i could totally read it well, let's look. Shakespeare reading time. Let's bring up the Tempest. I always liked the Tempest. I did like the Tempest. Let's get the the Tempest. The Tempest. Shakespeare. Yeah, let's do that. Give me that. I want to read some passages from the state from the Tempest. Doing some English homework. Oh, nice. Topical. Damn. Love it when things are relevant like that. Well, then I have to question what you mean as good at Shakespeare. I did well in my English classes. I did. I did. Not good in my classes relating to English as in things that are related to England. History class I didn't quite like. But like, reading comprehension, reading stuff, and regurgitating it out for professors and teachers alike. Yeah, pretty good at English. And, and I think I speak the language rather well too. Though, I, I will admit, I have spoken to some English as a second language people who speak the language much better than I do. And it's because they spent more time. Like, this is just my natural interpretation of how to speak the language. What I grew up with. It's not like study, study, study. It's kind of like warlock versus sorcerer. What country name fits in the blank? The Catholic context suits the setting of blank because its society was and is still predominantly Catholic. England. England's a country, right? UK? Is England the country or is the United Kingdom the country? I was never good at geography either. I don't really know about that either. Oh, makes me sad. The Tempest. Give me some give me some bits from the Tempest. Give me some bits from the Tempest. Where's some good bits from the Tempest? Uh quotes. Quotes from the Tempest. Passages. Passages from the Tempest. You know what I would suggest? This is my suggestion for that type of homework question. Type that exact thing into Google, quotations on either side. Where the blank is, put a little asterisk and see what Google tells you. Chances are that is not the first time that question's been asked. <laughs> I will not be able to... <laughs> that's my best... That's my best, um, suggestion for that one. <laughs> hey, now see? Now you're thinking with the internet. What'd you get? You got it right? 
Yes! Nice! What was the answer? Educate us. I want to know. I want to know what the answer was. Let's see. Oh, I need glowstone. I don't have glowstone. Let's get a bunch of glowstone. I am curious. What place is... What place is the... Italy! Ah, yeah. That's it. Yep, that's a good one. That's a good one. Italy. Very much so. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. It's pretty Catholic. I got a lot of church... Got a lot of nice churches over there. To the point where even some of the churches are very, very... They're very um, conservative in the fact that they still, like, kind of adhere to their own ideals. Like, when I went to Italy, uh, specifically um, Venice, I don't remember what the church is called... But when you went inside, if the ladies, if the ladies had their ankles showing, or um, ankles, oh my god, uh, probably their ankles too. If they had their shoulders showing, you had to, uh, the man had to give the, uh, uh, the jacket to the ladies in order for them to come into the tent, to, to the church. Otherwise, they would not let them inside. It's just, uh, it's just how things go. Just how things go over there. I wouldn't do it myself, but that's just a difference of opinion. That is okay. That's okay. Yo, you do you. You do you. I do me. Potentially do each other. That's how we do. Now I got my glowstone. And let's just make a bunch of Nitor. Actually, I probably have Nitor. And I probably could have grabbed that. But I don't feel like going back to Origin Island again. I don't want to. So I will not. I will not do that. This all to create my Arcane Levitator. I think I might need three of them. Excuse me. I may need three or two of them. Two or three. Depending on how much height. Vio, how are you this fine? Wonderful. It is still morning over here. I have 33 minutes left of morning, and my god, I'm going to milk that sucker for all it's got. It's morning time, baby. It's, it's There's no sun. It's very foggy. It's rainy today. It's a very dreary morning, but it's a morning nonetheless. It's a morning nonetheless. I threw my sword. Did not mean to throw my sword. Okie dokie 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 then. Oh, okie dokie 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 doke. Let's put the glass in that. No, actually, let's take that out. Let's... <clears throat> Hmm. Let's do 30. Let's make make a bunch of that. Let's make a bunch of that. Make a bunch, a bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Throw that all in there. Don't need it. Very important! Oh my goodness. There's some there's some caps going on. Hey, Nightbot says no caps in chat. Just kidding. Why do I care? Type in caps all you want to. Tee hee hee hee. I always thought that was weird. Like, why can't I type in caps? Like, we interpreting that capitalization is screaming is purely something that we have the p internet made ourselves. There's no governing body that says caps is shouting. Unless there is something out there who... Hi, Harry. I'm wonderful. I'm very great. My day has been good so far. I discovered a new flavor combination that is coffee, chocolate, peanut butter, melon. Um... I wouldn't say it's particularly um, astounding. I wouldn't say it's any cause for shaking up the culinary world. I'm just saying, I tried it. It's all right. Um, night tour. Need ten of them. Ten of them. Oh yeah, yeah. Good question, Disney Queen. We were all wondering that. <laughs> In case you don't already know, Disney Queen and I live together. Stream house. Just kidding. She doesn't stream. She's my fiance. And we are fiancés of each other. And uh, she loves to dress up in the Lolita stuff. We kind of got into it because of, I think it was a dream flutist who also pops on it every once in a while who kind of taught us about Lolita type stuff. And um, oh, people people know about it. Very cool. Very cool kind of stuff. I love to dress up. And if I could dress up in like the like the gothic, not Lolita, Lolito or Lolita, whatever, I would love to do that. I love dressing up. I love cosplay. It's costumey. It's theatrical. I like that. Let's see, let's take some of the glowstone dust out of here. I only need 10, so I will only use 10. Only need some of that. Oh, what is going on? I can't right-click. There's my right-click. There's my nice click. There we go. Um, Granite, come down here. Oh my gosh, lucky! Lucky that you've got, like, a place for that right down the road. We've got this thrift store. Actually, it's, I don't know if it's a thrift store or not. But there's this store down the street from us, like, two blocks away. It's the bar, or one of the bars, and then this store that's... I, I never know when it's open. It don't have consistent hours. But they sell really, really cool dresses and stuff like that. And we've never got a chance to go inside because it's so inconsistent and stuff like that. But it looks really cool. And eventually, we plan on going into that. Because uh, I, I want to know. I want to know. 
I want to know. And I can find many different things at thrift stores as well. Don't get me wrong. Just because something says, oh, it's, it's the ladies doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to not buy it. Because if it looks damn good and it feels damn good, then my God, why don't you rock that stuff? But, uh, you know, I think the only, the only article of clothing that I have like that is a pair of these plaid pants that are, oh my God, they are so extra. And I've only worn them once. I have only ever worn them once. But, uh, I think I rock them. I think I rock them. I think I rock them pretty well. Maybe I'll wear them on stream one time. You you can't really tell because, I mean, naturally, unless I get exercise, you won't be able to see my pants. Which is, by, by the way, that's why I wear pants on camera. Because if somebody requests the exercise, I have to make sure that I am wearing pants. Otherwise, that's not very cool. I mean, with all these people on Twitch getting in their swimsuits and stuff and jumping in hot tubs, apparently if I wanted to wear my boxer briefs on camera, I guess that's okay, but... I don't know if I'd feel okay with that. I have children watching me. I have to protect them. Or perhaps I have to protect myself to protect them. I have an image. My reputation could be tarnished by my boxer briefs. Which, by the way, according to conversations I had yesterday, wearing boxer briefs makes me a man whore. So I am a man whore. So uh, everybody knows that now. I'm a man whore. Sorry, guys. That's just how it has to be. I've got Nitor. Where's my Nitor? Did that go in my Miner's backpack? Interesting. Now I have Nitor. Oh, well, there we go. And I need the Arcane Levitator for that. And I have... How much in this wand? I have enough for one. I have enough for two. I have enough for three. I think that'll be enough. So let's give it a shot. Uh, let me break this up. Give me my... Give me my... Give me my pickaxe. Give me my pickaxe. Yeah. Give me that. Before I mine that up. Go down. Down, 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 down. Into the ground. Let's, let's open up this area around me so I can access the area of the levitator in case I need some more. Oh, my right click button isn't working again. So what's, um, percussive maintenance. Work. There we go. You working now? Now you're working. I don't know why that always works. I have to replace this. I have to replace this mouse. I've had it for a long time. Actually, this isn't even, this isn't my original mouse. I want to say I actually, was it, I swapped out the ball with somebody else's, or I swapped out the actual, uh, uh, mouse chassis with somebody else. I don't exactly remember. So let's see, will one levitator do it? One levitator? Nope, one levitator won't work. Let's do another one. Oh, is there, there's Lemonite down here. Nice. That's pretty good. How about two levitators? Oh, to the surface. Nope, two levitators won't work. The ball. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. Oh, oh, the ball. Oh. The ball. And the ball mouse. I'm using a ball mouse? You're damn right I am. I just like the convenience of the fact that I don't have to move my hand around when I want to move my thing on the screen. That's so convenient to me. I don't know why people don't like that. It's just a difference of opinion. Oh. Oh, is three enough? Three is enough. Whoa, hi there. Holy. Hi there. Hi. Hi. Hi, everybody. Hi there, Wolfie boys. Wolfie boys? Wolfie boys. Wolfie boys? Wolfie boys. Skelly boy? Skelly boy. Yes, I use a ball mouse. I do. Am I really that lazy? Is this really a discussion of laziness? I use... You know what? I know people... Actually, I, I, including myself, who you'll put in the effort to, like, program something that'll do the work for you. And I guess I'd ask the same question, like, what, are you that lazy to just not do it yourself consistently? Oh, are you so lazy to want to find something that takes less energy to do on a consistent basis because you do it a lot? I wouldn't say it's lazy. I'd call it efficient. Anyway, so three levitators seems to be enough. But you know what? Let's add a fourth one in there just for uh, argument's sake. <gasps> I'm out of Vs. I'm out of Vs. Need more Vs? So to answer your question, yeah, I guess I am really that lazy. If you would call it lazy. By your definition of lazy? Absolutely. By my definition of lazy? Nah. Nah, 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 nah. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. Sticking my wand. What am I missing? I'm missing air. I'm missing air. Does this note over here have air? I don't think it does. Do you have air? You do have air. Perfect. That'll be just enough for what I need before this guy comes up to me and just absolutely messes me up. There we go. Ah, uh, can't catch me. I am the gingerbread man. Well, perhaps not the gingerbread man. I am not ginger, nor my bread. I would consider man, though. So I'm at least a third of the gingerbread man. The man parts. All the 
all the important parts of the gingerbread man, I am also the gingerbread manish. Oh, I do like bread, though, and I do like gingerbread. So, in the context of me liking, me liking gingerbread, yes, I'm the intro. Oh, I need more Terra! Oh, need to, need some more of that. Hmm. Oh, nice! We got some Lolita links in chat. Question 28 of 41. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. And if I can't answer, well, we've only got Monsieur Google to answer the question for us. I need more peace. Let's see. There's probably a random node out there somewhere that has uh, Terra. The, the ocean nodes tend to have them. Let's check that one. There's two nodes over there. Let's check them. What do we got? Oh, my goodness. Classic Amazon, eBay, and Wish. Yeah. Wish scares me. I bought a nice watch, watch from Wish one time. It was a really nice watch, but um, upon getting it, I uh, it, it kind of broke when I opened up and tried to fix it. But uh, I do have this 32 gigabyte uh, flash drive from Wish that's been working for a while. It it computer com constantly complains about it, but it still works. Oh, a Terra node, nice. A Midsummer Night Dream, Macbeth, Twelfth Night. Which play fits in the blank? Shakespeare probably wrote blank around the same time as Romeo and Juliet. It's plays about the young lovers who face difficulties. The character of Hermia also has a father who wants her to marry a man she does not love. I'm going to guess Macbeth on that one because I don't think Midsummer's, Midsummer Night's Dream features that love, like that type of coupliness to it. I don't think. And I don't think, actually, I don't even know anything about Twelfth Night. But I'd say whichever one of those plays features a character called, uh, what was it? Hermia is probably the one you're looking for. Hi there, Lysodon. Get back in the water, you bitch. Macbeth is wrong! Oh my god, it's wrong. Goodness gracious. I don't know much about I, I like Shakespeare. The right answer is A Midsummer Night's Dream. Uh, I think the only character I know for sure from A Midsummer Night's Dream is, um, uh, what is it? Puck. Puck, I think, is the character's name. And he's like the uh, centaur-ish character, or druid, or whatever. Both plays are considered to be from early in Shakespeare's career. They differ in that Midsummer is a comedy, while Romeo and Juliet is a tragedy. Ah, the classic comedy and tragedy. Uh, I'm so sorry. But you know what? We can look at our failures as just that, or we can look at our failures as things that we can learn from, which is, I'm sure, what a professor would say in the most condescending way possible. Oh, you didn't get the question right? Well, take a look at that and... Treat it as something that you can learn from, like, all right, dude, but if I don't get a good grade in your class, I'm gonna fail. So, like, you obviously have a lot of other things. You, you don't have as much at stake as I do, so uh, perhaps your, um, your patronizing attitude can be uh, put elsewhere. All right, that works perfectly. Four levitators. That's what I needed, four levitators. Now I can bring you working on the inside. Oh, let me get that granite. Let me get that granite. Let me get that granite, granite. <laughs> See, we, we learn things. We learn things on this show. Now I know that both Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet and A Midsummer Night's Dreams were both um, created during uh, Shakespeare's earlier career, which is pretty, pretty cool. I've heard, like, I think the most talk in my particular friend group has been talk about, like, uh, I guess Shakespeare's, like, ladder works and whatnot, the stuff that never really got published, because apparently they were, like, Kira, like, they have stuff on what? Too. Oh my god! I'm so excited! What did you find? Oh my god, there's a moth on my ceiling. Oh, Hi, moth! Hi, mothy! What's up? What are you doing up there? You're usually over here. Anyway, uh, moths. Anyway, tell me more. Tell me more. I, don't, I can only vamp about Shakespeare for so long. Tell me more. Sorry, Harry. No, 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 don't tell me. I, well, he hasn't said anything in like two minutes, so. Oh, well. Cool okay. down time. <laughs> cool down from Summer Night's Dream. He's, he's basically gone at this point. He hasn't said anything the past two minutes. We've forgotten about him. It's kidding. Pretty... I'm oh kidding. God. Don't you worry. No, I but they have, forget. like, male jackets. They have male jackets? Yeah, male is in, like, area. like so I can go deliver mail to the people no, of the... No, like, Lolita ones. Lola... Oh, you like, Lolita. You literally said you were gonna wear it, so, like... I, I will wear jackets. Yeah, like, they're the nice, like, big, thick ones. Dude, like, you know what? You know, honestly, I prefer my female jackets more than anything else. They give me that hourglass figure that the boys love. And it's pink. I pink is a very awesome that color. it's actually not gonna be that hard to make you into an hourglass figure for, like, cosplay. Nice. Considering half the cosplays you wanna do now are female. Borderline androgynous? Nice, I can do that. I can rock a dress, though. Um, I need to. I don't think we're doing I a dress to, next. I, I need think to. I, have to figure out how to I need to figure out how to hide on cold days. I need to hide my more, uh, you know, sensitive portions. What the shit are you talking? You know, my nipples, because when it's cold, they get all, you know, they they'll poke through the dress, and it's very uncomfortable. You y'all don't have that problem. You wear like bras and stuff like what that. What are you talking about? I, okay, fine. You do have that problem, but I wasn't gonna talk about it. 
Everyone has that problem. Okay, fine. I didn't want to mention it. It's, it's weird. It's vaguely sexual. It's weird and uncomfortable. Ew. Yeah, it's okay. We are. all have the. Trust me, ladies. I get it. Your long hair causing you problems. I get you. Your your uh, nips on a cold day causing you problems. I get you. Anyway, I'm done talking about this. Thank you. I'm Please. feeling. Stop. Don't work. Anyway, was that all you had to tell me? Yeah. Was it male jackets? I'm just so excited. Male the jackets? jackets are so cool. The jackets are so cool. Yeah. Male jackets. I love okay, it. I'm supposed to do work. Camera gets distracted <laughs> by a moth. There is a moth on my ceiling. He's been si apparently. I don't know what he got there. I don't Maybe know it's what a lady. Is. Are you a lady moth? Are you a male moth? Are is you are you somewhere in between? It, I don't think it's dead. If it's dead, it why would it sleep? It looks like a suction cup. It's, it's probably like, oh. sleeping, dude. Just let it rest. <laughs> <laughs> You think suction cups go like that? I think instead of suction cups sounding like, I think it's more like a. Yeah, but it looks like it's. Well, no, no, it looks like, but it, but the suctions are like, and actually, no, bugs don't have suction cups. They have, uh, they have the little hairs, they have the little hairs. Actually, they mentioned that in my materials class. Actually, geckos have like microscopic okay, level work. hooks on the bottom of their fingers, and it allows them to like climb walls and stuff like that. Like that's so dope. Awesome! Learning about the world around me. Now that's dope. Learning new things? That's dope. Dare I say, it's bussin'. But, um, I'll let you decide. I don't have the right to use the term bussin'. I think I've gained the right to use dope. It's been a while. Bussin's very new. I don't think I can say that word yet. It's, it's, it's not not cool yet. Once it be once it's it's become not cool, then I'm allowed to say it because it would just it would fit things better. Let's go with granite tile. I like the idea of granite tile down here. It feels very magic-y. It's very um excuse me. I don't know where I was going with that. Do that. Um I don't think I ever need to go down there again. Oh, let's use this wood. Use this wood to kind of fill up the gaps. Gap, gap, fill up the gap. Gap, gap, fill up the gap, do do. Gap, gap, fill up the gap. Well, now that I know that moth's there, I'm gonna keep checking on it. See if it moves. Oh well. You know what? If it moves, far be it from me to stop it. Okay, so now I'm gonna mine in directions until I have figured out where the water is. I just need to know how big of an area that I have before I've reached the water. Maybe it'll be like a big, like, magic hub down here. Oh, that'd be so cool. Anyway, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going, keep on going. Found the water. Okay. Nice. Found water. That's water in one direction. Cool. That's, um, that's a distance. I don't want mobs to spawn. Scary, scary monster mobs. They did the monster mob. They did the mob. It was a graveyard mob. They did the mob. Ooh, it's blue topaz. Ooh, pretty. Okay, let's keep on going. Some more materials down here that I can't wait to, uh, I don't know, process later. Any more over here? Getting dark. Getting dark and scary. I'll be likely to be eaten by something. Sure. Ooh, silver. Ooh, silver. Silver's tasty. Any water? Oh, there's a cave down here. Holy cow, look at that cave. Mm -mm. <gasps> it's a magical cave! With Lemonites, which is pretty cool. Oh, is that the water above? Oh, is this a little? No, where is this coming from? Oh, it's just... All right, well, nobody cares about that. Nice. There's some more water down here. That was always something about Minecraft that I loved. It's finding new, like, little structures underwater. There's an abandoned mine shaft over here. Yo. They're not very magical. But you know what? Who cares? They're beautiful. Beautiful mine shaft. And this must connect to the rest of my, um... This will connect to the rest of my little underground system over here, too. I think if I go that way... Oh my god, look at these chests. Oh my goodness, there's so many chests. <gasps> Diamonds! Ooh. I'll take all the things that I can currently put in backpacks with me, and I'll come back for the rest of it. It's pretty cool. That's pretty awesome! <laughs> That's pretty dope. Hmm. No. Epic bacon? Sweet. It's epic because it's rainbowfied. Black rainbow. No, don't fall. Don't. Don't fall just yet. We're not ready for you to fall. Get us the Elorium. 
Yellorium is used for nuclear power in this mod pack. It's a part of the Big Reactors mod, and uh, I don't know how to use that yet, but eventually I will because I've realized I have a very bad power problem. Uh, currently, I'm using I'm using more power to create my fuel than I get from actually. Get out of here, stupid, stupid skelly boy! Get out of here! Get, just get get. Lapis. I'm using more power to create my fuel, uh, if used in the proper way. So. In order to create my fuel, I need fertilizer. In order to create fertilizer, I need to uh, ferment biomass. I can create biomass very easily. That's not a that's not a negative sum power problem. That's that's not an issue. What is the issue is creating the fertilizer, which comes from the fermenting part of it. Creating the creating the biomass not a problem. Fermenting it that is power hungry, too power hungry, too much power such that I wind up losing energy, which is obviously not good because if you're trying to create energy, you want to use usually have a higher amount that you make in profit than you do spending on it because otherwise that's not very sustainable the point is to be sustainable we want to be sustainable around here Sustain as sustainable as we possibly can oh agree sweet you're dangerous you're very dangerous but you drop good things like obsidian and uh, that's my power problem so obviously that means i should go nuclear obviously let's go with uh, i need more iron so while i'm down here i might as well uh, collect some limonite Limonite, 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 malachite, malachite, malachite. Malachite is a source of copper. Banded iron is obviously a source of iron. The limonite is a the limonite is a source of iron. Just just mine a bunch of these. I'm not doing this the systematic way where I like I do it in a mining fashion. I'm just trying to mine things as I go back up. Cause um, you know. A little bit of iron? That's good. A little bit of iron is good. A lot of iron? That might clog up the system for now. Which I don't really want to do. I don't want to deal with that. I want to deal with magic stuff today. It's a magical kind of day. Warp O's. They're magically hallucinatory. That's uh, that's my title right now. I thought it was pretty, pretty clever. I thought it would catch the eyes of the passerbys. You know? It's what the title do. It's what the title want. Anyway, time to continue to find where the rest of the... um. Actually, to be perfectly honest, I don't think that area over there is deep enough for me to find it. So let me let me take a look at that, actually. I don't think that's deep enough. This only goes how deep? It only goes down to... 40 something. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna reach the water that way. So... That's nice. Cool. Oh, I wanna go down. What is what is chasing me? I see something underwater chasing me. He's not chasing me anymore. Okay, come on. Get, get in the hole! There we go. So let's go this way. I will definitely find water in this direction. If I just keep on, keep on lazing. Keep on lazing in this direction. Light, light. Keep on lazing. Dun, 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 dun. Keep on lazing in this general direction. Oh, Tansonite. Finding all these tiny little gems. Tiny little gems. Oh, red granite. And water. We found it. We found it, boys. Boys, girls, and everyone else. We found it. We found the water. And, uh, it took us a little while to get there. And now in the other direction. Just to see how much, like, space I have to work with. Planning out the building section of this. Gold? Gold. Gold. Gold is good. I've been running low on gold. Need more gold. The best way to get gold, in my opinion, is to mine for magnetite, which can be further processed for gold bits. In order to process for gold bits, you need a lot of mercury, and I have a lot of mercury, because the last time I went mining for redstone, there was a bunch of cinnabar. So uh, that tends to be a, a thing that you encounter. We're almost there, we're almost there. Almost there to the water. They feel like, I feel, I feel we are almost there to the water. No, maybe not. Am I reaching the water? Oh, I don't know. Might not even be reaching the water. Eh, put some granite in there. There we go. Where's the water? Where is my water? These questions have been asked before. Water, 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 what? Oh, cave. Nice. Oh, nice. Same cave as before. Awesome. Um, well, I have cave system. Let's let's go this way and see how many blocks I was left until water. Two. Oh, there goes that. Um, it's dark. Okay. Uh, that was like two, I guess. Another one. Oh, there's the water. Hey, all right. So, uh, this was on level 58, so I really wouldn't have reached it anyway. Cool. Alright. So, I've got plenty of space in that direction, too, for building-wise. I like that. 
It is pitch black. I will be eaten by something. Small zinc ore. Nice, 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 nice. Nice city, nice, nice, nice. By the way, if the background noises from, like, the windows get, like, bothersome or anything, by all means, you're always free to share your opinions. I can't tell. I can only... I, I hear it, like, big blasty blast. So it sounds loud. And it comes up, so... I, uh... I gotta ask. Gotta ask. I'm curious. I'm genuinely curious. And I'm hungry, apparently. So let's eat this bacon. Then I won't be hungry for a long time. Epic bacon. Love you and fill you up long time. It's not cheap, though. Epic bacon to create is, like... That's not true. Oh, is it really just a bunch of dyes? I can use yellow limonite dust for that? Okay, wait, wait. So I can... I can take, like, ground-up rocks and use that as yellow pigment. I mean, I guess that makes sense. I mean, iron in your food, right? Like, you know, it was a... Iron is a thing your body needs. I guess that makes sense. Alright, I need to get... I need to make more space for myself so I can... Don't just keep getting, like, sucked up by this elevator. I don't want to do this. Honestly, I'd love for this to be, like, like, a circular room. So let's try to make it as circular as possible. I like that. I don't have any circular motifs. I mean, it's Minecraft, so uh, how circular can you really be? You can be pretty circular. You can get, like... I mean, it depends on how big your creation is. If you make it big enough, it can be, cir like, vaguely circular. So I'll work on that. I'll slowly make this circle bigger and bigger and bigger. Bigger, bigger circle. Until it's as circular as I want it to be. We're on the search for circles. You thought that this was just cubes? Oh, you were... You were mistaken. This time you were mistaken. I know, like... When I go around... I'm subscribed to the, uh, What is it? R slash Minecraft. And every once in a while, there are guides up on there on, like, how to make cool-looking structures in your Minecraft world. I don't really pay too much attention to those. I'm not as big a Minecraft player as most people are. Play every once in a while. I have other games that I'm into. This mod pack's like my baby, though. I love it. It's not really my baby. I did not create this. I did not create this. Somebody else created most of it, and I played it enough with a friend of mine, and I was like, this is this is great. I love this. We should make our own server. Because, um, other server owner was... I'll admit, I don't... They were really very kind, I don't think, to me and her, uh, my friend, so we moved on, made our own. Moved on, made our own. That's what we have to do. What you gotta do? If you're not feeling comfortable, like, move on. Go somewhere else. If you're not, like, currently happy with where you are, it may seem like it's difficult to change or impossible to change, but find something small to change about it. And then you'll find something else small to change about it. And then something else small to change about it. And my whole way of thinking is, eventually, if you change enough of the tiny things, all those tiny things, when you look back at them, will seem like a really, really big thing. And be like, wow, that was a really important change. I like that. And maybe you'll feel more comfortable with it. Who knows? Um, that can be... That little side there is vaguely circular. Uh, vaguely circular. It's gonna be a pretty bad judge of... Oh, you know what I can do, actually? There we go. If I zoom in on my map, I can see how circular things actually are. And then adjust it accordingly. Do, do, do. It's very rectangular right now. Squarular? Squarular? It's very regularly rectangular. Which I would say is squarular. Squa, squalular, squalular. Oh, and you know what? Then I can do this. Aha! Ha 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 ha! Get the, get the sides. Get the sides all nice and circular. We appreciate aesthetics around here. I got a camera with an X Enterprises. When do I get my LLC? <laughs> when do I get my own private company? Actually, that's something like apparently I can do. Because I know um, my fiancé's older brother, other future brother-in-law, he currently works for Grubhub. And what he did, and I don't exactly know what the motivation was behind doing it, but I know he did do it. He wound up, what he did was, he started his own, like, LLC company. That's just him. And technically, Grubhub hires the LLC, which then contracts him to do the, the Grubhub work. And I don't exactly know what the benefits of that are. Something with taxes? Something with taxes, apparently. And, uh, you know what? Maybe that's, maybe that's good. Maybe that's something that I should do. 
make my own little company according to paypal i have a i have a company because they wanted a company name and I'm like it's just my name dude i'm not a limited liability company i am not an llc uh, i guess any liability they have with me is totally my fault is that how that works legally i don't know i read i took a law class but it really didn't touch upon that stuff oh you know what i should get, do i have i have glowstone let me go back and grab some carpenter's blocks oh hi there whoa hi there hi there you're dead hi there you're dead and uh andy boy andy boy come here come here come to the party come to the party andy boy andy boy andy boy what about the Ender women? The Ender people? I suppose, like, in more recent updates, the Shulkers, they are denizens of the End. So I would argue that they are Ender people. But then again, I guess that comes back to the question of before. What are people? Do they have to be sentient? Are Shulkers sentient? Are Endermen even sentient? Can they be considered Ender people? I don't know. I don't know. What determines person? Hmm, I don't know. I do not really know. Well, I've come back for the carpenter's blocks, which I can actually use in addition to the glowstone, which I know I have more glowstone back at the uh, magical place. If I use that in conjunction with it, I can make blocks that just glow. They are sources of light without being torches or anything like that. I discovered that way, way too late. Because, um, you know, if you want a glowstone block, you have to spend for glowstone. That's pretty expensive in terms of glowstone if you don't have... A hover pad like a hover device and a laser to shoot down a bunch of glowstone with and that's expensive but with the carpenter's blocks you only need one glowstone dust and it, it can look like any block that you want and it'll just be lit up which is pretty freaking cool pennsylvania department tells me about things oh that's that's cool i don't really care i do not care pennsylvania but thank you for informing me i do not care sam i am i do not care anywhere um, let's have this over here. Let's put the light sources in the corners for now. The circle will get bigger. The circle will get bigger. But uh, bigger in a different way. Put carpenter's blocks in the corner. Boop, 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 boop. And is it in my... In my miner's backpack, my glowstone? Nope. What about the other one? Nope, it's definitely upstairs. Upstairs? Up elevator. Da -da 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 -da. It's a little slow. It's a little slow to get up, I'll admit that. It's a little slow to ascend. Uh, that's fine. Get some of that, exchange it with a stone. Let's put that in my immediate hot bar, my toolbar, my hot bar. Come back down here, and I can make it glow. Where's my current sources of light? Yeah, get out of here. I want authenticity. Authenticity. Get out of here. Make it dark, make it scary. If I didn't have any of these lights illuminating anything, what would it look like? It looked pretty dark. So if I do that, if I right-click with the glowstone in my hand, it becomes a light source block. And then I can make it whatever I want to. Boop. Just like that. I really like that about Carpenter's Blocks. I actually never knew about uh, Carpenter's Blocks until I played, let's see, a mod pack that was called Omnicide. Which was a mod pack that a friend from high school made. Um, I am not in contact with him anymore. It really stinks because my buddy, Lycos Lore on YouTube... Check him out. Please check him out. He's... Oh, I, I love that man. I love that man so much. As, as, as much as I could love another fellow human being without, like... Without, like, going beyond the level of, like, ben, best friendship. I love that man. He's a very close friend of mine. Anyways. He and I played on this mod pack. All the friends world. And we, we had a really good time on it. We played on it for, like, months. And then we just kind of dropped out of it. Kind of just stopped playing. And then uh, a while later, I reached out to the guy who made the mod pack. And I was like, hey, by the way, like... Do you still have access to the world file? Because, like, you know, Glenn and I would love to continue playing it, and I can just start up my own server for it, because I already had this server running for a while. I could just get another service and have that one running. Um, he never responded. Ghosted me. Maybe sad. So, uh, I don't have access to their world anymore. Sad boy time. Oh, well. That's a little more circular than it was before. Uh, I got a lot of gravel over here. Uh, da 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 I don't know do this more circles we like circles yes we do we like circles do you you like circles you like circles kid you like jazz you like circles you like um i don't know what else can i refer to circles as you like ellipsoids 
You like those? You like ellipsoids? You like cardioids? What other shapes do we have? Cardioids. Limessons. Limesson. The limesson is a shape. It's a cardioid. But it's not a perfect cardioid. It's everything else. They're like, um... They're like when you plot your sine functions in the X and Y... How do you do that? I don't remember how to do it. It was in trig. That was a trig thing. I remember trigonometry. I haven't plotted a limesson in years. It's been a long time. But they kind of like... They're kind of... They, they're circles, right? But they kind of loop in on themselves. So like there's a loop here and it goes around. Or it can loop in many different locations. That's the limesson. And I pronounce it that way because it's fancily French, it seems. It's L-I-M-A. Uh, the little fancy C with the little the little cleft chin on the bottom. The little hook on the bottom. It's the C with the with the with the hook. Le maison. And then O M. And that that's the Lime. That's how you spell Lime Son. It's just another shape. Shapes are cool. You know what else is a really cool shape? Tetrahedrons. Hmm. Love me some tetrahedrons. Tetrahedrons. Four dimension uh three dimensional four sided figures. You can make them with triangles. Tetrahedron. Tetrahedron time. There's some there's somebody uh, uh, that I always see on Discord, and their their profiles that is, is always it's Tetranodon time, and I always think it's Tetran Tetrahedron time. It's not Tetrahedron time. It is Tetranodon time, which I believe is a Monster Hunter reference. I think the Tetranodon is a type of monster in Monster Hunter. I haven't played Monster Hunter in a while. The device, the only device that I had to play Monster Hunter on my 3DS doesn't work anymore. Which is very disappointing. Very, very disappointing. Makes me sad. Makes me very sad. Oh, well. We'll expand the circle again. It's weird, like, the the oddity with that particular 3DS is, like, I'll turn it on, but games don't work. Like, if you put the cartridge in, I can't launch a game. Um... So then I tried, uh, at, like, like I played a lot of Monster Hunter Generations, I think it was, on the 3DS with my buddy Glenn, like us, Lord, what a guy. And he, he and I played, like, pretty much over the summer, made a lot of progress on it. And then apparently all the stuff was saved onto an SD card. I don't know where that SD card is. I, I must have switched it out of my 3DS without knowing that it was going to affect things negatively, which is unfortunate, to say the least. But, uh, oh well. Let's see, let's make that over there. Make that a little... Oh. oh! That's a little off. That's a little off. Is that... Something seems off. Something seems off. Oh, something seems very off. Yes! Oh, look at that! Okay. Um... Something's off with my circle. Let's try it like that. Right? Maybe that'll work. Okay, let's do that. There we go. I think that'll work better. I'd like to say that I'm very good at visualizing things in front of me. Mm, no, not really. Sometimes. It really depends. Really depends on what it is. This stuff... Eh. I've been, like... I guess I would consider myself, like, better at aesthetics than people who just don't pay attention. But I wouldn't say that I'm a skilled builder. I do like to pay attention to detail, though. It just takes me more to... You know what? You know what? Yeah, I think, I think I am. Except it just takes me more time. I'm not quick about it. I'm not quick about it. It, require, it requires a lot of like trial and error and fine tuning and subtle adjustments to get things just right. But like on a chill Wednesday morning, what else have I to do? Usually I'd be like in, in the past week, I've been worried about getting like stuff done. But after my presentation yesterday, which went well, it could have gone better, but it went well and it is over. I don't have to worry about that anymore. I have a literature review that I have to do and put together for that same class, which I have been working on. I worked on it a bit the other day and made some progress on that. I basically compiled all of my sources together. I have to have at least eight sources. Oh, the game has frozen. Oh, that's okay. It's back. I compiled all of my sources together. Not all of them. I think I have two more sources left that I need to do, but I think as I write the report, I will have an idea of what other sources that I need to add to it. Um, and after I do that, things together, it's like 100 words. Two, two, three pages, I think. And the other catch is I have to create two new figures inside of the report that weren't present in any of the reports that are, or any of the research papers that I am, um, that I was quoting. So I think, excuse me, 
I will create figures that outline. <laughs> I'm very hiccupy today, it seems. I will create two figures. One explains what a Steiner tree is, which I couldn't explain to you right now what a Steiner tree is because I have not yet educated myself about what a Steiner tree is. I believe if I'm on if I'm on the right track of it, I believe any sort of tree that you graph, any graph that is unrooted and non-cyclical, meaning you can't like travel along it and come back to the same point without backtracking, that would be non-cyclical. Like you can't like, if you had, a, like, a bunch of nodes connected to each other, it's cyclical. You can just keep going round and round and round and round and round without backtracking. Those networks, no, no. But if it's non-cyclical, and it's a unidirectional, meaning you can only go one direction, you can't, like, go this way and then go back the same direction that you came, then you can find, like, I think a lowest path distance between one side and the, uh, between, that it traverses the whole tree. Maybe. I, I gotta look into it. Because I'm not, I'm, I'm unsure of it, and it makes me doubt. Because, because I just don't know. I have to research that. But anyway, a figure that outlines how that works, and uh, currently I don't have that, so I have to do that. Oh, you know what I can do? I can make the circle a little, little wider. Right mouse button click. Right mouse button click. Thank you. Need my mouse. Because of maintenance time. There we go. Maybe that'll work. That or I broke it. Sometimes it works, and sometimes it makes it worse. Uh, it's honestly, like, if I needed to use another mouse, I have other mice. I could always plug another mouse in. No problem there. I am prepared for the consequences of whacking this mouse against my table, expecting it to work better. I am prepared for the consequences. But um, the other thing that I have to make the figure on is something called... I had it written down. The Median Joint Network Algorithm. I have no idea what that does. But that makes it even better an opportunity for me to create some figure to explain how it works. I make all my figures in a Microsoft publisher. I was trying to figure out the other day if there's like... A friend of mine does flowcharting and stuff for the various jobs that he's worked. And I was like, how do you make your flowcharts? How do you make your block diagrams? I want to know how you make your block diagrams. Because I have, do not have a good go-to program for block diagrams. I know some of them. But they're just not... They're not good in my opinion. Okay, that looks... Okay, let me just reevaluate where I am with my current circle. It doesn't look very nice. Not on the map, so I need to round it out a bit more. Let's try that. Yeah, let's let's round it out a bit more. Round it out a bit more along the sides. Alright, do that. I'll do the same thing over here. Round it out a bit more. Bit, bit more. Bit, 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 bit more. Bit more rounded. Again, subtle improvements slow and steady fine tuning of the aesthetics to make it look the way that i want it to be i also don't usually do so like if i had a reference if i already had a reference that i made before this would probably be easier for me to visualize because i already have something there to visualize for me that actually makes me think about this too that apparently i said before that i'm not really good at visualizing things but like that that doesn't mean that i don't have like that ability to like picture things in my mind's eye I don't exactly know what that's called, but I know that not everybody can do that. Not everybody can, like, imagine a song and hear it inside of their head. Not actually hear it, but, like, you can imagine yourself hearing it, and therefore you do hear it. It's really hard to describe. But, like, some people can't also, like, picture Pikachu in front of them and kind of see Pikachu. You can see it with your mind's eye. Not everybody can do that. I can do that. And uh, it's actually how I solve a lot of problems. I kind of picture it in my head first, kind of play around with the numbers in front of, in my mind's eye. It's really, really cool. I only learned as I grew up that not everybody can do that. Also, I learned as well, I, since I was very, very young, I knew that I can do some very, very funny things with my voice. I have a lot of control over my vocal cords. I only realized as I grew up, not everybody can do that. Not everybody can speak like this on command. Or make your voice very high like this on command. Or speak in words like this. Not everybody can do this. I can do this. It's unrefined, but I can do it. It's fun. It's a cool little party trick. People people like that at parties. Like, whoa, your voice sounds so weird. Like, you're absolutely right, it does, and I don't even need helium for it. It can get weirder, but I don't want to make things awkward. Things don't need to be awkward. I'm not voice acting. There's no voice acting in Minecraft. There's no voice acting in Minecraft. If I played Genshin Impact, it's got some nice dialogue options. 
Uh, my Minecraft, maybe not. I don't have any mods installed for, like, NPCs to talk to. Not in this mod. Not in this mod pack. I, I don't need it. I do not need it. I do not require it. Do not require it this time. This is a pretty big circle. Pretty big circle. I think maybe two more lengths of the radius. I think will be good. Um, did I? Oh, I ran out of my Minecraft playlist. Let me um, turn that back on again. Unfortunate. Oh, no, it's still going. No, it's not. It paused for some reason. I'm not sure why that paused. I might have clicked a button ac accidentally. Oopsie. Made a, made a boo-boo. Let's see. Let's well, why are you playing here in here? No, why are you playing on my phone speaker? No, play on the other computer. Ah, what are you doing? No, playing on this computer. Oh, oh. I hit the Zerorado button. I did. I did. Is it playing on the computer now? I can't tell if it's playing on the computer. What's up, Hammy? I hit the wrong button. I did. I definitely did the wrong button. Let me, let me check that. What are you doing? Are you playing on this computer? You should be listening on this computer. Next. Danny. Is that working? There we go. Now it's working. Yeah. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. My entertainment was gone. It disappeared. It's gone. Whoosh. Right out the window. Bye-bye. There we go. The pleasant sounds of C418. You know what? I think this is time for a vibe check. Inside of a cave is not a good place for a vibe check, but up here... Let's see. Yeah, let's vibe check. Hi there, tree. Oh, you're gonna you're gonna hit me if you come up here. Don't don't hit me. Hold on. Kill enemies. Then vibe check. There we go. Ah, uh, look at look at the sun. Look at the sun setting. Ah, uh, beautiful. You know what this reminds me of actually? So, back in my parents' house, back in the great state of New Jersey, the Garden State. My, I grew up in an area that was pretty much surrounded by... My, my house was surrounded by forest. We moved there when I was about two or three or whatever. Great place. I love the forest. And so only recently, at about eighth grade, we started exploring the forest. We started going around and going on adventures and whatnot. And uh, we all kind of fell in love with the forest. We all kind of did. But so only recently, we actually bought the land around the house. And so we now own the forest area around us. And it's really cool. We got a little trail that goes back there. And at the end of one of the trails is a chair and a birdhouse and that's my father's coffee spot he'll go there he'll take his calls back there he'll just hang out for a while it's great now that the weather's getting warmer when i was at home for the summer i'd uh, i'd sometimes go back there myself and just hang out but it's so nice it, it's it's different than the city there's a lot of loud stuff that goes on around here there's always some smell that isn't flowers or tree sap and whatnot <laughs> gasoline marijuana tobacco vomit human bo you never know what you're gonna smell in the city asphalt burning asphalt uh burning rubber it's a good one too um sometimes flowers depends on if you stop and smell the roses but you don't get that out out here in the city and sometimes i miss that that's why i love to go see, i love to go see my parents when i when i feel like in the mood for it because like they got the they got the force back then i love that force is like a part of my childhood and it smells so different like the countryside just smells so different and that that is vibe that's that's what i feel about this vibe check this is what it reminds me of being able to just kind of sit here and just enjoy what's going on. Don't get me wrong, this is a virtual environment. It's got nothing on the real forest. But it's nice. Anyway. The sun has set. Vibe check over. Let's go back inside and keep on building. Vibe check over. Ooh. Okay. Just stop playing with me, Elevator. Elevator. And uh and by the way, thank you for your feedback, Cammy. I appreciate you checking me on checking on that audio for mine. I can't tell. And your opinions and thoughts are always welcome. Everybody's is. I like to hear. I like, like to hear what people think. What are your thoughts? How do you feel today? NP! Like like a like an NP hard problem? I don't actually know what that means. I know I know NP means no problem. I know I know NP needs no problem. But like like in the world of like computation and stuff. An NP hard problem. Actually, topical. Apparently that thing I was talking about before, the Steiner tree algorithm that I have to do some research on for this literature review of mine, is an NP hard problem. As in, we currently don't have any, we don't have any algorithms available to us to make it, like, like to make it easily computable as the size of the data gets larger. Like, like, um, 
we have certain algorithms for that. Like, if you're trying to do math on, let's say, something two-dimensional, if you increase the size by two, you actually can increase the amount of work you have to do by four because it's two dimensions. If you're in three dimensions, if you increase it by three, you actually increase the size of the data that you have to work with by 27 because three times three is nine times three is 27. And we have some algorithms out there that actually make them scale uh, logarithmically, which is like you scale it by, let's see, if it's log base two, you scale it by two. Um, let's see, you scale it by two, it's only, like, it's only scaled by one, or... I, I'm not too keen on my log and whatnot, because it's cubic, exactly. That's how that do. But, like, some problems can... You can use it in three dimensions, and you there are actually algorithms out there for certain types of problems that can actually do it in logarithmic time, which, if the... Uh, logarithmically speaking, if you're working in log base 10, and you have 10 pieces of data, it'll last, like, 10. If you increase that by 10, 100 you only increase the computational load by like one because it's a, it's an additional order of magnitude greater in base 10. And as it turns out, that scales immensely well with big data because whereas opposed to increasing it by two, you'd increase data by four. If you increase by, and don't get me wrong, I'm kind of, I'm not an expert on this, but if you increased it by a thousand, you'd only increase that by three because a thousand from 10 to 1,000 is only, or I guess, I'm sorry, like more than that. 1,000 would be three orders of magnitude. If you it multiply it by 1,000, three orders of magnitude, it only increases by three. It's pretty cool. I am not a mathematician. I cannot explain that very well, but I'm trying my best to say Trying my damnedest. Educate the communities. But uh, apparently, yes, that Steiner pro algorithm, which I don't know much about, but I have to do research on, is an NP hard problem. Very hard. Not NP soft. Or NP easy. NP, NP difficile. N, uh, yeah. N, A, P, difficile. Spanish. Let's add some more light to these corners. How's that looking, um, circular-wise? It doesn't really look that circular. Unless, actually, you know, if I... If I do it, whoops. If I do it this way, if I add another little thing right here in the corner, that might actually work. Gravel, gravel, gravel. Gravel, 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 gravel. Uh, to this corner. This cor Did I do that wrong? No, wait a minute. Oh, that's already like that. Wait a minute. Did I do that wrong? I feel like I did that wrong. Does it look the same in this corner? What am I looking? Oh, dear. Am I not? Oh, I'm not looking straight on. Oh. Okay. I wasn't looking straight on it. Okay. I regained my bearings. I've regained my bearings on symmetry. Symmetry. Symmetry is what we look for here. Then uh triangulate the location that I must do for symmetry. One on one side. Whoops. One on the other. There we go. And then do the same thing. I reposition myself. I feel like a robot. Going back to my reference point and glitching all over the place. Symmetry. Symmetry, symmetry. Oh, nickel. Nice. Nickel. I like that. Uh, put that down. It seems like my right click isn't working again. I'm gonna have to whack this mouse again. Or uh, just get the replacement. I do a lot of right clicking in this game. This is this is like my most right click heavy game. Hmm, I got a text message about my credit card statement. Cool. Very good then. Glad to know that I have a statement due. Um, I don't think I do, actually. I'm pretty sure I paid it off already. But, uh, <gasps> what if I didn't? Sinking into the debt that is credit card. Oh, that looks... All right, let me... The map looks a little weird. Oh, no. Oh, come on. Make it nice, make it nice, make it nice. Oh, one of Hammy's favorite concepts in the same trend is the very well-known... The square cube law regarding the density of an object. It's just... Yeah, just cool to know that whales exist at their size because they would collapse otherwise, but they, they exist anyway. Really? How does that work with whales? I want to know more about the whales. This seems interesting. This is a concept. I, I mean, I understand the, uh, you know, the square cube law. I get that. But how does that go with whales? Is that, like, biologically speaking? Like, you can make it... You can make it real big? But because of, like, density and stuff? You, you did mention density. Yeah, like, wait a minute. They're really, really big. And they're blubbery, but they can still float. 
I don't know. Do whales also have, like, those air sacs in, inside of them? Like, I know fish can use, like, air sacs to be able to, like, change their own relative buoyancy to be able to go up and go down. Ocean means they can float. They don't fall apart. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. I guess... Oh, is Blubber floaty? I guess... I guess... Does Blubber float? Maybe Blubber floats. They've got those large lungs, but not swim... Oh, they don't have the swim bladders. Oh, because they're, uh, they're marine. They're mammals, right? Or what do you... What's the term? I don't know if whales are mammals. Don't quote me on that. I don't think they are. Maybe they are. I, I don't really know. This looks merely circular. The Blubber does help too. Yes. Got a... I forget. You, you study marine biology or is it something like that I, I know you mentioned it the other day and i it is i'm probably just getting some things mixed up marine mammals sweet i don't know all biology all biology the general biology I like that all right this seems like a big enough circle i like this circle let's um let's kill the lights and see how many lights i need to add kill the lights kill the lights over here Kill the lights over. Is there a torch up there? There is not. Wonderful. Kill the lights over here. Getting close to the water. Getting close to the water. Biology is such a cool, such a cool concept. I think of the things that I considered going into, if if I wasn't gonna go with engineering at all, I probably would have gone for chemistry and then potentially gone into biology as well, because like like uh like biochemistry and whatnot is super duper cool. Cause like I feel like I can work well with like those those chemical formulas and relationships and whatnot. I got a pretty good. I keep saying I don't have a good memory. My short term memories, my medium term memory is really really good. Like if I study something, I can memorize it, memorize it very good. And then in the long term, it fades away, and in the short term, it just kind of like pfft, whatever. That stuff is really really cool. Chemistry is awesome. All the biology because relationships are just so cool to miss by narrowing my field. Dude, I totally get you. Specializing has its advantages, but it also has its disadvantages. Like you know. Like, specializing means you aren't exposed to some of those really, really cool things. But on the downside, if you don't specialize, you may not ever have a chance to see, like, those really, really cool niche subjects in the field. So it's a kind of a, you know, a double-edged sword there. If you specialize, you get to see the really cool, like, in-depth stuff. If you don't specialize, you don't get to see that stuff, but you get to see everything else. I mean, there's nothing stopping you for specializing multiple fields. It just, it takes more effort. But if you're the kind of person who can do it, I believe in you, Hammy. And, uh, you know, there ain't no problem there. Actually, this light is... Oh, there's no light here. Okay, okay. Let's do things on the corner as well. Little little light blocks on the corners. Yeah. Biochem is humbling to get into. Can't do all the all the formula memorization. Understandable. Props to the biochemist for doing all the work. It's really difficult. I, I get that. I think um, there's somebody that I know who went to Anna's school, who I believe... Oh my god, I always forget exactly what she does. I want to say she does biochemistry. I want to say she does biochemistry. And it's insane. Like, it's so cool. Dude, it's really cool to kind of be in that scholarly field. Because you can, like, totally vamp on conversations with people who are com in a completely different field from you. Just go on and on and on about the really cool scientific subjects that are in the world. And and, and by the way, like, even if you're not quote-unquote scholarly, like I consider myself to be, like, the only thing stopping you is the resources that you have in front of you. Like, if I gave you the right book and you took the time to read it, you'd be on our level. If you had the same, like, courses and instruction that I had exposed myself to and other scholars as well, it is totally within your field to do so. I actually saw somebody on TikTok the other day who was just like, I hate it when people say, you know, I am a genius. Not me, the person on TikTok. They're like, I'm not any more genius than you are. I just had exposure to the resources that allowed me to get to this point. And everybody learns in their own way. And there, I don't think there's anything stopping you from being able to have those really, really cool conversations. You just got to improve it. I love that. I love that stuff. I love talking with um, the biochemistry friend, if I'm getting that correctly. Because the biochem, like we would go on about, like I was doing a class on, it was a class on machine learning, but my project was on like uh biology in the sense that more like, actually more virology or antibiotics and whatnot basically the project was using machine learning to input genomic sequences to output which antibiotic what resistance level these particular strains of bacteria would be resistant to and it was a I, um minimum inhibitory minimum resistant something i don't know it's the, it's a 
it's a it's an acronym that starts with m minimum inhibitory response mir or something like that minimum inhibitory minimum inhibitory oh my god i'm close minimum inhibitory concentration the mic the minimum inhibitory concentration of a bacterium to a particular antibiotic and you use machine learning for that but so i was able to chat with her about it a lot because there's a lot that goes into biochemistry and the proteins that goes onto cells and whatnot oh love that stuff i love talking talking quote unquote smart stuff and it doesn't have to be smart stuff it could be really whatever so let's go into mining mode and now back to the back to the building let's go into mining mode and i'm gonna make tall ceilings and hopefully not drown myself is that okay that's okay just uh, kind of inch along the walls. Inch along the walls to get what I want a bit. There we go. There we go. There we go. There's a straight shot behind me. Let's keep on going. There's another one. There's another one. Make tall ceilings. It's a wizard tower. Or it's a tower that could be wizardry. Wizard E. Ooh, Jasper. Nice. Oh, my digger's backpack is it's full. You know what I'll do? I'll go deposit all my stuff. Which is north. I must go north. So I head north, deposit all of my shiz into the processing system. And then I'll come back. Then I shall return to the magic center. Return to magic. We've gone too far. Human must return to monkey. And I will eat melon. Mm. Melons are good. Ebsco host and Google Scott. Oh my god, I'm falling. I don't want to fall. EBSCO Host and Google Scholar are fairly good sources to look into for peer-reviewed articles. Oh, for sure. EBSCO Host is great. I don't use that very much, though. Google Scholar is great. I have, um, I've got, um, the, my university, Drexel, has, like, their own way to search for things, and that works really well for me. Libraries are always a go-to. Oh, for sure. Archaeology and zoology are the favorites of Hame. Nice. I love, I love information theory. I love... I wouldn't say I like machine learning as much as I like information theory itself. It's a lot of mathematics and whatnot. It's a, it's really, really dense. But uh, I love those concepts. They're really, really cool. And the book, the the uh, the books kind of kind of give you all the equations and whatnot. And I, I'll admit, I don't have the consistent patience for all of the um, all of the equations and whatnot like that. But I like the algorithm, like describing the algorithms behind it. It's just kind of cool to see how the world around you works. And there is a lot that goes into the world around us right now, especially with all this machine learning and stuff. And that's the kind of, that's the kind of stuff that I really like reading into. Computation, um, algorithms, how you put those algorithms on a piece of hardware, how you connect pieces of hardware together to be able to make the things. And I love that stuff. And I'm floating again. Glitched chunks, glitched chunks, that's okay. I love that kind of stuff. I would love, I love conversing with people about that stuff. And I've done quite a bit of it too. I wouldn't say that I've technically specialized in anything like that, but I've talked to a, like, I've taken quite a few classes on like machine learning in general or RF electronics or engineering. Well, I would taken a lot of classes. I, for one, I totally vibe with not specializing. I don't think I have specialized. I'm not sure if I'll ever specialize. Every so often I find something else to dig deep into and you know, I learn a bit more about it. What I lack most of all is the motivation to go down that rabbit hole, so to speak. And then after I've gone down that rabbit hole, like finding an application that like cements it in my brain. The classes that I've done where we do like projects based off of what we learn, I love those. I love those because now I have something that's on my hard drive that I can go back to and like relearn these concepts if I ever forget and refresh my memory. And not every single class does that. I think it's like my way of learning is hands-on. And I would, whoa, creeper, what are you doing down here? What? How did you get here? Oh my God, because there's darkness over there. I see that. Hi there. Bye-bye. Mm. And uh, there's also the zombies too. Alrighty then. I should probably like the, oh, hi there. Yeah, that's probably the reason. Hey there. Hey there. Hi there. Ho there. Bye there. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll do that. But yeah, great. Like if you're in, if you're in the field of wanting information on anything, like go to your local library. Go to EBSCOhost, Google Scholar, you'll find papers. You may not have access to those papers. Well, all right. If if I if you find yourself that you don't have access to those papers, there's a website called SciHub, which it's not technically legal because you're not paying behind the paywall and whatnot. I for one remember the philosophy where informa information should not be kept behind paywalls, but also like 
if you do do that kind of research, then you should be properly compensated for your time, but not by like the people who want to learn information, you be compensated by like your universities and overarching bodies. But so SciHub, you can just input the, the link to the locked article and it will unlock it for you. I really wouldn't, I wouldn't be the person who says like, do this whenever you want to find a paper. Like if you need something, if you're just checking it out, I would, I would definitely recommend that. But uh, cause it's kind of like the whole like, do you want to listen to the music? Do you want to use somebody else's music without their permission and not give them the proper credit that is due? No, I, I, I wouldn't really like that. But it's a, it's a tough, it's a tough issue. But I, I got that, I got that recommendation for anybody who's really just like, I need this paper and I need it now, and I'm not paying twenty bucks for it. But yeah, if given no choice for specialization, you'd go with ecology or zoology, relationship with an organism, just the organisms itself. Nice. Yeah, I think ecology. That's that's the one where like you study like how the ecosystem and, and by ecosystem not necessarily like how everything interacts with each other like that is that's so cool i really like that stuff it's never been something that i've ever considered specializing in because i've never been like bio focused but like if there was ever a way for me to like for example integrate some sort of like technology integrate some sort of learning aspect algorithmic aspect into how we interpret ecology in the world around us like that stuff's so cool that'd be awesome i really like like i don't think i'll ever be out of like the tech world the electronics world the world of electronics and algorithms and computation and server stuff and computer stuff and this that and the other thing but they have inched their way into almost every other type of application every other type of field in our existence because of how powerful they are and that's good and that gives me the excuse to be able to study, like, I took a class on fashion one time. It had nothing to do with technology. But sustainable resources and whatnot, sustainable machines, that totally relies on the technology and the computational systems to be able to do things and separate the plastics from the matter. What type of, the science that allows us, the algorithms that allow us to determine the proper ratio of textiles, like elastic to spandex to polyester, like, you know that people aren't just experimenting on theirs. Those they're, they're definitely using computers to decide that for us. And in the world of, like, biology, we can't always, like, form take amino acid strands and just watch them fold into the proteins. What you might want to do is, if you have a DNA sequence, you know what po protein it, it, um, it codes for. We use computers to determine what the protein like folding properties are, the primary, secondary, tertiary, and even quaternary structures that happen because of those amino acids interacting with each other and folding into this protein that has a specific shape that some enzymes can tack onto, some proteins, other proteins can tack onto. Something's going on outside. But like, in the past, we just watched them fold and take notes on them, but now we definitely... I'm sure that still exists. Don't get me wrong. It definitely still exists some places, but we also use computational power to be able to predict it for us. And some people use machine learning for that. Some people have, you know, closed form solutions for how we determine these things, but a lot of it's a totally unsolved problem. And that gives an excuse for like an algorithmic guy such as myself to be able to go like, oh, I want to do that. I can do that because I can do this and this can help you with your stuff. I love that stuff. One of the things that like, I, I naturally, I went to university. I have university friends naturally, both at my own university and elsewhere. We'll be like, you know, you, you do like, you do like computation stuff. You do like technology stuff. Well, I do something completely different, but I want to combine the two together. And I feel like I could come to you for advice or even just in inspiration. Or maybe you can help me on that. I love getting new projects to do. I'm kind of stifled at the moment because I'm still finishing up school and whatnot. But after that, like no holds bar. I have ideas that I've started with friends and things that I want to be able to continue on my own. I can't wait to just kind of delve deep into that. And I suppose at that point, it's very, very hobby-like. But your hobby could become your job. I, I think that'd be super cool if I could manage to do that and share it with the world. Like, obviously, I wouldn't be keeping it all myself. Like, oh, I've got something cool. I won't share it with you. <laughs> why, why would I do that? What good is information when it's just in my brain? What good are the projects if they're only ever in my house? What good are my projects if somebody else can't Take it further. Take it a step further. Like, I fully believe in that. Open source stuff? I'm a big... I love that stuff. Biochemists are apparently working with biologists and computer scientists to make organic materials for tech. <gasps> that stuff too! Trying their hardest to make stuff that decomposes really clean. Plastics are getting there. Oh, for sure. Bi uh, bioplastics. I've seen a couple of... Came a couple of TikTok videos on there. 
obviously a, a, a very worthwhile source of information. TikTok, am I right? But a uh, hobby job? Jobby. That'd be so cool. That'd be so cool. The problem that, I mean, the problem that lies in with that for myself is, you know, I'm working on the master's and the undergraduate degrees, and I guess do those... I mean, it depends. Like, do those become useless if you don't have a desk job that somebody pays you for? I don't know. It's it's very unknown right now. I'm at that portion of my life where it seems like, do I have a direction? Sure, I have a direction. But, like, do I want to take the path that has all the lights and arrows that say, this is the next step. Life says you should go this way. Like, but what about all these other paths? The paths left travel less traveled by. I want to see what they have to see to show for me first getting a little philosophical here getting a little bit of getting a little bit of oh thinking about things thinking about life i mean for some you know i totally understand like for some thinking about this stuff is completely depressing oh i can't pick up more stuff i should go deposit again this is tall ceilings for some i can understand like it may be like really really depressing and you might not want to think about that and i completely understand that but kind of going back to what i was saying before about how like if you feel like it's it's no no good maybe make like a small change and those small changes will come up and they'll build in something bigger and whatnot that that's just that's my philosophy on things if you tried it and it doesn't work i'd be interested to know about it because i don't have that perspective and i love to have new perspectives on things that's just my own philosophy upon it you know recently my whole mentality for things has been like go with the flow see where see where things take you see where uh somebody says hey you want a position i say yeah sure we'll see where that takes me uh what other doors does opening this door open open for me uh you have a hobby do more of that hobbies what doors does it open um especially in more recent months i just decided i really wanted to start streaming and i wanted to open up i wanted to do something theatrical because i have not done theatrical things in a while and i thought to myself like you know what what doors will this open for me because at the moment, it was just me, myself, and I thinking, you know, I, I kind of want to do this. And I talked to a couple of friends, they encouraged me, the doors have opened, and now I've been at it for quite a while now. Enjoyably, it does not feel like I'm, it doesn't feel like I'm, like, jobbing this. It doesn't feel like a job. It doesn't feel like I'm doing this just because I feel like I have to. It feels fun. And I like that. But so many, like, doors have opened because of this for myself. Which is a very selfish way of looking at it, but, like, you gotta look out for number one first to see, like, where it will take you. And now that I know that's kind of getting me, it's it's been able for me to be more social with people online as well. And potentially, for all I know, like doors have opened for other people because of the interaction with me. And that's the goal. The goal is if I can like make myself smile by doing this, by also making somebody else smile. Maybe that's not quote unquote opening the door, getting on the floor, everybody walking the dinosaur. But whatever else you may gain from it, if you gain anything from this, I hope it's at least a smile for your day. I don't have any control over that. But uh, these good vibes, these good vibes are what I'm looking for. They're what I'm hoping for in, in other people as well. And of course, like I've said, I have no control over that. I have no control over that. And I can't pretend that I do. I can't pretend that, ah, yes, me being here screaming on the internet is going to make you happy. Like, I cannot guarantee that. But if there's anything that I can do that's, you know, if you come on and say, like, yeah, if you give me a thousand bucks, that'll make me happy. Like, all right, understandable. But that's not feasible for me. I can't feasibly just drop a thousand dollars on your on your lap and that makes you happy also i would argue that if you think money is what's going to make you happy maybe maybe double check that maybe there's something you're not accounting for that's just my own philosophy my own opinion on that but like what like i don't know somebody popped on here the other day and said like it's my birthday and i was like we can do a birthday celebration i put on a party hat i did a little party horn thing like i don't know if that made anybody happy Sure as hell made me happy. Put a smile on my face. Those random things like that. I love those. You know what it kind of reminds me of? When people pop on or when somebody chats who've never chatted before, or somebody pops on and they're a recurring character or somebody who just, I meet on the streets and they're very, very kind. It reminds me of like those random events in video games. And don't get me wrong. I don't know why I'm comparing like things that just cap happen in life to things that happen in game. They happen in life first. So... Maybe I should be comparing them to life first. But they don't happen as often. I, I feel like life, life can be a bit of a game. And I, I yearn. I love those random events that happen. Like, who knew, who like, who like, knows who you're going to meet on the streets of the city? 
who knows like who's going through a rough day and you'll be able to strike up like a conversation with them or something maybe you'll brighten their day maybe they'll brighten your day maybe that guy who's walking along the street talking to his girlfriend talking about really really silly things just kind of puts a smile on your face and you go home and you tell your roommate you're just like yeah i heard some really i heard some weird dude on the street today saying some really weird shit and it might be a cool conversation starter for you and it may broaden up your day like that's awesome if that does that for you awesome because that does it for me that that personally does it for me and i i love like if i heard somebody talking nonsense on the side of the street and they're not i don't mean nonsense like making fun of people and being mean and whatnot but like if i walked along the street and some dude was talking to another dude and they were like goobity goobles and that's what i said to her and then she and then and then we went on a date i'd be like well that's interesting that's a conversation starter for label for later hit the goobity goobles goobity goobles is what got me my first date and then i'd remember it and it would put a smile on my face at least that's the way it works for me It'd be cool now i want to now i want to inquire about the goobity goobles i wonder if hmm, if i say gooby goobity goobles to my fiance will will she go out on a date with me will we date will we date if i tell her the goobity goobles I don't know. I'd have to ask her later. The Goobity Goobles could take us to many different places in life. If thou doubteth the Goobity Goobles, perhaps you should uh, reconsider. What am I doing down here with that? I shouldn't be doing that. Wasting too much energy on these long form mining shots. These tall ceilings are coming out pretty well. Right click, please. Thank you. That's the thing, too. Sometimes the server lags and my right clicks just don't register. I can't tell the difference between right click not working and server lagging. Yep, like that was server lagging. That'll happen because of my budget hardware. <laughs> not recommended, but it works. And uh, your boy's on a budget. Your boy's on his budget. So uh, that's why we use the budget. I don't need to spend more money than I actually do. Usually, as well, I split the cost with the friend that I'm usually on the server with, but she really has been on a while, so I might just take the... I might just take the financial burden for this. And just do that. Because, like, I don't know. I wouldn't want to force somebody to pay for something that they're clearly not using. Like, I'm clearly using it. I should be the one paying for it. So I will be the one who pays for it. Under to me, that's understandable. I, I totally get that. There we go. Almost done with these ceilings over here. Take getting rid of all these stalactites because they're hanging tight on the ceiling. Hang loose, bro. Hang tight, dude. You know what's interesting? In surfer speak, it's hang loose and tight. Like they're opposites, but they pretty much... I feel like they mean more or less the same thing. Like, oh, I guess not. Like hang loose would be like, yo, dude, whatever. Goo-goo-be-de-goo-goo-bliz. No, 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 dearest. It's not the goo be de goo It's the goo be de googles Too bad. <laughs> Love that stuff. Love that. I can't wait to go through those later. I think one of my favorite things... Honestly, you know what I really, really love about stuff happening Twitch live is the clips that come out of it? The clips are awesome. I, like let the world know i go back and i look at these clips every once in a while and i get an absolute kick out of them it's great and they're really, really they're funny to me they're funny to me mm, melon but i am i and disney queen as well we both we both live together we go back at the we go back to the clips and we watch them and it's nice to like relive those moments it's really really cool so now i have magic i have magic hall this is my magical place that I don't know. What do I do from here? Where do I go from here? Um, I need to build the walls. So I think what I should do is I should also kind of, um, I think what I should do, I, I want to do like a spired approach, you know? So like maybe these walls here are four levels up and then afterwards they kind of climb inwards and then the radius gets smaller and smaller as it goes to the top. You know, I'm going to try that. What do you mean? Low focus mode? Yeah. Let's do that. I like that. I like that a lot. I think that'd be really, really cool. So let's hollow out these walls a bit, and then I'll clean it up later. Pretty pretty rough right now, but that's okay. Make it better later. 
So wait, wait, actually, come to think of it, hey, babe, um, Goobity Goobles, will you go on a date with me? Maybe, maybe. Maybe, maybe, maybe. To be continued. To be continued. Dinner stream. Dinner stream where we actually just, it's just Anna and I on a date. It'd be great. Get a reservation. Can do. I can do that. Where you want to go eat? Huh? Where, uh, where are we eating? Dim sum? It's Cinco de Mayo. It is Cinco de Mayo. Oh, good luck. Oh. Happy Cinco de Mayo to those who celebrate. Happy independence of, I believe it's Mexico. I believe it is Mexico. I believe it is Mexican independence. Let's, let's Google it. What does Cinco de Mayo celebrate? According to Indy Star, Cinco the Mexican Mayo army's victory over Napoleon the III's forces, the Battle of Pueblo. Nice. Thank you. Thank you, Google. Appreciate that. Awesome. Yeah. A successful battle, probably for independence of the Mexican forces, which I would suppose, if they are Mexican, then they are from Mexico. Or they fought in Mexico. The Battle of Puebla, for those who are interested historically. Consider yourself edumacated. I myself am edumacated today. And that is good. Edumacation is key. I love learning new things. Learning things of this journey called life. Thank you all so far, by the way, for joining me on this journey that we call life. It's been fun. And it's nice to do, it's nice to travel along with friends. Like friends. It's nice, like, sometimes it's nice to do things alone, but you know what? Sometimes it's better to do it with friends. I like that. Alright, let's um, make these a little bigger. Just enough for the walls. Four high walls. That should be enough. Oopsie. Do, 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 do. Oh, Ruby? Nice. Ruby. I got, I don't know what I got from that. It looked like an actual gemstone, not just dust or anything. Uh, take these up. Oh, did I do that right? Oh, you know what? I don't. I don't need these, because they're just walls, right? They're just walls, so I don't actually need those ones there. I don't need. I don't need any extras. No, nah, it seemed like that was the only one. Cool. <laughs> Building up and lasering. Gonna decorate my walls now. Oh, let's throw a little stone up there. I'd rather fill in the walls. At first I thought to myself, I don't need to fill in like the one level gaps. Like that's just unnecessary, right? Right? No, not really. Because a tiny little zombie, zombie kid can spawn in there. And then they just kind of growl until I dig into the walls to find them. I already learned my lessons with uh, like... Two by one, one by one by twos, because creepers can spawn in there. And then I see a creeper on my map, and I'm just like, oh, where's the creeper? And he's like, I mean, your walls. Like, you don't pose a threat to me, but I see you on my mini map, and it scares me. It gives me the spooks. It gives me the spookies. Okay, okay, okay. Let's almost done with that. And then I'll build up the walls. What color should I make my walls? I don't know. I brought the abyssal brick. Oh, it seems that I have run out of storage space for my dings. For my dingies. I should probably deposit some things, too. I got a little chest up here that's got some magic stuff. Anybody over here trying to mess me up? <gasps> creeper! Oh, yeah! Boop. Dead. Dead creep. Uh, I don't know. Arcane stone. Why do I still have that? I thought I put that in the chest. I'll just put the calamari in there. I am unsure. Oh, all right. Let's think about that. What other materials did I bring? I brought the abyssal block. Uh, do those look cool otherwise? It could be cool to have, like, the dark walls. Maybe I like the way that looks. What other forms do the abyssal bricks have? The abyssal blocks. Um, and uh, abyssal bricks are not difficult to get. Like, I can just... I can just find them. Uh, that block, fitted stone, that block there. Um, you know what? I kind of like... I kind of like this very sleek style. Kind of cool looking. Oh, you know what I can do? I can combine red granites with this abyssal block for like a really like dark appeal. Yeah, I like that. I think I mined through some, through some red granite, but where was that? I did mine through some red granite. So I'll put up these things over here. 
this can be let me think about that supreme hammy party heads party heads party heads party heads you know it's funny i have a my one party head actually broke the other day it's a tiny little party hat it's a tiny whoa whoops if you couldn't already tell it's broken but it's a tiny little party hat that has a little top hat on it and i have not had an excuse to put it on yet it's broken right now so i can't really put it on like you know let's see i could put it on top of my little mic over here yeah but that's like that's barely visible 10 out of 10 purchase yo party hats are you can use that party hat anywhere perfect I like that party hat. I figured I figured when I was going through like my points and stuff, I was like, which point would be the best? Which points, which emote would be the best? Like a party hat. You can use that for anything. Anything that's party to honestly, my favorite part about that particular emote is I think you can just use it with no context. And it's perfect. Cause like it's a party hat, babe. It's, it just works. It just works, it just works, it works. You know what? What I'll do is I'm gonna deposit some things. I'm gonna come back and get more red granite. I think red granite actually has to be smelted first for it to be used party chicken might be cool too <gasps> Ooh, party chicken gotta make me a nice chicken emote how do i make uh let's see this red granite brick can be oh is that smooth smooth red granite can be made from melting red granite which can be made from cobble okay so I need to configure that. I don't have any space in my inventory yet, but I knew I do know more places to get red granite aside from over there. Actually, I don't have them on my map, but I can totally find them. All right, go back to over here. I'm gonna go back over here. Eat a melon on the way. Melon. Hmm. Honestly, I'm so happy with my melon purchase. I bought an entire honeydew melon. I bought it a couple of weeks ago. It's still good. And it's still delicious. I think that's my favorite stream snack now. Melons. Melon, melon, melons. So now what I have to do... Currently, all red granite that comes in is actually filtered out. All red granite that comes in is destroyed. I'm not going to destroy it. Instead, red granite will come over here. It will be filtered into... Uh, oh, I don't have any red granite. Do I have any red granite? Please, please. Nope. Oh, maybe there's some red granite left over over here. Maybe, maybe? No. Okay, I need to get more red granite. But instead of filtering it out for pulverization, I will filter it out for furnacing, and then when it comes back in, it will be furnished again. As one does. Uh, let me deposit some things. Miner's backpacks. Hunter. Oh, I got a big old hunter's backpack, too. Is there any uh nothing of use in there any red granite nope just cobble switch that out with this one there was nothing in there switch that out with this one what's in here oh <gasps> my little head oh my little uh don't worry about that uh squid squid oh S squid now okay put that in there i'm gonna put that uh put the cobble in there then i put the squid in there eh, i don't need any more carpenters bro blocks right now ah, you know i'll keep them on me you never know Stone I don't need. All that other stuff. Uh, I can throw all my tools up in hammer space. Boop, boop, boop. I don't need them on me right now. I also need the carpenter's hammer or the tree tap. There we go. Ah, there's a nice inventory. And I don't know why I have this bow. Uh, bow's useless. Throw. Fruit. Melon. Fruit's great. Fruit's great. Keeps your colon clean. Fiber in your diet. It's good. Very good. So that's processing processing all the good stuff are you uh churning up the yellorium right now what are you you're churning up i don't know it's probably the the, the limonites melon 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 love melon specifically it's the um oh, what's the green one consume i consume water actually my current drink is coffee The king consumes coffee. That he does. That he does. You know, I gotta, I gotta change that. The consume, instead of being consume my current drink, it should be consume my current drink and or snack so that I can consume, I can aggressively consume melon on camera. I'll do it anyway. Melon.
That was pretty aggressive. <clears throat> Actually, that might have been too aggressive. <clears throat> that went down rather rough. I need some water to wash it down. Note to self, don't be so... Don't be so aggressive with the melons. Ingester imbibe. <laughs> we can have two of them. Consume, ingester, imbibe. Ingester, imbibe. Ooh, imbibe's good. That's the thing. Like, consume is so nondescript. It works for either food or beverage. But I could have... That's the thing. How many channel point redemptions are too many, right? Can I have... One's for consume. It's either or. One's for imbibe. It's just drink. One's for... One is... Uh, ingest. Uh, but technically that's... That could also be either or. I don't know. We'll workshop that. Here at Cameron and the next Enterprises. We'll workshop that. We'll get back to you. And uh, you may see an update. You may see an update later. I require a red granite so I can decorate my place now. I guess I'm going red granite hunting. Nice. It's pretty, uh... Pretty red granite over here. How deep does the red granite go? How deep does the rabbit hole go? Does it go very far? No, it does not. Okay, so this really isn't a good place to find red gra I mean, I guess, yeah, maybe. Hmm. If you ever do another cocktail thing, I could use imbibe for taking a big sippy. So actually, that's already the plan. Or actually, it's not really the plan. So it technically, there's a pecking order around here, right? I am at the bottom, the viewers are above me, but then Twitch's TOS is above that. And Twitch's TOS says, there are not allowed channel point redemption things for like anything relating to alcohol creation alcohol consumption because it can be it can be a little uh, unsafe so uh i have to consume that it is my choice whatever i do that's how i defend myself but if i do have a cocktail the uh, it's it's all it's all fair game you can't make me drink. the viewers cannot make me drink i can only make myself drink and that's that's how we will keep it around here that's how we will keep it around here yeah, it's okay it's okay Frequently asked questions. Frequently asked questions. So technically, if we've got a cocktail around here, fruit cocktails without alcohol, mocktails. Oh, it totally works with mocktails. I don't love doing my cocktail streams or anything. Oh, just for the flavors. Oh, God. Consume. The king takes... He consumes syrup. Actually, you know what? I've got some, I've got some mint syrup in the fridge that is... Ooh. Ooh. If you notice, actually, the consume channel point redemption has a cooldown of five minutes. That's supposed to encourage, you know, you not binge drinking. What is... <laughs> oh my god. Drink straight grenadine? My fiance just That's handed nice. me Aunt Jemima. Yeah, I'm gonna that back. I like that. Are you taking it back? Oh, you weren't serious? No, I'm gonna drink it. Okay, Anna's gonna... <laughs> Anna's gonna drink some Aunt Jemima. Oh my god! Oh! I wish she just drank Aunt Jemima! Oh my goodness! Okay, well... It's certainly not the weirdest thing that's ever happened over here. Weird things happen over here. No, stop the water. I don't want yeah, the that's water. Your fault. What's that? That's my fault. I didn't make you do it. No, the weird things are your fault. The weird things are my fault. <laughs> okay, okay. Fine. I'll be the weird one, though. I'll be weird. Oh, look at that. There's so much red granite down here. Ha ha! I like that. I like that. That's going to be a big old cavern. I'll have to come in here in a... Uh, plug it back up so that there's not this big old cavern down here that's filled with empty space. Also, it's interesting. Red granite is actually harder than stone. They have different hardness levels. This is a harvest level of three, which is a hardness of three, whatever. And so, it's not a Moe's hardness. Or a Maw's? Maw's hardness? I don't know. The gemstone hardness. It's not that hardness. It's not that hard. It's softer. But so it actually takes more laser power to mine those up than anything else. I can't use my laser to mine up obsidian. Can't do that. Game won't let me. I'm not hard enough. These lasers aren't hard enough. Oh my god. What? Beep 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 beep. The, the windows <coughs> open outside, so like we can hear everything going on outside. We can hear and smell everything that's going on outside. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Yes, we can. The streets of Philadelphia have no. No, uh, they have no. What's the term? Shortage for things that can be smelt and things that can be heard. That's usually not that loud over here, but it's kind of getting later in the day. Later in the day. Pfft. It's one o'clock. It's not late in the day at all. There's still so much of the day left. What am I talking about? The day has just begun. 
The afternoon has just begun. No, stop with the with the waters and the the, 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 the waters and more waters and gravel falling and yeah. What is, what are you? Lapisor. Nice. We don't like you either. This is why I used my stone. My stone to cover it up. How much red granite do I have right now? Ooh, two stacks. That could that's probably enough, but let's keep going. There's plenty more. There's apparently plenty more where that came, but I'd rather have a I'd rather have an excess of decorative materials than uh, not so excess. I'd much rather be that. I'd rather be drowning in granite. Drowning in these nice granite countertops. Yes, red granite countertops, black granite countertops, granite countertops are plenty. Here at Camera with an X Enterprises, we invest our funds into happiness, smiles, and granite countertops. Why? They're very pretty looking. <gasps> Emerald! Emerald. Oh, just dust. When mining those small things, there's always a, there's a chance for some gem, there's a chance for some dust, there's a chance for bad gem, nasty dust. It happens. It happens around here. You never know. You, you never know what you're gonna get. There's, there's everything so unpredictable over here. Every time I think of unpredictability on a stream, I think of that one stream I popped into, and uh, they were... Uh, the individual was reading the Bible, but very, very low. And uh, she's like, usually I sing, but uh, today we're reading the Bible. I'm really unpredictable. And then she, then she was just like, <laughs> I was made very uncomfortable. I don't, I don't particularly enjoy this, the slurpage. Slurp ASMR? Sma Sazmer, if you will? Uh, it's just, I don't know, just, just rubs me the wrong way. And I don't like the things rubbing me the wrong way. Ooh, it's scary. It was also like one o'clock in the morning and I might've just been not into it. You know, you do you, did you do whatever it is that you do. If your livelihood re re depends on <laughs> more power to you. If it works, it works. If it fits, it ships. Uh, UPS, low flat rate. You know what they say? If it fits, it ships for a low flat rate. And if you sh can ship for the low flat rate of $9.99.95, then you Gucci. Better yet, get somebody else to pay the shipping. You never know. You never know. Some people to fully support stuff like that. No. You need a uh, $200 to ship your... We'll cover that for you. <laughs> Minecraft purists be like, 1.7 is the best! 1.8 is better! I'm just like, pew, pew, pew. The only reason I have it moved up is because I know that there are many mods in this mod pack that don't have a uh, 1.8 or whatever. Though, though, to be fair, I mean, 1.8, I'm sure, is fine. 1.8 is probably fine. I just know that anything before 1.14 is, like, very resource not heavy, which is why I can run over 100 mods on budget hardware. Uh, somehow it works and it works well. I like that. I like that very well And if it works then why change I have no motivation to, to Upgrade because it works and upgrading would be to pay more money for my service It works. Yeah, and you know what if it works it works if it ain't broke don't fix it That's what they say. That's what they tell me that's what they tell me and yes I like my lasers it took me a very you know what it took me a really long time to get this laser and then I built another one which took me significantly less time because by that point I already had one laser and well one laser significantly better than none none laser all right so I've mined all that out I have a lot of red granite so now it's time to head back to the other area um the first one as I zoop jetpack did you also notice my jetpack I got a jetpack too <gasps> love my jetpack that also took a while I also made jetpack Oh, excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse myself, my, uh, my gaseous transgressions on camera. I'm human. We do it. We burp. We fart. We're humans. And humans are disgusting. Disgusting, disgusting, disgusting. I was speaking of clips, by the way, before. That is one of my favorite clips that somebody took. I was playing my bartending game. And making a destruction drink. I, I love that. Like, I, I, I appreciate that stuff. It's great. I love it. So let's, now that I have red granite, I need to configure my ore processing system to compensate for this new discovery. If you obtain red granite, 
what you will do is you will smelt it. This is the smelting area. What are you smelting right now? Oh, yellow orium. Nice. Radioactive materials. Love that. The ore processing system takes care of everything that I don't want to take care of on my own. Red granite. Oh, that's good. Have I ever scanned red granite? I have. Alrighty then. And then once it gets smelted, let's uh, let's not output for now. Let's just put one of these in here. You've got a second one in there. Let's take this out. Boop. Then you get some of that. I'll throw the yellowium back over here to the beginning of the ore processing system because I, I have no use for... It's not technically radioactive. But it can be. I'll grab this. Red granite itself. Uh, I don't model output on. We'll scan that. What can I learn? Red granite. It's both earthly and armory because it's hard. That will get smelted into smooth red granite, which I believe actually gets smelted, right? It actually works. It actually works. And now I will deposit everything into here. Now it will just do that for me. It's been properly configured and that's wonderful. I love my ore processing system. It doesn't use lasers. My ore processing system does not use lasers, unfortunately, but I do use the lasers to give more material. Hmm. Taking a lot of cobblestone, actually. Cobblestone gets compressed over here. Oh, that's not working very hard. Cool. Anyway, that's going. And so I think what I'll do in the meantime is while I'm getting a bunch of red granite over here, I think what I'll do is I'll go down into the mines and mine some more. Try to get some materials. Try to get some small... Oh, you don't know what I can do? I can actually go to that abandoned mine shaft and uh, do, some, do some spelunking. So I'll do that. I like that idea. Um, let's do the digger's backpack. Put that in there. Put that in there. Nope, that doesn't go in there. Fine. Put the granite in there. Nope, that doesn't go in there either. What if... What if I do this? Oh, that's a fizzle brick. I want a fizzle cobblestone. That is regular granite. Can I put you in my backpack now? Do do nope. But I can that one. Cool. Close that I don't really need right now. So let's just throw that into this little ridge system. That's good. Minus backpack. Awesome. I'm hungry. Time to eat the bacon. Munch, munch, munch on the bacon. Speaking of things that are munch, munch, munchy. Last night. Anna made, and was, last night's dinner was hilarious. We had these vegetarian hot dogs, which I will forever call not dogs, because they're not hot hot dogs. Well, they were hot, they were warm. And she also made on the side, we had some kale that was running bad. We like to eat healthy around here, and she made some kale chips, which is basically just kale's chip, like kale in the oven, dried out with a little bit of oil and salt. Super crunchy, and I think very tasty. I'm gonna eat the rest of them. I got on my desk. Let's go. Splunking. Let's go splunking. So I need to find where that that uh, abandoned mine shaft is from this perspective over here. Let's go searching. This is the intersized space of my laboratory. We're all very familiar with it by now. I'm very familiar with it by now. Um, nobody really hangs up here, except for me. Come to think of it, I don't think Christina knows it exists. That's okay. She'll never need to know about it. So I can go over here and then go over here. Stupid bus, stop making sounds. I don't want to hear your... Put a sock in it. I can go down here. And apparently, according to my map, if I take a look at my map, there is... This way. If I keep going south, I will reach that other ravine. So what I will do is I will... This is the other way. We'll turn. 180... And just, just go for it. Oh, I didn't grab my torches. I need more torches. I didn't bring my torches. It's gonna be too dark. Too dark, they say. Too dark. Oh, what am I? What is above me? Oh, that's in lane. There we go. Let's just make a, just make a little path over here. There we go. That gets me underground. That gets me underground easily. We'll go up here. Oh, we'll actually go down here. Because if I stand here, I can access my system. Torch. Torch, torchy, torch. Might need a lot of them. So, uh, back we go again. Whoops. Whoops. Whoop. We stopped that. Enough. There we go. <laughs> Enough. Says the king. I'm not the king, by the way. I am currently not the king. I am only the king when I'm wearing my crown. I'm not wearing my crown right now. Go down here. Go down here. Oh, I missed it, didn't I? Did I miss it? I think I missed it. There you are. Here we go. 
And let's go, let's go. Let's go. Off we go. Uh, there. I don't know. Just keep on, just keep on going. Keep on going until I reach over there. Honestly, I'm not even worried about the light right now. Although, if I, if I don't worry about the light, uh, then monsters will spawn and kill me. Uh, cause in this mod pack, if you, if you let the darkness get to you, you will pay. You will die. So, uh, don't be dark. It's, and it's not just like creepers will eventually spawn behind you. No, 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 no. Like, a demonic shadow creature will spawn from the depths of the shadows to consume you. Or eviscerate you. Yeah, they eviscerate you. They're not, they're not trying to feast upon your blood. They're just trying to feast upon anything inside of you. Anything meat on you. Gotcha. That is such a satisfying crunch to it. That's half the reason I like kale chips. It's because that crunch is just like... Crunch is on point. Oh look, I'm going to be eaten by something. Threatening. I'm almost there. I'm like halfway there. Yeah, this will take forever with a pickaxe. Take forever. Forever, forever, forever with a pickaxe. That's why I opt for laser power. I'm gonna be eaten by something. No, no, don't eat me. I like my internal organs where they are and intact, not consumed. Here we go. Some more of that. Can I continue on my journey? Oh, hey. Oh, did you look at that. Hi, everybody. Oh, you're scary. Not really. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Hi there, Andy, dude. Fall. 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 Die. <gasps> Ender pearls. Come back here. Where'd you go? I want the, all the pearls. Ah, whatever. Oh, I've been here before. <laughs> the server backup is beginning. Yay! We like backups so that I don't lose data. Well, I mean, okay, so even with the backup, the backup is stored on the server. So it's not technically a backup backup. So, uh, technically it doesn't help unless I locally download it, which I do. About once a week. Hi there, buddy! I don't like you either! Bye. Yeah, this, uh, this also has a mod on it called Aroma Backup, and it makes a backup every, I think, every... I don't really remember, honestly. Every few hours. Let's just say every few hours. And then it creates it on the server, and then I take out the backups I, or i download them locally and then after a while i delete the backups too from the actual server itself because i don't need backups from a month ago i don't need a backup from two three months ago i don't need that i don't need that some people would i don't so i take it off also because like there's only a certain like amount of gigabytes that i'm allotted on the server and i don't want to take advantage of that i don't need to keep them there so why would i keep them there it just hogs the memory from everybody else that's that's disrespectful Ooh, tin. Oh my god, was there tin over there? I can't believe there's tin over here. So, tin is one of those materials that they're really difficult to find in this particular mod pack. I don't really know. They spawn above ground, it spawns underground, but they're just they're few and far between, and it's incredibly important. And look at that. We got a tin source. Did I already have that marked, though? No, I did not. Wow, look at that. I discovered a new thing. Um, New. Tin and cast. Right. Yay! Now I mean more tin. Wonderful. Happy Cinco de Mayo, Neko. Happy Cinco de Mayo, indeed. Anna and I might be going out on a date tonight, maybe to celebrate the Cinco de Mayo's. We were gonna hang out with some peoples, but um, but um, checking in with Rosa. Hmm. Where's your queen? Queen Anna. Your presence has been requested. Actually, I hope she didn't go to class already. I saw her in her scrubs. She might have left for class. Oh, no, no, no. I heard her. I heard her. I heard her. <gasps> I heard the door. My queen. 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 Where's my... Wait a minute. Where's my crowns? Oh, my God. Where's the queen? Where's the crown for the queen? Where are the queens? What's that? Where's the... <gasps> Where the... Why? Why? Because you're the queen. The queen deserves a crown. I can't do classes like this. You just, just, just bend down a little bit, a little bit to the, to the camera. Yeah, just like that. 
That's beauty. That's wait, 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 wait. It's great. It's great. No. Look, look, look. It's a no, my queen. I can't. My queen. <laughs> she is my queen. Also, the moth is still in the ceiling, but it moved. Anyway. You embarrassed the shit out of me. I'm not embarrassed. Kind of go. The queen has returned. Oh God. Yeah, oh. I fuss over my fiance. I like her a lot. Oh I used God. to not fuss over her, and this is why because previously I was a man. What I used to do is I, I would. I used to uh, complain about how much you would like compliment. No, it has nothing to do with you. Yeah. I used to try to hide my emotions and my feelings, but uh, after a while, I was like, "Wow, social constructs of gender identity. Pff, get this out of here. I'll fuss about whatever I want to fuss about and be obsessed with it. I love her, and I admit that, and it's adorable, and I know that. It's great. I love it. Plus, it's more entertaining. Oh, am I gonna fall through the world? Nope. No fall into the world this time. It's more fun to make her smile. Exactly. Yes. Yes. More smiles, more funs. No, though, I, I will say, okay, so more smiles, more fun. As in the percentage of the time when you are smiling, not more mouths to smile with. If you had like four mouths and they were all smiling, I feel like I'd be scared. I'd feel threatened. But then again, I am human. I only know single mouth creature. I don't know many creatures with multiple mouths, none of which are human in their own shape or form. Oh, this is, this is not fun. Hmm. Anna, have a good day at class. Says, um, wait, what was it? What was it? Noble Neko. Noble Neko says, have a wonderful day at class. I wonder what the noble equivalent of class is. In this particular society, are the lady queens allowed to go get their education? Yes, of course they are. Why would they not be? Oh, okay. These chunks are a little glitched for me. So, uh, let me just, let me do a quick disconnect and reconnect because I need things to spawn. While I eat my kale chip. Best of luck on your practical, my dear. Is that over? Is that close by? Is that over in uh, University City? That'd be quite the walk. See, there's two campuses, really. There is one over in... Let's see. There's one over uh, around 34th Street. No, U City. That's U City. It's University City. And then over here, around like 14th Street is Center City. And that's over in U City. So it's a bit of a walk away. I am the court jester. I'm the funny man. I like to do the funnies. At least, that's what I keep telling myself. People tell me I'm fun. <coughs> Excuse. Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, <coughs> some of these <coughs> kale chips. <coughs> Excuse me. Some of these. Some of these kale chips were spiced with scorpion salt, which is really spicy salt. And I just got a piece of that, that's salt stuck in the, in the back of my throat. It's okay. It's just salt. It'll, it'll dissolve with water. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. My just, <laughs> Jester is dying. I'm not dead yet though. If I take another, um, if I take another bite of these kale chips, these kale chips are trying to kill me. Chip pain, pain of chip, chip, chip of chip. Well, sorry, guess I won't do that one again. No, like, dude, I love spicy stuff. It just, apparently this one was just too much. You gotta, when you when you make the chips, you gotta salt bay it. You know, you know, salt bay. Like a little bit of, a little bit of sprinkle. But like, you gotta move it around so that all the salt is just like get popped in one place. You have to salt bay it. Crunch, crunch, crunch. It's all the tiny pieces. The tiny pieces are what I am afraid of actually. Because the tiny pieces are the ones that potentially have the most proportion of salt on them. See, Anna made two different types of kale chips. Spicy salty ones and garlicky salty ones. The garlicky salty ones really don't taste like garlic, which is fine. I, I, I mean, I love garlic, dude. I love garlic. Actually, that one was a garlicky one. That one was a garlicky one. Um, yes. Garlic! tasty i love garlic on things but so and then the other ones were the scorpion salt it might be scorpion maybe scorpion pepper salt we have a lot of different salts there are there are places around us actually so over in disney springs they have a spice and tea exchange over on hilton head island which is where my family goes for vacation they also have a spice and tea exchange when i go there i love to buy salts sugars teas mostly the mostly the teas because i love to learn about new tea flavors and whatnot and they can be like incredibly like enticing i love love tea 
Uh, I should probably actually, when I take my break to eat my lunch, uh, eventually, probably make myself a PB&J sandwich. Looking forward to that sandwich. But uh, I'll probably pour some tea. I'll, I'll, I'll do one of my specialties. Special, <laughs> it's my specialty. Special tea. Nice. But so, uh, I think, I don't know, which one I want to do? Hmm. I've got like five, and I only call them specialty tea because they, I bought them loosely from the Spice and Tea Exchange. Other than that, there's nothing special about them. You can get them in your cans and stuff, or your, uh, your tea bags and stuff. What is this? Hello, hello, hello. What's this? I don't like that. Get out of here. No water for me. Oh, it's a water well. Nice. Like that. Water well. Eh, I don't like it. Ah. Step away from the game. I'm gonna leave this background for give viewers it. Oh, thank you, Hammy. I very much appreciate you. Yeah, feel free to lurk as much as you want to. I appreciate my lurkers just as much as everybody else because, like, uh, I'm also a lurker. I don't like to say much. I don't usually say much. I like to pop up. But I don't usually like to say much. Oh, there it is. Ah, there's the there's the band of shaft. I'm gonna go collect things from down there. Nice. Much love to you too, by the way, Hammy. Oh, I hope to play golf again sometime. Or more some more tea of these. Gonna be fun. Mm. There's hair in my chips. Oh, that's a spicy one. That's a spicy one. Oh, that's very spicy. Oh, that's a spice. Ooh. That's okay. That's okay. That's okay. It's fine. It didn't get to the back of my throat. That, that means it's good. That means it's okay. So long as it... If the spice stays up in the front, that's fine. It's it's not so good when the spice gets into... Into everything else. There's hair in my chips. Yeah. I mean, on the bright side, it's either my hair, in which case, eh, whatever. Or it's Anna's hair, in which case, ew. But whatever. I wash my hair. Just a little extra keratin in your diet. What are you? Aww. I have chips in my hair. How is Blood Ernest Soulworker downloading? Oh, it's already downloaded. I thought I mentioned that the other day. I thought I mentioned we actually got Burning Soulworker started, actually. I'm just waiting on when Anna has some free time where we can pop on. And then, obviously, when we plan that, I will reach out and see if you want to play with us as well. We're just we're just awaiting on that. We're, we're waiting on the queen. So uh, we'll har I'll harass the queen. Harass the queen about it. You're almost at max level. Oh my god. Well, then perhaps I guess we should. Maybe I should. Um, maybe I should wait on contacting. Just be. <laughs> well, no, I will contact. But I know, like having all the because like there's the uh, what is it? The experience gets kind of like knocked downward a bit if you're with somebody who's like super OP. You are super OP. You are max. You are max OP. Big OP. But that's okay. Honestly, sometimes it's fun to play with players like that. Like, uh, because uh, you can just see, like, oh, how many shots does it take to kill this younger, this other player? Like, two seconds. Did raids by myself yesterday to get, like, plus nine demonic. Dude, that's awesome. What is the max level in burning? Is that 60 or uh, 70? 80? I don't know. I wouldn't know. I'm curious. I have to see what the goals are. What are goals? Neko is goals. Like, that is goals, to get up to that level, eventually. And we'll have more time to do so, because it's not like the servers are just going to up and kill us. They won't do that. 72! 72. Oh, hi there. Can I can I laser this? Hey, laser totally worked, but it doesn't give any experience. Oh, sad boy time. Hey, look! Uh, chest. Ah! Huh. You're at 64. Awesome, awesome. You're getting there slowly but surely. You are rising to the top of the food chain. I mean, you can already do the raids all by yourself, so, like... I would argue that you're pretty much already there. Uh, minecart, please. Ooh, get some steel. I like that. A steel axe, which I can melt down for some more stuff. Uh, crowbars, I can... Can I... Can I melt down crowbars? I can! Cool. I don't need railcraft crowbars, so uh, I'm gonna just do that. Mutagenic frame for the bees? Uh, I don't really need that. Minecarts I'd like to have. I'll leave, like, some of the less, uh... uh less necessary stuff down here. Well, I mean, if you love Soul Worker that much, then of course you'll play. I love, I love, let's see, what games do I love? Um, I guess it depends on what you mean by love. I don't play, I don't put like a significant, significant time in, burn in video games anyway. I guess technically nowadays I do, so that's technically incorrect. But um, I'd say I love Minecraft for the reason if I put a ton of time into it. Currently, I love Genshin Impact. 
I like that because I also put a ton of time into that one as well. Not a ton of ton, but I do. I play it often, every once in a while. Work cart, get some railway tracks, daily degimen. That's cool. Let me scan these. I like the scanning. I have like, let's see. Other games in the past that I used to feel that way with that are no longer around. I don't really know, honestly. I used to put tons and tons of hours into like Pokemon and stuff like that. But um, but that was in my younger years. I could tell I would definitely play a Pokemon game again. But again, I suffer from like the motivation to do things. So like if I don't have the quote unquote motivation to do it, like for example streaming or whatever, then I just I, I won't or I just won't ever initiate it. I'd play Pokemon on stream. I totally would. And I'd sink time into it, because I'd love to be able to do that again. Personally fine. Burning Soul Worker more fascinating than Genshin. I I totally understand that. I've never been one more. I've never been one for like actually I was gonna say I've never been one for fighting games, but Genshin is a fighting type game. I don't know. I like God, let me think about this. Why do I like Genshin more than I like uh Soul Worker? Burning Soul Worker. I gotta think about that for a moment. So I don't usually play those gotcha games where you kinda have to go with the flow of what the game gives you to be able to do what you want. In contrast of that, in Soul Worker, yeah, there's a bit of RNG to it, but like, you don't really rely upon it for your, you pick your character, you go with it. If you want, if you want something more, you want another character, you just make a different character and play with that one too. Like there's nothing restricting you like random wise from you just switching your character whenever you want to. So in that regard, um, Soul Worker's got it, uh, Soul Worker's got it beat. Like, if I want to play as one of the other characters in Genshin, I wouldn't be able to. I'd have to wait. I'd have to wait till I just randomly get it. Or spend money or hours to be able to get that and secure that random chance or wait for an event to happen. In that regard, I think that would be rather, rather frustrating if I were the kind of person to be like, I want this character and I want it now and I want to play it. And I'm over dramatizing. There's nothing wrong with that, obviously. I just don't. This is not particularly my type of... I, I just kind of go with the flow of it. Honestly, when I first played Soul Worker, I picked the red... I, my character selection was more or less random. And now I'm tied to Chi, and I'll take it. Because uh, I don't know why. I think the story was like, is cats? And I'm like, that's cool. Cats are cool. Meow. And I went with it. Oh, what is this down here? Glaucanite, Bentonite. Oh, sweet. Do I have that on my map? Is that on my map? Let's take a look. Let's take a check. Glaucanite, Bent... Yep, I already know about that. Uh, she's awesome, dude. I mean, I'll admit, I think, in my opinion, I think the audio or um, the dialogue is a little dry. It's just a lot of, I'm a cat, not a human. Like, all right, you've mentioned this like 70 times already, but like, that's a, I think that's a part of the flair. I think that's a part of like the cuteness of the character. At least I, I think that's how I would put it. The cuteness, the uh, very kawaii. But I like that about that character. What else is a nice comparison? So there's a lot of fighting that happens. Like, you know, there's a lot of battling that goes on in Genshin as opposed to there is in Burning Soul Worker. And in both of them, like, honestly, I think in terms of combat, I think Soul Worker's got Genshin Impact beat, in my opinion. There's a lot more going on in Burning Soul Worker. There's all the numbers on the, street, the screen. Like, I feel like I'm powerful when I'm playing Soul Worker. I don't really feel like I'm powerful when playing Genshin Impact. Because it takes a long time. Don't get me wrong. Like, if you're playing on Manic mode, like the Manic Dungeons and whatnot, it's going to take you a while to do things. But you brought that upon yourself. In Genshin, like... Like, Genshin, once you upgrade your world level, things become harder and you have to upgrade your characters. There's, like, there's a need to level up your characters. There's no auto-leveling like there is in a Burning Soul Worker. I mean, you need to put in the work of, like, you know, upgrading your weapons and stuff like that, but... I think Genshin's kind of on the downside for that. And in that regard, Burning Soul Worker has got it. But on the other hand, um, yeah, you don't read the dialogue too much. I just, yeah, I don't, uh, the dialogue just, uh, Final Rhapsody, my buddy, read a lot of the dialogue and kind of got into the story a bit, but eventually it became a little dry. So uh, I think he stopped reading it and I really never read it. But another thing on the, th I was just thinking about another thing in terms of the combat. Oh, the dungeon crawling aspect in Genshin Impact, I think has it beat on Soul Worker. Soul Worker is very like, the quests tell you exactly where you need to go and you should be going here. If you want more things, you just go to the dungeons and do things over again. I don't think that's a problem. It's just my preference would be like dungeon crawling. Like you're crawling around the world trying to find the dungeons. A quest popped up over here and it says do this dungeon and then you can also get rewards for them. And I kind of like that better than I do on Soul Worker. The combos. Oh my god, the combos in Soul Worker. Going back to the whole like combat aspect of it. I love the combos. Oh, he's already over here. The combos are awesome. They're so freaking satisfying. 
Like, I just love seeing all those numbers. It's just like, hit, 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 and the, you know, I'm up to 200 combo already. I'm like, this is wonderful. I can't do that in Genshin. It's just not as satisfying. What are you doing down here? Your little bird thing? But so that's awesome and Burning Soul Worker. But dungeon crawling, I feel like, I, I don't know. I kind of, there's a lot of, there was a, like a lot, a lot of dungeons in Genshin, depending on where you are in the world and whatnot. And I think Genshin's got so ochre beat on that. But I was, I've always been more of a dungeon crawler type of thing. Not really, not dungeon crawler type of guy. Not really too keyed into the, con, uh, the combat. But, uh, you know, obviously the combat is totally necessary and enticing. And it's enjoyable. And I like it. So in that in that regard, I think Genshin's got that beat. Also, exploration. I am huge on exploration. That's probably one of the reasons I keep on coming back to Minecraft. I just feel like I'm discovering new things as I venture more into the world. And the same thing with Genshin Impact. I feel like there are things to discover. But, like, the game is not necessarily pushing you in that direction. So it feels more authentic. It feels more like an adventure. I got affiliate. I did get affiliate. I did, I did, I did. I've been racking up some channel points over there, probably. Congrats, thank you. Thank you so much, thank you so much. It's a fun, fun time. I love, I love playing around with the channel points. The channel points are fun. They just often, you know, there's just some funny things. I love thinking of new ideas that I can put with that. It's so awesome. That's honestly one of the main things. That and now I can use my face as emotes. It's great, it's great. Oh, Neko, you don't have to do that. Your money is be better spent on sub sandwiches to support you and anybody else who you can share that sub sandwich with. I like sandwiches. I, I love I love sandwiches, but uh, I, I cannot I cannot force you not to. And obviously, it is greatly appreciated. I will use it to purchase my own sub sandwiches. I will purchase my own sub sandwiches. That's the thing. I wind up taking all any money that winds up coming here is all going to food. It's all going to food. And technically, technically, like it's not necessary for food. Like it, I I will I will eat with an ad. We go we try to live rather frugally around here. But like that little extra. That means you can do like a little go out to eat or something like that. I like that. And also put it towards things as well. Actually, you know what? Even more so than that. Actually, let me digress on that. I don't usually spend the money on food, come to think of it. Uh, recently, I got a buddy of mine who streams and another buddy of mine who also streams and another buddy of mine who also streams. But two of those buddies have a birthday on the same day. And the money that I've gotten from things so far is actually an invest. I, I bought one of them a, uh, a microphone and I contributed to buying the other one. A capture card because he streams on his xbox what the hell happened over here whoa i don't know what's going on over here anyway not gonna worry about it but so i like to put it back into if i if i can and if something comes up i'd love for things to go just back into the community it makes me feel better it makes me feel so much better you don't know how much i got till i have the hundred dollar payout that you're absolutely right about that technically speaking unless they donate to paypal Unless, 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 I have uh, some, uh, I do have some people who do that. Very nice people indeed, very kind people. And then I spend that on my, I think the last time that happened, it went to Pizza Hut. It went to Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut, yummy. Pizza Hut, very, very yummy. The gateway's always opened up. I don't know, I, I've never been like, I've never been, like, comfortable with the idea of, like, donations and stuff like that. Because, like, what, what am I, charity? Like, I don't need that money. Any, somebody else does. Somebody else needs that money. And so as, you know, as things come in, if they come in, then I'm trying to think of more ways to be able to do something, like, good with that money. I am not really, like, a money kind of person. It's ne it's always been, like, you know, I have to make the money so I can pay my bills and live in my place and eat my foods and stuff like that and buy my groceries. But, like, all this other stuff that's left around, because, you know, you try to live as frugal as possible. It's not going to luxury things, for the most part, unless it's, like, a hobby thing. Like, my gaming computer, I sank money into that. It's a luxury, but it's also a part of the hobby as well. So I think spending money on hobbies is totally, totally warranted. You want, like, if you are a sewer and you 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 don't have a really good sewing machine and a really good sewing machine would fix that for you, dude, spend it on a nice sewing machine for yourself. Splurge a little bit. I think you totally deserve it. If it's something that you do as a hobby, I think that totally works for you. Oh, creeper, why? Like, I think your hobbies are absolutely something that you should spend your money on. That's That's my opinion, at least. Some people aren't as invested, like literally invested in their hobbies, but I like to do that. I also like to mix cocktails, so I spend also some of that money on different types of liquors and mixers. Why? Because it's a hobby of mine. But also, I have I have friends, I have the community, and it'd be cool to be able to like support their, like, whatever it is that they do as well. Currently, streaming is also a hobby of mine, and as I mentioned before, there are a couple of friends of mine who also do the streams as well. 
And of course, like, if you were doing something like streaming, then you'd want to, like, upgrade whatever it is that you're doing. Because, like, I don't, like, I spent money on a camera. I spent money on my microphone. Because I want to make sure that whatever I'm doing as my hobby, because it involves other people, I, I don't want to, like, torture them just for coming around. Like, uh, as I probably sometimes do with the laughing and loud volumes and whatnot. But you kind of, you can invest in your own hobbies, too. You spent your money on emotes and the overlays and the gaming PC to make the content in the stream. That, that, that's absolutely warranted. And and I will say, your, your, um, excuse me, your overlay is, like, beautiful. It's so crisp and clean. Mine is not crisp and clean. It is thrown together because I need I wanted an overlay and I made it. I, I like the colors. I improved my background. Like my background. It's cool now. But uh, it's something I made on my own, and it it certainly shows. It's a, uh, but there's nothing wrong with like spending money on those things anyway, dude. If it honestly, being able to look at other people's overlays and whatnot and getting ideas, that does it for me, because I like to be able to pull ideas from wherever I am and think like, how can I improve my own? Because I can I can do that. And same thing for the emotes as well. But, like, for those who are just like, ah, that's just not my thing. Spend their money on it. It's investing in the hobbies. It's great. Etsy has amazing Twitch overlays and emotes. Really? That's cool. I didn't realize you can get those on Etsy. Nice. Well, I'm going to write that. I'm going to write that down just so I don't forget about it. Etsy emotes. Who knows? Might find some ideas on there. Etsy emotes and overlays. Just to get, like, oh, and alerts and webcam borders, too. Nice. That seems like a really awesome place for ideas. And by ideas, obviously, I am referring to, I take a look at that, and I see, oh, there's a little serif to that font. That's cool. I'll add a serif to my font. Not the same serif. Otherwise, it's not mine. If I'm going to, if I see something that I really, really like, I don't want to copy it. Because, like, that just, it's so disrespectful to the original content creator. I mean, purchase it. Purchase like if you're gonna if you're gonna support somebody like that, purchase it, send them the money, say thanks so much for your service. Here's some goods your way, nice exchange, and then go off and do your own thing with it. But like I don't like the idea of like copying. There's there's too much of that in what I consider to be like the community of people who like program things and do themselves and art like that. Like somebody the other day I saw on Twitter, somebody is a I don't remember who they are, but they do like a comic panel thing, like a paneled comic thing that they draw. And apparently some movie took that comic series panel by panel and made the movie of it. Oh my god, what is that? Oh my god, what? Ouch, I died. Creatures from the Darkness. Creatures from the Darkness. Where am I? I'm over here. Good thing I got my Venoraptor. Creature from the Darkness. Creatures from the Darkness. Anyway, time to go back. Uh, but yeah. Uh, and apparently this artist had, like, their entire work, like, ripped from them. And he's just like, this is literally my thing. And you turned it into a movie? Like, what's wrong with you? And I hate when seeing things like that. And again, that kind of goes back to the idea of, like, if you're going to watch anime, like, are you going to watch it online, which is not giving the content, that like, the proper thing to the creator? I think it's a little different on that, because, like, digital media and whatnot. But, like, I know we watch anime from, I think, Funimation.com, so we technically pay for that stuff, so it's all well and good. I listen to my music, and I use Spotify. I pay for that. It's all well and good. And it just makes me feel comfortable about it. Some people are made really, really uncomfortable by kind of, I wouldn't call it exploitation. I, 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 I wouldn't call it exploitation, but some people would. Saying, so like, well, you're exploiting the internet, and then these artists and whatnot. Like, I mean, if you're comfortable with that, then you're an internet denizen just like I am. You choose whatever makes you feel good. So, yeah. Pay for Funimation, Spotify, and YouTube. Yeah, exactly. I think uh, I got my... I got my... Let's see. I take my Netflix from my parents. That works. Um, my Spotify is also my parents, because we have the family plan. We pay for our own... Uh, actually, we use... My future brother-in-law's Funimation. What's they pay for? I pay for Anna's Spotify, actually. And which also, in turn, pays for the Hulu. Okay, I need something to defend myself. When I go back and collect my stuff. Because my stuff is kept. This is modern Minecraft. It's okay. I get some bow. I get some arrows. Yeah, I feel good about that stuff. I like to feel good about, like, supporting the creators. When I can. There is a red mark on my finger. It looks like marker. Yeah. Free Hulu feels good. Love that free Hulu. Uh, arrows. Arrows? I got arrows. I'll, uh, shoot it from above. Hopefully not die. Oh! Whoa! I dropped my kale chips right on my ankle. Ow. Did I get the free Google Home Mini? I did. I love it. Actually, I'm the one who- I'm the keeper of the Google Home Mini. My family paid- paid for it, but I'm the keeper of the Google Home Mini. It's great. Honestly, now that I have my computer, I don't really use it that much. I'll admit it. 
But, um, oh, I need food, too. I need something to keep me strengthened. So let's go grab that before I go back and get to my stuff. Those little shadow creatures will come literally out of nowhere. Uh, baked potato. I can eat that. What else is there? Berg. Bergies. Any more foods? Chili! Chili. Chili. I like that chili. Yeah, I love that Google. I used that a lot when I was in my, um... When I lived in my fraternity house, which was... Uh, I didn't have my, I didn't have access to my computer at that point because I didn't build it yet. But that was like my sound system. I would listen to Spotify just like that. You got two of them because you did the same thing? <laughs> oh, wow. Nice. That is so cool. What do you use the both of them for? Like, do they serve two different, are they like one in each room? I can imagine that. If I had two, there'd be like one in one room and one in the other. Because this, this Google Home over here is attached to the television. The television isn't always on, so... Okay, let's uh, open up this blood chili so I have increased attack power. I'll walk on over and grab my stuff. In the meantime, I'll eat more kale chips. Hmm. Kale chips. I'm almost done with them, too. Second one to a friend? Nice. i probably do that, too. That's what I do with a lot of my, um... I am a computer guy. I'm a laptop guy. I have... I have many computers slash laptops. Only one gaming computer, but I have many laptops. And if somebody needs a spare laptop, I just let them use it for a while. <laughs> currently, um, that's what I'm currently doing for the younger brother-in-law. Younger fruits of brother-in-law. He's got, um, his gaming computer kind of broke a bit, so I let him use one of my other ones. It's probably online right now, and I can remote log into it. All right, let's get this. Yours is in the kitchen. Nice. Mine is in the living, well, I mean, I have a, Let's see, I have a bedroom, and I have an other room, and it's in the other room, which is right over there. Google, Google Home Amenities is over there. Let's find my death. My death is over there. Um, I need materials. I should have brought a pickaxe with me. Did I have anything? Oh, I don't have anything that's soulbound. Previously, I had some soulbound things. Oh, well. Um. Hmm. Um, see you later, Atagata, says the songs from outside. Let's think about this. How am I going to go about doing this? Well, clearly not carefully. I didn't prepare for this. It's been a while since I've died. It's been a, been a while since I've perished. Let's see. Let's, uh... uh I can, can I survive that? I can survive that. If I don't survive, whatever. Oh, you know what? I can do this. There we go. Did my music stop? Yeah, why'd you stop? No, not on the computer, silly. Why did my music stop? I don't know why this keeps happening. No, it's still going. No, on this computer, please. Oh, is it still going? I can't tell. Oh, no. Okay. Debugging. Connected device. Oh, it is playing. But I can't hear it. Weird. Oh, well. Back to the game. Who cares? Oh, now I hear it. Okay, it kind of goes... Minecraft is, has very somber soundtrack, so sometimes I just forget. There it is. Now I can hear it. Y'all can hear it better than I can. I can adjust the volume of my headphones, uh, which doesn't affect the volume on stream, which is very convenient for me. But, um... Yeah. Technically, I could just turn up the volume. I, I should just turn up the volume for myself. There we go. Now I know for a fact. It was on, like, volume 13. That's why I couldn't hear anything. All right. The journey to my belongings. Here we go. I'll take that. It's a journey indeed. Fell asleep to Minecraft music last night. Dude, c 418s music is beautiful. That's uh, obviously the, the artist who makes the music for Minecraft. It's great. I love it. Oh, who was after me? I heard something in there. I don't like that. Oh, I see something. Oh, that sounded like a zombie. You don't scare me. Oh, I see spy. Whoa, spiders. Okay. Very nice music. All of their other music, too, is just wonderful. Oh, wait. Do I still have my... Wait a minute. I don't have my... I don't have my cloak. My cloak usually stays on me. Huh. Interesting. Usually my cloak stays. Weird that it didn't. Isn't this? It's really odd. Oh, well. Let's just uh, do this the hard way. Is it up there? It's probably up there. So... That type of somber music is exactly what I'm into. Honestly, I went through a very long phase of listening to that, like, lo-fi music to, uh, study and chill to or whatever it is. I love, I love that playlist. 
I listen to that like religiously, honestly. Oh, stop it. Don't do this to me. I am blood chili man. I will kill you. No, please just go away from me. Go away from me. No, stop. Ah! Okay, well. Nobody said I was good at Minecraft. Nobody said I was good at this game. All right, you know what? Let's prepare ourselves for this. Let's prepare ourselves. I will prepare myself better for this next time. I have armor and stuff like that. Oh, somebody is calling me right now. This may actually be my maintenance man. My garbage disposal is whack right now. I'll be back in a moment to check this out. It's my maintenance man who called. He's gonna check out my garbage disposal. Cause, um, I broke it the other day. I broke the garbage disposal the other day. See, helmet, boots, that, perfect. Just put that all on myself. Yeah, I broke it. Oh, I thought I had a, oh, I didn't grab pants. I need pants! I need pants, I need pants. Pants, pants, there we go. Yeah, I broke my garbage disposal, as it turns out. Actually, let me keep one headphone off so I can actually hear when he knocks on the door. Yeah. Uh, unbeknownst to me, a shot glass fell into the garbage disposal, and, well, when you turn that thing back on, it broke, and there's pieces of glass in there, and it needs to be replaced. R.I.P. me. R.I.P. me. Let me bring a sword with me. Uh, can I head out and stream? Oh, nice! I hope come and I'll probably come and join later. I might I might not be on for much longer. What am I been on for, like, four hours? It depends. Hunt Showdown. Good luck to you as well, Neko. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you do. And thanks for sticking around for as long as you did. I always appreciate it. Let's go with a bow. Let's go with arrows. Oh, I had my bow and arrow. Why wasn't I using that? <clears throat> Sad boy chat. Whoa, what are you doing here? No, no, what are you doing? I don't like you. Get out of here. Goodness darn. <laughs> Gosh damn it. Let me get some materials. What are these, creosote blocks? I'll take those. Let me grab a pickaxe too. Let me grab a pickaxe. I, do I have any pickaxes over here? Armor and tools and tools? Pickaxe? Pickaxe. Any pickaxe? Do you have a pickaxe? Why wouldn't I have a pickaxe on me? What is wrong with me? Why wouldn't I have my pickaxe? Oh, there's a pickaxe. That's not going to work, though. But it'll work just enough for what needs to be done. And I dropped my blood chili, too. All right. Stuart, where'd you go? Stuart. Stuart. Come here, Stuart. At least I don't lose Stuart. If I die, I don't lose Stuart. I don't lose Stuart when I die. Let's go, actually, let's go the direct route. Let's do this easier than I did before. I'm gonna go right over top of where I died, and then I'm just gonna dig downward. Oh, it's in the water. Hmm. Oh, my great, ah, nice, my great wood tree grew. Nice, it's cute. Hmm. I have to get down there. That'd be easy to get to from over here. In we go! Down we go into the depths. Where's my death? Head out over there. So let's use this to my advantage. Advantage! I will go down, I will retrieve. Oh, this was one of the other, uh, this was the ravine area. Well, this probably would've been easier. I should've just did this the first time. Is it right over there? It's literally right over there. Oh, nice. So let's just, uh, crease that woodblock. Nice. I'll just kind of Jump down there. Nice. Go over here. There. Everywhere. Everywhere you do, 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 do. And the Gru's not there anymore, so that's cool. He won't kill me. Mess me up. Hopefully. Don't mess me up. Oh. Mess me up. Can't believe you do that. I messed myself up. That's what happens to happen. It what happens to be sometime. Now I gotta prepare myself, because spawns... Sometimes skeletons will spawn next to... The gr no! Oh, it's okay. I'm okay. This is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Yes, it is rather dark. I'm gonna avoid that. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Get into the light. Get into the light. There we go. Now I'll just, let's 
make a little platform for myself. So when the stuff flies out completely, it doesn't go anywhere. Oh, bad torch. You're in a really not so fun spot right now. Oh, don't fall. Oh, jeez. Oh, my goodness. All right. And my stuff has returned to me. Oh, let's get this out of here. I don't need these. Oh, all of my... Ha, funny how all of my actual armor didn't actually go into my inventory. Let's, uh, let's uh, do some inventory management here. I don't need that. I don't need the bow. I don't want these... These arrows are nice, actually. I don't need the sword. I don't need this bow. Why do I have two bows? Um, what else? Where's all my, my equiptables? I want my equiptables. I see my cloak. My cloak. Give me my cloak. Let's just, just throw them to the side, right? Oh, I don't need this Enderman head. Why do I have that? Wood? No. Boots. Put them on. That? Put them on. Ring of protection. Put it on. That? Put it on. My cloak! Let's put on my cloak. Put it on. Now I have access to hammer space again. Not that one. Certainly not that one. Not that one. Where are the other ones? There you are. Ah, yes, my nano chest plate or whatever. My titan. Oh, this goes on. Bubbles. There. The vista. And then my, my little title. I don't like dying. Dying is not fun. And I have my jetpack again. Cool. And hopefully I won't die as much as I did before. Not so fun. All right. Time to do some inventory management. Everything goes where the supposed to go. But nope, that doesn't work. Oh, I can put the slime head in there. Cool. Miner's backpack. I got that. That's almost filled up. The digger's backpack is almost filled up. I can put the ender pearl in here as well. Cool. And that's that's pretty much it. And then I'll go and collect the other stuff from before as well. Might as well. Do, 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 do. Oh, because I died in the lava, didn't I? Mm, I don't really want to do that. A bucket? Bucket. Huh. Bucket? Yeah, I feel that. Do, 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 do. Oh, hi, Zomble. Yeah, you don't. I'm not scared of you anymore. I'm scared of the Grooves. I'm scared of the darkness. Apparently, I'm scared of the darkness. Uh, where are my torches at? Where are my torches? They are my key defense against the darkness. Um, give me that stuff. Give me that stuff. Give me all that stuff. What did I come down here for? Oh, I came to Splunk. I came to Splunk, so then I could go back and then collect all the red granite, which is the stuff that I was using for decoration and whatnot. Cool. Actually, let's just make our way up to the surface. Am I below the water right now? I can't tell. Nope. Cave mode off. I'm not... I am below the water. Cool. So, uh... I like this trick. One of my favorite tricks. Just, um... Oh, I skipped long range. Shatter, explosive, no, low focus, long range, to the surface. There we go. Now I'm up to the top of the surface. Time to go back to the other area and collect all of my aesthetic materials. Finish all my kale chips, too. Gotta finish them all off. Hmm. Hmm, where am I going? Got trapped under a tree. Don't want to do that. Hmm. Lovely, lovely. Not so spicy, those ones. Not so spicy. Very garlicky. I like that. I like me some garlic. Oh, open the door! Thank you. Thank you for opening the door for me. Um, I don't need... What things do I need? I don't need algae. I don't want creosote wood blocks. Don't need that. I could keep them over here, but it just takes up space. I'm not going to use it anyway. Um, Hunter's backpack, throw in there. Do -do 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 -do. Take his backpack, put that in there. And then whatever's in the other backpacks. Yeah, it's a lot of good stuff. Awesome. Oh, don't put the slime in there. Then I can actually do some other things too. I'll pulverize some of these tools that I'm never going to use. These are for steel dust. Put it in here. Boop, boop, and boop. Can I... Can I recycle a minecart too? Yes, I can. Like that. I don't need that. Madali. What about tracks? Actually, I'm gonna keep tracks. You never know. Tracks are used in recipes, pretty sure. I'll put the blood chili back where it needs to be. I'll put arrows over here. Why not? This is a mostly full bowl. Bow. Put that in there. The glass panes that we're gonna use for glass underwater, but I haven't gotten there yet. I 
keep those, I'll keep those. Put that in there. Alright. Kelchup. <laughs> do, 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 do. Uh, oh, that's what I came here for. I came here for the red granite stuff. And I don't see the smelters doing anything, so they must be done. Which means it's all in the storage system. Do I have my PB&Js? I do have my PB&Js. I should probably do that when our maintenance man gets here. I'll probably make myself a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. He should be here very soon. He said within like five-ish minutes. Fix my disposer. All right. Red granite. Red granite. Plenty of that. Four stacks will be fine. It'll be just fine. Can we eat this PB&J sandwich? My nose is really itchy. Oh my god. There we go. I don't know what it is. My nose gets, like, really itchy after a while. I'm just sitting there. Not exactly sure why. But, like, it's not too far in it. It's, like, like just on the outside. Or just on the outside or, like, just on the inside. I don't, I don't want to pick my nose on camera because it's disgusting. Certainly not digging for gold or anything. Just trying to, like, um, I guess moisten the walls or something. I, I don't know. I don't know what the proper analogy is. If digging for gold is actually picking your nose... Then scratching the inside of it, I don't know what the proper analogy would be. I'm I'm entering the cave only to light the gas or, or the when the candles inside. I don't know, it's really it's a terrible analogy. I don't need this pickaxe either. Nobody needs that. Nobody wants it. Nobody needs it. Back to the magical area. Oh hi there. See, y'all don't scare me. But when I'm face to face with a Gru in the darkness, and I don't know it's there. I have very little time to react to it. There was not enough. That just came just out of out of nowhere. Some would say the shadows is being nowhere. So coming out of nowhere, pretty fitting for a shadow monster. Hi, creepy. Bye, bye, creepy. Bye, bye, creepy creep. I'm likely to be eaten by something. If I don't turn on a light, that creature will come and kill me again. There we go. Down in here, and I should be more or less safe. Let me block up the walls, honestly, just in case. Because I may be going AFK for a little bit. Depending on when the maintenance guy gets here. Which should be very, very soon. And I'll eat my sandwich. I'll eat my sandwich for lunch and then I'll, I'll keep going for a bit. For a bit longer. It's only four hours. I've been on for four hours. Oh, I'm still on mining mode. I want to be on low focus mode. Low focus? Nope. Mm. Stupid. Oh. That would be it. One moment. Oh, that's you. Oh, that was just you opening the door. I thought that was Kyle. The maintenance man. You scared me. I thought you left already. No, I've been in the room. Oh my god, low focus mode, please. Stupid left right click. Yeah, I thought you had to be there by 2 o'clock, so I saw, thought you left no, already. I'm leaving at oh, two leaving o'clock. at 2. Okay, that's more understandable. Much more understandable. I understand now. I thought that was I thought that was the maintenance man playing with the door. It spooked me. Oh, uh, he said he'd be here. Um, He said he's coming a little early. He actually did remember 3 o'clock, but he's like, I'm already in the building. Or I'm going to the building, so. Looks sad for me. Is the is the sink rather clear? Does it look clear enough? That means there's only one plate in it. Oh, that's fine. Perfect, perfect. In the meantime, I have these abyssal cobblestone. Oh, you know what? Oh, actually, I was using all my abyssal cobblestone down below. Well, that's dumb of me. I was going to use that for building. How dare I? You're totally right, dear. How dare I? Anyway, I'll just use smooth red granite to make up for it. Doo -doo. I'll try to make this nice and cool looking. I want a nice, like, black and red aesthetic going on. That's what I want. Black and red. Nice color combo. Pink and red would be pretty cool, too. Or, uh, pink and black. That was always one of my favorite color combos. When I used to play the game Roller Coaster Tycoon, oh man, if I could, if I could make the structures pink and black, I would. I just I, I love the way that looked for some reason. But this, oh, I don't like. I don't want to use my pickaxe if I don't have to. There we go. Down from there, down from there, uh, down from here. There we go. Kind of fill that up all nicely. I think that'll look pretty nice. Again, I'm not super aesthetic, but I try my bestest. If it looks good to me, I keep it. Ah! 
clickety clackety clankety clook. Clickety clackety clickety clack. Clickety clack clack clackety clack. That onomatopoeia, you know? Onomatopoeia! That device that we use in our language to represent sounds. Our language. I say our language. This is all of us say English is our language. It's my language. My language. Though, uh, you know, it's a, it's the uh, language of a lot of people. A lot of people. A lot, a lot of people. Many of whom speak it better than I do. Yeah. I can't be so exclusive to the only English speakers. I mean, I can try to speak other languages, but I can't guarantee that I will be doing it correctly. Vas machst du? What you doing? Or what do you do? I believe that's German for that. I think that's proper language. I know a little bit of German. Probably a little bit. I got a I got an online friend of mine who could teach me some German if, uh, if I wanted her to. Or at least correct me when I'm incorrect with my German. Okay, so I see that there. That's nice. That's kind of... Kind of works there. So how do I want to do on the next... So then I want to shrink. I want to shrink the circle of the room so it kind of gets thinner as it goes to the top. I think that'd be really cool. But how do I want to do that? I don't know. Let me ponder that over a melon. Mmm. Melons. Melon, melon, melon. Let me think about it from up here. If I think about it from up here, this is circle-esque. So what I should do is I can kind of like take the... Let's see. I can put one there. And then one there. Ooh, yeah, that'll work. That connects to there, and then that will be a single one as it goes back up. Oh, nice. That'll, that'll work. This will, this will work. Oh, I need more smooth red granite. Oopsie. Give me my laser. I got a lot of this. No, I don't want to do that so much. It's, um... I don't know. Fill that up with more brick. Damn it! Oh, uh, my right click is doubling. I like that. That'll happen sometimes. It's this mouse. It's this mouse. You know what? When I head on break, just because it's giving me annoyance right now, and I'm trying to be fine with the building, I'm just gonna switch out. I'm gonna switch mice. That'll be fine. When I do my lunch slash maintenance break, I'll do that. This is bothering me. It's now beginning to bother me. And if it begins to bother me, that's when I wind up doing the change. Nope, I didn't want to do that. It's It keeps uh, double clicks. Oh, Sticky mouse. Sticky mouse. That seems to be what's going on here. Sticky mouse. You know, I do have a little bit of the abyssal cobblestone, so I can use some of that. Doo, 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 doo. What do I want to use that as? Do I want that smooth too? No, I like the brick. I like, I like the fizzle brick. It's cool looking. But is it cool enough? Oh, stop. <laughs> there we go. Is it cool enough for what I want to do? Hmm. I'm unsure. Well, you know what? I'll build it up over here and see if that looks good. No, that's too many. That's too many. Double click. <sighs> Big annoyance. Making me sad. Makes me sad. Make me feel the the anger. Oh, well, now it's working. Now single click is working. Maybe I'm just. Maybe I got. Maybe my fingers are trigger happy. So how does that look? That looks okay. That looks okay. What else do we have? What are what are other other? Eh, what are options do we have? What other options are there? Hmm. Do the regular blocks too. Technically, I don't already have those. Because I have the tiles on the ground. I've got the smooth on the wall as well as I could do the brick style. I really do like the brick style. But not the big brick. Bigger brick. How's that looking? Nah, I think the other one's actually more wizard towery. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the other one. Unless anybody else has any thoughts. I am open to suggestions. Bit of business. No, let's go back to the brick. But in the meantime, we'll go with the brick. Brick feels nice. A tiny brick. Not the big brick. Tiny brick. Well, I guess 
tiny brick as opposed to big block. As opposed to regular tile. I'm starting to think about it now, and I'm not sure if I really like this granite floor. But that's a, that's an issue for another time, I think. Technically, this abyssal stuff is also an issue for another time. And I got one more, so I'll use it. Let's do... Let's worry about this stuff now. Let's go, like, three levels up. Yeah. I like that. It gets... Each floor gets, like, thinner and... Yeah, less less girthy and less tall as it goes up. Like that. What a word. What a vocabulary I'm using. Just making sure it's at the same on all sides. Be annoying if I had to change that later. I've done that before. Actually, that first wizard tower is not equal on all sides. And I noticed that very much after the fact. And uh, it bothered me. There we go, that's one. And the other one. Get this other one. Get one. Get one. There we go. And we'll take that up another level. And, uh, yeah, you got plenty of space. I got plenty of space up there. It actually might be cool to have this as like the tower has different levels that you can kind of elevate yourself up to, which gives you access to different type of magical things that you can possibly do. I kind of like that. Kind of like that. I like that idea. So maybe they shouldn't be different sizes getting thinner as they go up. And you know what? Yeah. Oh, what did I do? Oh, I didn't actually complete it over here. Hm. No! Stop. There we go. And then, uh, boop. only one laser. So actually, let's make it a little bit taller. I got plenty of space to work with. Whoops. I disabled hover after realizing that I wanted it. Mm, don't like that. Double click. Double click Y. Double click Y. Yeah. I'm gonna switch for the other mouse after this. <clears throat> Hmm. Frustration. Let's put that in there so it's not dark and scary. Double clicks are killing me. They're killing- They're literally ki <laughs> So many double clicks. I'm clicking the button once, I swear. That's how I really did. And again. That, okay, that one I actually clicked twice. We can confirm that one. I heard the, the click click. I did it on every single one of these. <laughs> Goodness gracious. Okay. Now I've got more up here. Those are also level four. Or they're four high. Ah, but they're not four high compared to the level that they will be on. So they actually have to be five high. So uh, I need to I need to add another layer on that. There we go. Because the floor layer will be on that first. And I want it to be four blocks high when you're actually on that floor. So minus one is, or plus one is five. Then trim it away. Trim it away. I got a lot of this. Got a lot of this red granite stuff. So I'm not actually worried if the laser destroys it. Not too worried about it. Not too worried at all. Oh, there we go. Got a little wall again. Let's collect all that. Collect all the scrap that survived. I like it. It's coming together. Oh yeah, it's all coming together. Look at that. Now the next layer, but I want more abyssal brick, so I will I will come back. I will come back with abyssal brick, and I believe I have a bit of it. Actually, I may not have a lot of it, but I can go underwater and mess with it. Um, which direction? I think it's this way. This is the direction I want to go. There, yeah. that's the direction I want to go. This way, because it brings me over here, and then I need to be up on the... I need to find the abyssal areas. So uh, let's find the abyssal areas. Bunch of creosote blocks over here. That's not what I'm looking for. I'm looking for abyssal brick, as in bricks of the abyss. Which is... which is interesting. Oh, you know what? That's what they call it, abyssal brick. Because, like, the abyss of the ocean. They spawn at the bottom of the ocean. Ah, uh, <laughs> I get it now. Laser. Redstone. Enemies. Not so redstone. Oh, I'm in the lava! Whoops. Shocking. You almost leaving, babe? Yeah. Okie dokie. Yeah. What time will you be back? Um, well, dependent on if we're on time or not. Okay. Is, uh, an exam. 
And depending on it, if everybody's feeling like all up and okay. Well, Olivia's definitely not down tonight. Okay, no Olivia. No Olivia. Yeah. And Rose is busy. Um, you got it. Because they ended up finding reservations. Oh, okay. So that. Alrighty then. Well, maybe we can figure something out on, on our own tonight. We can either go out or we can... I don't know. I just don't want to do a lot of work tonight after I get back. I totally understand. Yo, if you want an excuse to not do work, I'm your guy. You want to play orange juice? We can play orange juice. The guy, actually, I can't even remember what the words were. The gibble the gobbles, gibble the gobbles. Explode, explode, please, explode. Gibble the gobble gobbles. Yeah, the date, because you accepted, you accepted my date with the gibble the gobbles. That's how I, that's how I earned my date with my fiance. I just had to say random words. It was very easy, easy, too easy. But it had to be a unique set of gibberish words. I couldn't have just, I couldn't just keep using the same thing yeah, over again. Gibbly whatever, blah blah blah, whatever, blah blah blah. It's not gonna work again. No, that doesn't work. No, it's not gonna work again. I have to be be more creative next time. All right, I have completely lost track of the water, so uh, let's go up. Go up, up. There we go. Let's find the big bubbles underwater. See those big bubbles? those I want those bubbles like that bubble zoom 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 uh, let's see I want to go into here once I reach the oh that's not actually where I want to be it's a little difficult to see underwater there it is it's subtle but if I look closely I can find it and now that I'm down here right I'm on top of it is it working it's not working. I gotta use my... Oh, okay, okay. I gotta be careful. I gotta use my pickaxe to get inside. Because my laser doesn't propagate through water. Who knew? There you are. There we go. Just find my way inside. It's nice and dark in here. Come on. There it is. It is dark. I'd be likely to be eaten by something. You can also find diamonds, lapis, as well as emerald in here. The, uh, the vanilla gems. The vanilla gems you can find in here. Let's do block that up so I'm not interrupted by the water. Can I can we please disable? There we thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Get some diamonds. Get some a lapis. Lapis lazuli. That's what we like around here. That's what we need. Lapis. This is the abyssal stone. It's very dark. It's very dark and can be found in the abyss. Who knew? I apparently forgot. Oh, hello. More water. Oh, no. No. Uh, I don't know. Carpenter blocks are easy to get back, so block that. And then, oh, now I don't have to deal with the water. Now I need not deal with waters. I need not deal with the waters no more. I need not deal with the water no more. Da -da 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 you heading off? Okie dokie. I wonder if you and Kyle will see each other on the way out. Oh, he's coming up. Eventually. Apparently. It's funny because I, I let him know that you were in a meeting, but you're not here anymore, so. I guess it doesn't matter. Technically, I'm in a meeting. I, I, I misinterpreted. I did. I did. I'll admit I was wrong. I really messed it up this time, didn't I, my dear? Nah, there was really nothing much messed up. I didn't make that big a mistake. That boo-boo is not one of my top ten boo-boo moments. No, but it's really don't matter. Yeah. In the end, it doesn't really matter. I tried so hard to lose it all. In the end, it doesn't even matter. That's how that goes, right? Yeah, that's probably how that goes. I'm running out of torches! Need more torches! How much abyssal brick do I have? Let's take a look at the backpack! Backpack, backpack. Backpack, backpack. I got like a stack of them all. And I think I don't even need to. They just come up as abyssal snow. Yeah, I don't even need to smelt them at all. I can just use them right now. So. I don't know. I'll just get a bunch more. There's the potential for more, so let's mine some more. 
just keep losing this around like this. A very efficient way to do this would be to use my explosive mode, but I will die. It's efficient, but deadly. That's what they call me. Efficient, but deadly. Uh, I don't know anyone that calls me that, okay. Nobody calls me efficient, but deadly? Just me? Okay, called on my BS once again. Thank you, dearest. Always keeping me in line. Always gotta keep me in line. Sometimes I can't double check the things that come out of my mouth. If I remember wrong, call me out on my bullshit. I leave that up to everybody else. Though, if I'm ever unsure of something, I will usually let people know. I was pretty sure. I was pretty sure that they call me silent, but efficient. But uh, I, was, I was wrong. I was wrong. I was falsely unconfident. Falsely disconfident. Not confident? I was confidently incorrect. Yeah, that's what we do it. I'm not going to break that one. I will break this one, though. Oh, that's like on the side. It's kind of cute looking. Nice. Nice. That'll work. I actually kind of like the way that looks. It's almost like a sunroof through the carpenter's block. Because it's slightly invisible. It's translucent. Which I believe is the proper term for things that are not completely transparent. Like a... Like a anybody ever watch The Boys? On uh, Amazon Prime? Translucent? I mean, they address it in the show, so it's actually not that much of a revelation. But like, translucent is not translucent. He's transparent! Because he's completely see-through! Translucent would be like, we can we can see through some of it. Like, not 100%. Bye, bye, dearest. Not one, not zero percent opaque. Translucent is zero percent opaque, as in not see throughable at all. So, uh, yeah, there's that. I gotta ask, like, where, where's my my maintenance guy? City be here in like five minutes since my last break. It's taking a little bit longer than five minutes. Oh, actually, look at that. Excuse me, all. It's break time.
Hello and welcome back. I finished my sandwich. It was peanut butter and jelly. Truly a classic. Truly a classic. Paper towel? Absolutely, I'll grab you a paper towel. One moment. One moment, one moment. Right over here. Towel, paper towel? Yeah, a towel would be good. Towel would be good? Yeah. Dirty towel. Absolutely, that's just a dirty one, so that'll work. No problem. I got, you have like a little cup. Cup? Yeah, sorry about that. No, don't worry about it at all. It's just nothing. You're good. I'll make a cup today. Just because it's a, just the two of you can do it. Yeah, fine. Go ahead. Take it. No problem at all. Or I can do assist. I can do to assist. Context. I mentioned my garbage disposal over there. One of my top 10 boo-boo moments. Somehow not realizing there's a shot inside of it, so. Gotta get that fixed. We're getting it fixed. It's wonderful. I like to have a working garbage disposal. That and a working sink as well. I like that as well. It could run water for the most part. Yeah, I just had to make sure like, you know, because the, the kind of stuff gets gunk. The gunk gets trapped in there. So when the gunk done get trapped, I rely on the disposer to take care of it. I don't know what show it was. I want to say it was probably a Futurama episode or something like that, but like the garbage disposal was just the alien who sat at the bottom and just ate all the trash that came in. Or maybe it was just the trash. Really not, I'm not so sure. I never watched a lot of Futurama. I know it's funny and I like it, but I just never took the time to watch There's a lot of Futurama. There was a lot of Futurama and just finding the time to watch that is, you know, it's it comes back to that whole motivation thing. Do I have the motivation to do X? Sure, then do it. If I don't have that motivation, then, well, it, it ain't. It ain't happening. It's just all about, the, you know, sitting down there and, I don't know. I do it with anime, so, like, I don't know what's stopping me from doing the same thing with Futurama. I think it's the fact that it's such a long series that that's the deterrent for me to start watching it. Like, in terms of the anime world, like, One Piece or Naruto is, like, hella long, but that... Like, that apparently didn't stop me from uh, watching Fairy Tale for a lot of it. I didn't watch all of it. There was a lot of Fairy Tale, too. And actually, my younger brother got into that, too, which is pretty awesome. That was a couple years ago, though. I think I bought one of the movies for him that I had never watched, but I assumed he'd enjoyed it. Enjoyed it, and I think he did. Maybe. I don't know if he ever watched it. Oh, well. Whatever use could be gotten out of that present, I hope the use was gotten. Kind of like that. I'm the kind of guy who likes u utility presents. I was mentioned it before, like, um, a buddy of mine, two buddies of mine, they have the same birthday. And that's, uh, coming up this month, actually. It's funny, both of their birthdays, which is on the same day, is also my half-birthday. So, the two of them are born on the same day, and me and the both of them are all born six months apart. I'm six months older, though, I think. Actually, you know what? I never checked. I wonder if they're, like, exactly the same age, or if one of them's... A little older or one of them's a little younger than me i actually don't know that i think i'm six months older than the both of them i think they're both a little younger than i am but um so as i mentioned before like one of them i got a capture card for one of them i got a nice microphone for and it was so it was so cute on uh, on friday he wound up opening it up and uh opening or um the one <laughs> like hustler what a guy plenty boy i mentioned him a lot he opened up his stuff on stream the other day it was just so so wholesome so wholesome. I love I love watching that. I love seeing people happy. And also, it, you know, it totally helped the fact that I know that that was my gift to him. So I felt pretty pretty prideful. Me and my Super Saiyan pride. There we go. And that's all the Abyssal Brick down here. Perfect. Get all that Delorium for my nuclear reactors. Eventually. Nuclear. <laughs> Stupid. Stupid nuclear. I can't figure out half that stuff. It's very complicated. I was actually looking into the, the other day, and they have they have a whole simulator for how to build your nuclear reactor. And I'm just like, why does it matter? Ugh, it must be so complicated. Why did you have to make it so complicated? I don't know. I just noticed that chest is floating. Let's let's fix that with dolly powers. Dolly powers activate. Uh, crafting table. Yes, you dropped properly. Oh. Was that weird sound for a moment? I was like, that's, what was that sound? That was me breaking the table? No, that was just the music. Freaked me out. Crazy. Answer is kufuf. I agree. I think I would agree with that. But the, now, the, now the question is, what is the question? If we know the answer, what be the question? If the answer be kufuf, maybe the question was, how are you? I'm feeling pretty kufuf today. Feeling very kafuff today. 
Maybe that's the next random onomatopoeia that I can use. Huh. Oh, hello there. Why oh, hello there, too. Idiot. Oh, that's sad. Mithno thinks I'm the idiot. I mean, I do have my moments of idiocy. Totally true about that. I wouldn't be without my idiotic moments. Some of my top ten fail moments. I don't actually have a... I don't have a nice uh, list of those. I should have a list. Like an actual list that I update. As opposed to just me mentioning it all the time. Not all the time. Technically, that doesn't mean all the time. I just mention it often, perhaps. I wasn't the one who came up with that idea anyway. Crazy, crazy. Who passes up a follow for saying that? That's okay. You don't have to follow. It's fine by me. You do what you gotta do, my friend. You do what you gotta do. Both you, number 13, and as well, number 14, as well. I like the number scheme going on there. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Nothing lost, nothing gained. It's all cool. You do what you can with your day. I've got you following. Wow, Yolando's here to save the day. He's here to save the day. How you doing, Yolando? How's everybody doing? Flying Docs, how are you today, too? If you so feel like answering the question, obviously, you are under no obligation to do so. You can sit around and lurk. That's what I do usually. I'm a bit of a lurker. I like that. I usually don't say much at all. Not unless, you know, there's a camera pointing at my face and a microphone picking up all the acoustic resonances from the back of my larynx. Then, um, then I feel compelled to say things. I, compelled to, I feel compelled to do things. Hey, Dennis? Yo, what's up? Sorry. No problem. <laughs> no, don't worry about it. Um, is there any way to shut off the power coming into here? There, I believe, there's a breaker in the hallway, but I have no idea what it goes to yeah uh if you have to shut it off no problem at all i can always just cut this down for the day okay. yeah just to just to make sure what's that Where's it at? uh outside in the hallway it should be when okay. you go down the hallway on the right i don't know if that's my breaker though okay least... so i don't know i'm unsure oh the bizzle stone has to be i thought i could use that i was literally just using that before do i have to smelt it does i have to oh, i do i do <gasps> Yolando's now co-hosting. Why, well, thank you for that, Yolando. What a nice guy. Such a nice dude. What a nice dude as well. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm gonna go up for it. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I feel so bad. We might have the... We're getting our uh, garbage disposal fixed today. Or the earth garbage disposal? Yeah, garbage disposal. In our sink, a shot glass popped into that the other day. And uh, I didn't realize until it was too late. So we're getting that fixed. And uh, we may have to cut off the power. So in case things just drop, don't worry about it. It's okay. We'll come back on Friday. Or maybe come back tonight. I don't really know. Whatever happens, happens. I'd rather have a working garbage disposal. I'd rather do that. No harm, no foul. No harm, no foul. So I do have to send all these through the uh, smelting system. Oh, hum. Probably should have, uh, probably should have tested that before I went on break. That would have been perfect. It could have just processed in the background. Ugh! Goodness gracious, that would have been nice. Would have been nice. Oh, well. Abyssal stone. Oh, it's already set up for that. We are already configured. Abyssal, 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 Abyssal Stone. Mon ami, mademoiselle, the Abyssal Stone. I don't know what stone is in French, and I'm pretty sure Abyssal is not a word in French. I'm very sure of that, but I'd be happy for someone to prove me wrong. Maybe we could, uh, nah, I'm not even going with that. I was going to say, let's just make this a French stream. Like, I don't speak French. That would be, no. <laughs> I just wouldn't work. I don't think it would work at all. Let's see, I have... Uh, what kind of... I don't know what kind of gem that is, otherwise I'd sift it. I'm not gonna sift it today. No sifty today. No sifty today. No sifty today as well. What else we got going on here? Oh, the bus is hissing outside. And beeping. Goodness gracious, I don't like the beepage. I could probably get some more of the red granite while I'm here. If I can just work with that. Red granite? Yes, I ha have multiple stacks more. You know, let's just pick up all of it. Why not? Why not? There's no downside to picking it all up now. Come to the store today and pick it all up. You never know what you might find here at, I don't know, the thrift store with an X. Yeah. My business would be thrift with an X. What is going on? What is? Yo, 
Spooky monster. I'm gonna get you. Hi there, Eldritch Guardian. Whoa, what do you do? Oh, and birds too. That's awesome. Oh, that's not pleasant. Don't hurt me. Oh god. Oh goodness. Oh god. Oh goodness, oh gracious. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. So I will stay up here in the clouds where they cannot reach me. Ooh, ooh. thrifty store. Both with X's. Well, I'll hang up here for a little bit and uh, protect myself. That's what the hover ability is really good for. To promptly and swiftly avoid danger by ascending. Not transcending. I am still upon this mortal plane. But uh, ascension? That's good. I actually want to kill that guy, though. That, uh, that guardian over there. He dropped some things. You may have noticed that it was by that creepy little monolith. So uh, by the monolith, there's little eyes that are in it. And those guys drop more of those eyes. With the help of those eyes, I will be able to transcend. But uh, maybe not today. I don't know where it went. Did it just chase me and then go away? I wonder. No. Well, I'm in significantly less danger now than I was before. And that's okay. I prefer not so danger. Perhaps running the way was the bad idea. I should have just stayed there and fight. But I don't have the right armor for it. Oh, you disappeared too. What's up with this? Hello, hello, what's this? Nobody wants to fight today. Nobody wants to fight today. That's truly unfortunate. I wanted to fight you. I wanted to have a nice little tussle. Would you like the tussle over there? You, yeah, you with the red face underwater. You want to tussle? No? That's fine. We don't have to tussle today. You, uh, you have a wonderful, you have a wonderful day. You have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Oh, hi there. Well, you were just sitting here waiting for me? All right. Oh, don't. Um. Well, that was interesting. I do not know how that happened. I most certainly did not fall from a high place. Hmm. That was interesting. Um, all right. Well, I guess I did fall from a high place. See, um... Hmm. That was weird. I don't know how that worked. That's a that's an elevator. I went down the elevator, just like everybody else do. Huh. I'm gonna chalk that up to a glitch and move on with my life. That's okay. I only lost experience, really. All the items are still there. If that Enderman's still down there, though... Hmm, it may still be an issue. Well, let's take a look. Maybe, I mean, it's daytime now, so maybe he's not... Oh, God! I don't have my jetpack on. <laughs> Usually I have a jetpack on, but I died, and I don't have the jetpack on anymore, so I jump to my doom once again. <laughs> Whoops. You know what? That feels pretty uh, top 10 boo-boo momenty. It's been happening a lot today. Let's see, that's just four times today. One was falling in lava. One was being... Attacked by the demons of the dark. One was falling, and the other one was just pure stupidity. See, idiot. You're right. You got it, Flying Doc. A little bit of a little idiot today. I forgot. Idiot as in I was not aware. Idiot as in perhaps not knowledgeable on something. Because idiocy isn't necessarily what you do with the knowledge, it's the lack thereof. You can recover from being idiot. I didn't have anything in my inventory, so I'm not going back for that. I hope is Endy. Hey, yo, Endy, you still over here? No, it seems that you've gone away. Well, that's good. Well, that's okay then. See, if I go down real, real carefully, just like this, I'm okay. See, no problem. What the? Oh, I fell from a. Interesting. It seems like the levitator's not working. That's weird. Actually, that's really weird. That's not... That doesn't usually happen at all. All right, I'll go in through the side entrance. That's what I'll do then. <laughs> what is up with that? Plus, like, before I had my jetpack on, so, like, if I would have taken fall damage, I would have been able to avoid it. That's really weird. I don't know what's going on with that today. Maybe it's the warp. It's getting to me. That usually doesn't happen. I'm not even kidding. That usually doesn't happen. But uh, if anything were to happen, of course, it happens when it's live. We're doing it live, so things happen and they do it live, and that's okay. That's totally fine. We shall continue with it. With me and Stuart, the name of my little creature. My little Vendoraptor, who will bring me back yet again. It's not that far from a bed. I should really have a bed on this island. Why don't I have that? All right, side entrance. Go to the side entrance. 
Oh, it doesn't have a side entrance. Okay, no, it does have a side entrance. Where is the side entrance? It's somewhere down... There it is. Down there. I just gotta go down here. There's the side entrance. Secret, secret side entrance. Now, instead of taking fall damage, I'll just die. And drown. There we go. Oh, squid died here, it seems. Alrighty then. I just gotta... Slowly but surely, dig at the wall. How you doing? Oh, me? I'm doing just fine. I'm just, uh, just punching this rock. Punching this rock very nicely. But, uh, my, my fist starting to bleed. Starting to, like, I can start to see the skin getting raw. So, like, um, yeah, that, that probably means I'm about 80% of the way there. Um, you know what I should do? I should put this ink sack over top of my hand. Ah, yes. That seems to give me the power that I need to break through the chains. B break through my mortal prison. My finger... I, I don't think I can feel my hand anymore, but now it's all inky and black. So, covered in the ink of... It's actually quite disgusting and very slimy. Probably came from a... A very unfortunate squid who was hanging down here. On the bright side, now that I can't feel any of my arm anymore, and it's all squishy and slimy, I think I finally made it through. Yes, indeed I have. Or, uh, what if I... What if I just die again? Just randomly. I just touch the ground. Poof, die. No. That levitator's gonna be an issue, too, because it's gonna send all my belongings upward. Yo, maybe. Maybe not. Yep, there it is. It, yep. All right. Let's do this correctly this time, shall we? Shall we? Do we think we shall? Let's put everything back on. Nothing lost. Nothing gained. I lost a couple levels, but like, I, whatever. So now I have my, now I have my jetpack, which means I should be able to be more careful with this now. I think I have items up here now, right? I definitely. Where are you? So I'm in hover mode. So if I just slowly go downward, there we go. No fall damage. None of that. None of that stuff. Now, interesting, though, because... What is this going to kill me again? Hover mode and slowly bring myself down. Let's see. Does touchdown do it? No, it doesn't. Okay, so it's probably just a glitch with the, um, the elevator. Weird. Elevator. Levitator. Sorry, not elevator. A levitator. Escalator. Levitator. Whatever. Let's remove those. I don't need to know where the deaths were anymore. Oh, actually, there was one I didn't go to. So there'll be a... Oh, there was another one. There'll probably be another gravestone around for me to find later. <laughs> nice. Nice, 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 nice. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, I came back down here to pass the time by to wait for more abyssal stone to create. But I think dying three or four times... I think was just enough time. So, uh, let's go back over there and collect the spoils. The spoils of waiting. Your reward for waiting is... Stone! A nice, dark, abyssal stone. And you can do whatever you want with it. And it naturally spawned that way. You didn't have to dye it or anything. I didn't have to make it black. It was just always like that. It was born this way. This stone was born this way. It's on the right rock, baby. It was born this way. There we go. I feel kind of bad because the bre I, I have no idea where the breaker is in my apartment. I thought it was outside, but I think we're, I think we're currently getting to the point to figure things out. Got to figure out where that breaker be. Oh, er, wrong one. I need to be at this one to grab the abyssal. Oh, there we go. Abyssal block. It's uh. How many stacks we got? Let's do all of them. All the stacks. All the stacks! Oh, let's, let's throw the ink sack in there. I don't need that. I do not need ink sack. Oh, I also said I would switch out my mouse. I forgot to do that. I still have ye old double click. Still going for me. Ye old double click. Bum -da -bum -da -bum. Eat this PB and J sandwich. Just like I did on the outside. See, this is how you know that the right click is not working. I, I can't, I have an eating problem. I can't actually put it against my mouth. There we go. There we go, there we go. There we go. Hey, you, yes. Perfection, perfection, perfection. Cool, cool, cool. Mm -hmm. We're going back and continue with the construction. Construction shall continue. 
just as I was intended to do. As everything was intended to do, construction shall continue. All right, I gotta shut up the power. Yeah, all right. I can turn it right back on. Yeah, no, that's no problem. I'll, uh, I'll just close things up over here. Or I can uh, go get the new one first and then shut it off. Yeah, that'll work. That'll give me a little extra time over here. All right, cool. Sounds good. Thanks so much, man. I'm gonna leave these tools here. Is that cool? That's totally okay. Yeah. No problem at all. Well, at least I've got all these materials over here now. I can continue where I left off Mind next time. What's that? Oh, go, go for it, totally. So update on my end, the power must come off. The ultimatum is power off and no sync. Or I'm sorry, no power off and no sync or sync and power off. Sort of power down for the day. It's been like five hours. I think it's been pretty good. I know uh, Anna's off at class right now, but I think she said she might want to play some orange juice later, so I might be back on later. Maybe not. If not, I shall return on Friday, as I usually do. I want to thank everybody so much for watching and apologize for the abrupt interruption, but it's okay. Because it doesn't matter. It's just a game. It's just a game. So thanks, everybody, for sticking around as long as you did. Um, Let's see who's doing the things now. Let's see who's doing it now. You know what? I promised I'd hang with Neko a bit later, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to send everybody over to her. She's playing a game called Hunt Showdown. I've never heard of it, but I am curious, so that's what we're going to go with. Hunt Showdown with Neko. Let's show some party love. It's always a reason to celebrate. Today's reason to celebrate? Cinco de Mayo. Cinco de Mayo is the day to celebrate, so that's what we're going to do. So, uh, well, thanks, everybody. I'll do that. No problem. <laughs> thanks, everybody, for coming along. It was fun. Slow? Because we're playing Minecraft and building some things and whatnot, it's no problem at all. It's just kind of what I do. Sometimes you just need a day for vibe checking, and the Wednesday is the right day to do it. So for everybody heading off to Neko, I will see you. I'll see you in a little bit. Uh, I'll be I'll be hanging around there too until the internet shuts off. So uh, as we'll do that over there, and then for those sticking around at home for the YouTube vod again, I always appreciate you all. I hope to see you all again next time if you want to. If not. Whatever. You have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, afternoon, whatever. Bye!